Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Hi. Hi, Mary. Yeah, me too, right? You know, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody's saying that that was a remix of our bar theme. Eh! Our bar themes are a remix of that song from Get Backers, an anime you Zoomers will never watch. So I can say it's original. So anyways, hi, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Hi, 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 hi. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Hi. Yes, yes. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. I shouldn't. I should. I should. What is wrong with me? Right? Gosh darn it. My goodness. Thank you for all the yeah, thank you for all the subs and the bits. It's very kind of you. I, I feel like there's all there's a high our, our notifications in reverse. That's right. I switched them. That's right. I switched them. They're over there now because it's like we're on the other side of the bar. You know, like this is like on one of the walls of the bar. Okay? So that's why like the door's opening there on the left, but normally on the bar you see it on the right because we've switched sides. Okay? That's why it's like that. All right? It's also why I'm hovering right here in front of the screen. Okay? What's wrong with you? I would need to run tests to be sure. I know, Dr. Caliban, but listen, we already, we can't have too many Gargamels trying to take our magic powers. We already have like three. Four is like a, like a headache. Can't power buff girls this. I, I don't have enough. The writing's not good enough. The writing's not good enough. I can't improv my way out of that. Do, you, can, do, do I do I not commit him under the war crime? I don't know. Taka is an Australian. Yeah, if I was in Australia right now, I'd be calling it a bunch of cants. So anyways, everybody, I'm about to do something that no one has ever done before. Do a commentary track where I'm involved. I'm shooting from the hip right now. All right, folks. Okay, so like Kaiser Neko... And, uh, and Lanny, and Lanny Pater, naked scat, okay, they, they decided to be like, hey, hey, Taka, we're gonna do a commentary track, oh, oh that's awesome, fuck. I can't believe you've done this, yet it's happened, <laughs> oh, fuck, sound alerts are on, well, oh my god, Ragnarok, you have committed another war crime, will this be available on VOD, no, it will be, but I'm gonna tell you, it's not for you, though, because you're not committing, and I'm the one who doesn't commit. 10,000 bits. I will not. I, I, okay, so here's the thing. So they, they, they were like, we're going to do commentary. Okay, 10,000 bits. This this rat sponsored by Ragnarok the Demon Sword. It's up my ass and around the corner. So anyways, folks, hi. Thank you so much for the 10,000 bits. So Ragnarok of the Demon Sword. That's very kind of you. Now, I will be thanking bit drops and everything between episodes of the show. That's the rule. Okay. I'm going to keep my, I'm going to pause the show when I feel like it to talk about shit. Okay. And that's how, and that's how we're doing it. Now, if you're wondering why I am upside down, this is the perfect bridge pose because I am a wrestling fan and an abridger. And I am currently using the program V Bridger, the funniest named program for only me. <laughs> Able to play them in sync with TMS's track and Moscow's track? We'll have to find out now, won't we? Mary Crumbus Taka. That's right, Sammy Grayson. Thank you so much. Ron John, thank you as well. I don't know all the tech information, but I will say this. I'm a, I, I, apparently, they did a commentary video series that I need to watch as well because I'm going to have to jump in there and commentate on that. We'll have to talk about that. Congrats on your big news talk. Oh, thank you, Ginger Ale Pale. Thank you. Yes. For those who do not know, I'm now the master of ceremonies for Pandemonium Pro Wrestling in Hollywood. That's right, everybody. Glacerious, thank you for 67 months of support. God bless my wrestling buds. God bless MNW crew. And God bless the United States of America. Now, Okay, let's back to where we're at now here. Where were we at here? All right, yeah. So Kaiser Neko and Lanny Pettori, they sat in a room and they're like, you know what? Fuck Taka. But Kaiser's like, yeah, but not really. But yeah, I don't know who started it. But I mean, the first thing said was fuck Taka, apparently. Apparently. Because I, they did commentary track. And I, 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 when they were going to do the commentary tracks for the episodes, I gave them notes. And here are my notes. I should have access. I should be able to go back and, like, and, and make edits and corrections. Okay? And make edits and corrections. And whenever. And they need to bring me up all the time. 
So literally, what I did was when Homer Simpson went into the Itchy and Scratchy writer's room and went, uh, Poochie should have access to a time machine, and, uh, whenever Poochie's not on screen, people should be going, where's Poochie? I literally did that. So, Mini Man, the mistake I made was losing creative control of my character. Uh, because I have none. Many Man, thank you so much uh, for the five gifted shots. Girl Lily, thank you so much. You're so much better than Scott and Nick at being a commentator, especially if you don't think about how good they are. That's especially true. Where is Nappa? Up your ass and around the corner. Talk of you, Jelly. <laughs> what? No! I'd have to be pretty insecure to do my own fucking separate commentary track and reiterate how unmad I am really angrily. Prison Nami, thank you for the five gifted shots. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Oh my goodness, yes. Alerts might need an adjustment on the bottom. Uh, yeah, I can't really switch them that way, so they're gonna be like that for right now. Sorry. <laughs> it's just, we're just gonna have to play it that way, everybody. I, I don't know how to tell you this. It's just how we have to do our alerts right now, or I'll just shut them off. But I also know you like the the hoot, the clinkle, the slam, the jingle, jingle jam. All right, anyway. All right, where's the blackjack? I brought my retirement funds. Don't worry. All right, this is the worry. All right, so Scott, Scott and Nick, they sat down, and they watched through Dragon Ball Z abridged. Now, I have not seen a single fucking... No, wait, you're the same guy who was in TBC. Heavenly Father, hallowed be thy drip, thy kingdom come, thy backhand will be done over you. Yes, you know this. It's one of the reasons why you got a VTuber rig was so you can hang out and vibe. All right, anyway, so they sat down, they did commentary. Now, I have not seen a single commentary video of Dragon Ball Z abridged that they have done. And I had to tell them why. It's because I, of all people, I uniquely, because I was in the fucking room for all the writing sessions, just with those two, I will struggle to watch those reviews because I'm going to be like, you're forgetting to say something or you won't be mentioning something. So in a later time... I think I need to sit down and go through all those reviews. But that is not today. No, 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 no. We're going to go over the commentary. There's going to be two layers to this commentary. So we're going to be doing it over of the original. Not their commentary, but this one. Now, Dragon Ball Z Abridged came out in 2008. I think. Fuck if I know. It came out like, that's what I call it too. There we go, Heavenly Father. That, that's right. That's right. Who gave me a sub? Thank you so much. Ow, you better be thanking them. Gothic Flamingo, thank you. Prison Ami, thank you again. Thank you again for the 10K, Reg. Mm. I had too much eggnog. No, I had too much coffee. I don't drink, actually. So, yeah, that's that's one big difference with this one. Uh, so, now, we, we wrote this back just to give some backstory on DBZA. All right, for those who do not know. Uh, so... Essentially, oh my god, a Boshi Zero. Thank you so much for the, the five gifted shots. Whole, sorry, ten gifted shots. God damn, dude. And Modanova, thank you as well for the sub. And RB Alter, thank you for, for gifting us up to Fat Flash. And seriously, a Boshi Zero. Thank you so fucking much. Thank you so much. Seriously, that's very kind of you. You don't need alcohol for eggnog. Yeah, but I'm also white, so, you know, like, I'm lactose intolerant. Happy, ha talk a happy holiday. All right, so I, I will be getting into this. We will be we will be getting into this here. Don't worry. Mona Nova with 10 gifted shots. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's the anxiety leaving my body. Damn it. Ah, stop gut punching me with gut. Yes. Even though Kaiser and Lanny said they wanted you for their commentary. Normal Super Saiyan God, they did, yet I wasn't there. The guys who made Dragon Ball Z and Helsing funny couldn't figure out how to get a third person remotely there? Gosh darn it. I wonder what could have happened. <laughs> now, I'm kidding. I'm, ki I'm not an unhinged madman. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I injected myself with anime two years ago, and now look at me. <laughs> I had to produce a Twitch show on the front page, pulled 60,000 views. <laughs> now, San Pete 5, thank you so much for this shot. I very much appreciate it. So I had to go full circle there, guys. I had to go full circle there. I had to go full circle there, okay? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, horseshoe theory is very true, folks. Horseshoe theory is true, even for sanity. This is where Joker did. He just went the other way, I think. Uh, clearly not mad. Clear exactly right. 
it wouldn't be funnier than the 10th anniversary marathon if you were there with Scott and Nick. It's true. It's true. It's especially really fu funny considering... Yes, I totally was. That's why people say there's no commentary track. There is. We actually sat down and binged the whole show one time. It's just the cell saga. We were tired. <laughs> Uh, the, uh, Meta Reaper. Now, uh, before we get into this, because we got a hype train going here, and I, 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 Meta Reaper, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Mad Monk Montague, thank you as well. Alrighty, for those who would like to know who I play in Dragon Ball Z, because not all of you know. Hi, everybody. I'm Takahata. I played many characters in Dragon Ball Z abridged, and also, Michael McTavish, you are. Uh, I, I also, you know who else? Uh, 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 what else I did? I also wrote the fucking show with them. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. It was a lot of hard work the first five to six years. And then a lot of hard work the next time. But it's just, you know, it's just we had like day jobs at that point. So it was really nightmarish. Techie Oracle, thank you. So, um, so originally I wasn't really set to play anybody when we were first starting to write the show. I think I was penned initially and hilariously as uh, I think Yajirobe because he hadn't showed up yet. And they're like, all right, let's give him something. Because myself and Kaiser, we were starting to speak to each other because of our individual bridge series, me making G Gundam abridged and himself working on Lupin the Third abridged, which is a crime that got removed uh, at Monkey Punch Studio. They just don't want anyone celebrating their IP. Uh, so, it's on them. Uh, so, you know, at the time, this was around when I would only been abridging for about four or five months or so. Uh, I had a couple episodes of G Gundam abridged. I was doing cameos in other people's shows and shit. And it was really, really fun. Uh, now, what's kind of crazy, uh, what's kind of crazy, uh, about that is, like, at the time they were working on, uh, they were, it was Neighborhood Cluck Productions, I think it was called, and it was, it was Masako, Lanny, and, uh, Vegeta 396, and they were working on the original DBZ movies, because they didn't want to start a whole new series, they just figured, well, we don't want to do DBZ, because at the time, there were a couple Dragon Ball Z abridges, there were other Dragon Ball Z abridges out there, actually, there was, like, 10, 20, it was just, like, one, ep episode ones and shit, like, it was a lot of that. Uh, and so they just did the movie, so they just kind of made a, a like a sidestep to that. And then they, they produced the first two movies, first one being written by Thir Virginia 396, second one being made very much by Lanny Bator. Now, at that point, uh, Kaiser Neko uh, reached out to him. Now, uh, I asked Kaiser a question, and I'm just like, if you could make any series, what could it be? He's like, Dragon Ball Z a bridge. I asked him in a call, what would you make if you could Dragon Ball Z a bridge? But they've got neighborhood clock guys are already doing the movies. I'm like, well, why don't you ask them if you really want to do it, dude? Why don't you ask them? I actually brought it up to him. I take credit for this because it's true. It happened. And uh, 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 and uh, Kuma the Hungry, thank you so much as well. Uh, thank you guys for being very kind. Uh, and what was really crazy about that was he reached out uh, to Lanny because I actually spoken to Lanny before uh, in a previous call when someone pulled him into a random spot. This was all on Skype, by the way, everybody. Okay, this is how far back this goes. <laughs> And uh, I went, and we were in a call, and I just I kind of just was prompting Kaiser eventually. Just ask him, dude. Just ask him if he wants to do it. Because at that point, Lanny ha and uh, Masako had responded to Kaiser's episodes of Loop on the Third, going, "Holy shit!" Because they're both editors, right? And they were looking at Scott's work, going, "Like, dude, this is this is this is incredible. You're amazing." And I'm like, "Dude, they respect your work. They respect what you do, and they respect your editing, man. Especially they really respect that thing, and that's the thing you truly make better." You know, and I, I don't, this is reflecting upon this. It was a very different conversation, I think. So I told him to do, uh, they pitch it to him. So I told him to bring it up. Uh, just do bring it up because he needed to prompt it because it's really him admitting, accepting, hey, I'm down to do a bunch of work if you're down to do it. Um, me being part of it was kind of incidental and I didn't like, I didn't know how I was going to be involved. And I kind of, we, we all ended up vibing and shooting the shit and throwing jokes around the room that night in a Skype call for like, five hours I swear to god it was so long and I think we even came up with like a couple things and I don't even know if it was originally Nappa that we came up with that night because I'm not remember I'm trying to remember if we came up with Nappa's character that night but the thing is I remember when the audition process I think was uh I I'm trying to remember because it was so informal when we started and I even think because it was before the promos even I got cast as Nappa uh, and it was, I think, that call that night, because I had nobody, like, Lanny was down to do Dragon Ball Z, because he mentioned he was a little bit nervous because of all the other DBZ parody series, and it, he was, he'd been considerate of other people, and it was really kind, but Kaiser, was, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, but, like, fuck him. <laughs> Let's make it. Let's fucking make it. Let's make it! You know, so, in the end, I was cool to get whatever, because Lanny was like, hey, I just... I'd like to play my, I'd like to pl keep playing my characters for the movies, like Krillin and Piccolo, because I really like playing them, and I'd like to be Vegeta as well. 
And that was his thing. He was like, I'd like to be Vegeta. I want to be Vegeta. And I, and here's the thing. Nick was not wrong to demand that because Nick's Vegeta is chef kiss. It is so fucking great. And I'm going to, I'm going to break, I'm going to bra break down to fanboying over all my coworkers throughout this entire process while also insulting them. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Chat. Epam. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> And so that night we were just throwing jokes around and it came to talking about what we would do at the beginning of the show. So we had to say someone play Nappa and like, I forget it was Lanny or Kaiser. Maybe it was Lanny like hey, hey, talking. Can you do a, can you do a Nappa? And I went, I thought about the, the original voice of Nappa from the over 9,000 meter. It's like, Hey, Vegeta! Like, it's like, it's so like, what does the scouter say about? It's like this this guy. I can't even describe the original Michael Dobson's voice. It's so unique. I can't even describe it. I can't even do it justice. But that was the one that was in my head because that was the one I watched when I was a kid. So I did it in the worst impression of that voice ever. Vegeta, what? And uh, oh, I was I was trying to get the, that 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 part of his voice, but I just made it high pitched, and that's pretty much what I do. Napa, it's I'm just talking like this the whole time. That's right, Dame. How's it going? That's right. I'm caught locking up, and then I put the grin in. It's actually a very gritty, nasally voice. Wow, Vegeta, I didn't know. Hey, Vegeta, hey, Vegeta, Vegeta, Vegeta. PP butt sex vagina. <laughs> yeah. And boom, it wasn't the best voice. Was it your Odo voice first? No, my Odo voice is a different character, and you don't actually cannot, and you must understand the particular forms of speaking when you're talking like Odo from Deep Space Nine. Really, Quark? Yes, I can do many impressions. It, you won't believe it. There's a line that truly broke Vegeta. That's right, everybody. So in season one, I play, I do a bunch of extra voices, but my character I play is Nappa. Now, what this made me discover as a writer was that essentially, if I could place myself in the writing, I could write better. Almost like I'm in the moment. I can write for other people as well, but I really enjoy writing for myself in the moment too to come up with something organic. So like abridging was really like a natural like thing for me because I'm such a fan of animated comedies and everything. So uh, yeah, and that's kind of how we got started. And yeah, hype train complete. Ah, complete. Ah! Good. Now we can start. Now, now I, I'm, I like, can I do Shaggy? Not as good as Lanny and it bugs me. Um, Jack Jumbo. And I can do I can do Scooby better than him, and he won't admit that. All right, Jack Jumbo twenty nine, you're hilarious, and we will quote everything you say. Now, nah, dang it, that line! I swear to God. <laughs> now, also in DBZA, I play several other characters too. I'll just briefly go over them. Uh, I play in season two. I play Guru, and we'll go into him shortly because that that casting process is equally fucking funny because it's like the same story. <laughs> it is. It's the same story. I'm just like, hey, can you do a Guru voice? Oh, I'm Guru. They go, ah, ah, all right, we'll do that. Yeah, there we go, yeah. That's right, I'm Super Kami Guru. Mm -hmm. Pee pee butt sex vagina. <laughs> there we go, everybody. See, you're learning. I also play in Season 2 Goldo for five seconds, and I <laughs> and I also play ba -da -ba 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 Little Green, the White Mage. My name is Dende. That's right, everybody. My name is Dende. Are the ads? Oh, the ads are cut. Oh, that's okay, folks. We're okay right now. So there's some ads playing right now because the stream's been going for half an hour, everybody. That's right. Sorry, guys. I don't know what... I, guys, I got... What do you want from me, guys? You gotta be subbed! That's how they get you! They're like, you want you to sub! You get the subages! Wait, you were Dende, too? That's right. My name is Little Green. My name is Dende. I don't know why, but it was shocked. I didn't know until last year that you voiced Dende. My name is Dende. <clears throat> That's right. I play a lot of green characters. And now, and the thing is, I also, and we will be watching this in between. We will be watching this in between. Okay. Uh, my vol, the volume's a little low. No, Vlad, turn your volume fucking up. You're the first person to complain about that. I will not put up with that. Check your own audio settings first. My shit is fine. And I know that. Blue clock. Anyway, sorry, guys. I'm very pissy about that, chat. 
All righty. Blue Clock, thank you very much. And Bitter Cran Berry, thank you very much. Now, I want you to know that uh, in season, now in between season one and season two, there are several specials and movies, and we will be watching them. Okay? Now, I don't know in what order, but also, and I, I just want you guys to know that. Like I, I want you guys to know this. I play Bardock and Lord Slug. Aight. Aight. Uh, I also in the Christmas tree of my one of the bad guys. I don't remember which one. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah. Now, and, and by the way, for those wondering, in season three, I play Cell. All of them, baby. Uh, Kill a Tubby. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys. All right. Now, let's get into episode one. Now, real quick here. We're opening up with one of the, a very oddly dated joke. But this is... This first episode, the audio, guys, and I know Scott's already griped about the audio, but it's the first episode. Also, this is the first episode, and I want to talk about the writing of this one real quick before we even start. Sorry, guys. Uh, we did not have a writing team yet. We didn't have definitive writers. It was, we're trying to mesh to put a team together, so we kind of had the original uh, writers from the Neighborhood Clock movies. So uh, he, uh, a lot of varying styles in the room, but the problem is you really need to pen down or really peg down a particular style or like like direction you want to take the comedy. And if you go to, um, I won't say absurdist, but if you go to like fourth wall breaky, it can take you really out of shit. Uh, it can really take you out of stuff. Um, and I, 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 as far as I'm concerned, if you have it structured around a fourth wall break, that's fine. And that's not a problem at all. But if it's not structured around it and you just have that randomly, it can be, it's not great. So it's one of the reasons why some of the comedy is all over the place in the first episode. And we really didn't have a definitive team or a direction until episode two, because I think we reflected upon episode one. And, uh, I'll go into that here after I hit play here. Lol, so random humor. Exactly. I, it, it's gotta have a purpose. Oh, sorry. One second, guys. Oh, guys, what if I told you I scuffed it already? Because I, I, I muted it. Sorry. The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Funimation, Toy Animation, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Does the audio sound good, guys? Calypso, thank you. Audio sounding okay? Bill Masu, thank you. We good? We good? We get... Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you, Crimbo. Always open with classic. Oh, one second here, guys. I got to turn off closed captions. FYI, uh, we did not write the Canadian subtitles, uh, and I think some of the jokes that the fans wrote in there can be kind of funny. I also think a lot of the jokes in there spoil jokes and completely distract away from what's going on screen, and that's why I don't ever really leave them on, and nor do I suggest. I mean, if you've seen the show a bunch, you can give it a watch, uh, but not for your first viewing. Oh, God, no, my marijuana patch. Uh, I mean, or my carrot patch. Yeah. I better do what any sensible middle American would do in this situation. Get my gun. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Earth with Open Bar. Holy crap, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, so uh, that open bar joke is a reference to one of Kaiser's continuous jokes on his own individual abridged series. So you can tell, yes, I'm keeping it there, everybody. Okay, I'm keeping it right there. Uh, so that is Ben, HBI 2K, playing Farmer with shark gu Shotgun. Shotgun. Uh, he plays the first character. He has the first line of the whole show. Oh, God, no, my marijuana patch is the first line of the show. It's, I'm like, it's fantastic. Legalize it. Legalize it. Legalize it. And then that uh, he gets his gun, and that joke will always be relevant. We did that in Helsing, even. And uh, and 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 then they go, oh my God, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm like, we're just right out the gate. This is just it's every old abridging style. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like we can't even do a cutaway to something. We just how about that thing? Huh? <laughs> First episode. This episode two is so much better immediately, but here we go. And here comes Lanny playing a very cool Turles, and it's awesome hearing him play him again now uh, as well in Hithel. No, it's an alien. Holy shit, it's an alien. Finally on this day. Oh, Rad, it's not Turles. I'm sorry. I just, ah, oh, God. Fucking, fucking anime characters. That plan. <laughs> Wait, what the crap? 
Kakarot screw this up? Oh, god damn it, I knew we should have sent Turles. Better think of something cool to say to make him stop. Hey, you! Genius, Farmer. Genius! <laughs> I don't hate oh, Farmer with shotgun. Him. He thinks he's people. What's your power level, little human? Five, huh? Protect me, gun! <laughs> hey, no! Bad human! Yeah, but I voted for Bush! Oh, boy. Bad. This... Now get back up and tell me you're sorry. Human. Human. <sighs> so this is why Dad said I couldn't keep a pool. See, I, right out the gate here, that a pool joke is like, no one knows who a pool is. No one has any fucking idea who that is. That's, a, that's an example of, like, just a, too much irreverent humor. Like, the, I, this is not me throwing anybody on the bus. It's just some people are just like, you know what? We should talk about characters who aren't popular. Uh, okay. And there's a bit of that in this episode. And uh, the pool joke, it, I hate it. I fucking hate it. Couldn't have a, as a pool when I first saw it. Oh, I know a pool, but a pool is a character in DBZ who's just some no name. Apple It's the Apple dude, and it's just why are we referencing him? Why I don't. God damn it! I don't know why we did this. Is again first episode, so I only chimed in every now and then because I didn't want to overstep in writing. You know what I mean? <laughs> This is still a good, this is still a really well-timed intro, and Scott, I know Scott's gonna get himself grief over this, but this was 07, or 08 when this was made. So, like, you know. Good old wasteland. <laughs> yep, sure is some kick-ass training. Damn it, I'm lonely. I will always love Lanny's Piccolo. And now, within, within five, not even three minutes of this show... Barely even two, Lanny is about to talk to himself. Here we go, folks. Get used to it. It happens a lot. <sniffs> Lanny talks to himself a lot. He plays Vegeta, Piccolo, and Krillin. I mean, fucking hell. He talks to himself a lot. He plays Raditz in this scene as well before we do the worst joke in the episode. <sniffs> yes, and I will say it's the worst joke in the episode because it is so... Ah! Anyways, never mind. <sniffs> Might as well check my space. Oh God! Ha, 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 ha. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. We did the Twitter joke with Alucard. It's the same thing. It's the same. Th it's okay. We're gonna get through this, folks. Okay, we're gonna get through this. <laughs> uh, two seasons. Let's go. Friend requests. Damn it. Well, at least I have you, Tom. You're always there for me. Yeah, he is so. Re legit, hey, though. Hey, you! What the hell? Hey, you! Yeah. Seriously, if you want to stay still, I need to talk to you about... But I'm telling you right now, the fact that Piccolo would have a MySpace is also... It's also funny in that MySpace isn't used anymore. That's also funny, because even when we wrote that joke, that was kind of a dated thing. And that was kind of the joke with Piccolo, because he's really behind the curve. Killing and selling this planet. It's really important. Oh. oh. Wait a second. You're not Kakarot. My bad. I will say that Scott is so fantastic at sound mixing. Even in this first episode, the sound mixing, despite the fact maybe some of the quality of the sound effects he's using are eh, maybe iffy. His timing on it is, you can tell he's a natural. I've got green skin, pointy ears, and a turban. Oh yeah, I must look like so many other people. Oh, a smartass, huh? I don't appreciate smartasses. Prepare yourself for my signature attack! Double shot! No! Uh -huh. Give me the mic! What? No, no, come on, man! Give me the mic! Let that be a real attack now! No, it isn't! Fine! Okay, I'm pausing this too. Okay, all right. Now, this joke is the worst joke in the show. It is. This is the worst joke in the Okay, I never got this joke. Correct. That's why. All right, would you like me to explain this joke, everybody? Would you like me to explain this joke with not insulting anybody? Now, there's a lot of different comedy styles in the room. Remember, this is the first episode, so there's about five writers. I will say that, maybe about that. We had a lot of other people talking, and we hadn't really pegged out who the writers were. It came down to me, Scott, and Nick in the end. Because that's the original three who had the conversation, and we decided to go with that after uh, episode two. And I'll go a bit more into that. Um, uh, I only got this joke after Kaiser and Lanny explained it during their commentary. Exactly. And, and that's if they already explained it. The long and short of it is 
Lanny, in in Raditz's voice, as Raditz, is about to do the name of one of the attacks. Now, they change the they change the name of the attack in like the in one of the translations, and the more weird name is the one that one of the writers liked. So his joke was, okay, what I'll do is, uh, how about because I want to play this character because he's my favorite character, uh, I'm gonna jump in. And uh, he, we will switch actors, and we'll fight over the microphone, and that'll be the joke. And that is why the actor changes halfway through this scene. In the actual anime, Raditz has an attack on the dubs. Yes, Sun Saturday Crush changed to Watch the Birdie. Yes. So that is... You can say it was, it's Vegeta 3986 because everyone knows now. Yes, it was Vegeta 39. He wanted to do that joke. And I feel like I'm throwing him under the bus because it's the worst joke. But it's just, it, it, for this kind of humor, it's like everything kind of needs to be like that. You know what I mean? Like when it just kind of drops in the middle, it's such a weird fucking joke that I, I'm not a fan of this kind of humor when you're just doing a straight like, a, like absurdism because it like takes you completely out of it. And if you're going to do something like that, I feel like it has to, the premise has to be around it. Kind of like Eric Andre shit, I feel like, in a little ways. You know what I mean? Like, that entire premise is absurd. Like, maximum that kind of shit. But anyways, that's why this joke's happened. That's why they switched it out. And they explained it here. It uh, Even back then, I was not a fan of this joke because it just felt confusing. And it's like an inside joke. And inside jokes eh, shouldn't really be in, in, in scripts unless they're funny without knowing the full context. Uh, yes, when I heard this joke, it instantly reminded me of Naruto a Bridge series when they did the, the same thing with Tamari. Correct, correct, but I'm not going to chastise people for doing the same joke because I do that too sometimes. Uh, yeah, so that's why I did, and that's why this joke, that's why this episode I'm going to pause a lot more than most of them. So yeah, that's why this joke is really rough. Here, take it. I'll just go practice my Vegeta. Ass. Yeah, ass! Then prepare yourself for my signature attack. Keep your eye on the bird! Ooh, a higher power level. Hey, what the hell? Weren't you going to kill me? Uh, there we go. Considering the average set by this one green guy and that farmer, the chances of this being Kakarot are... Da, screw it, I was going check. Fine, go ahead. I didn't want your company anyway. Right, Tom? Damn it, ba -ba! Don't get copyright! I claim... Okay. Hey, I'm here. Boobs, I mean, Boma. Hi. All right, so here we are joined by many characters. We are joined by Turtle, voiced by Kaiser, but we didn't know that yet. Krillin, my favorite fucking character. I love Krillin. I love Krillin. I love him. I love that man. He is the best character ever. Fuck yeah, Krillin. It is my favorite character Lanny plays. I love his Vegeta. I love Krillin. I love that motherfucker. I love him. I god damn it. And we are joined by Moscow X's original Master Roshi, which is very interesting sounding. I know we switched up the actors later on uh, because we had a very particular way we wanted to write Roshi in scenes that um, was just very – didn't really work with what, uh, what Roshi was capable of doing with what Moscow was doing. But I – it's always – there's always a charm to what Moscow does with this character. It's – you know, so let's have a listen. Okay. And also Bulma. We're joined by Megami33, who at the time was working on the wonderful uh, Sailor Moon Bridge back in the day. And she stepped in and played us, Bulma. And man, does she, it, it, her quality as an actress, just, you can see this on just a straight incline from this episode. And this is why this episode's very interesting to me, because it's like, oh man, this is everyone at level like two <laughs> before we level up. And all right, continue on going here. How's it going? I'm drinking OJ. Now it's apple juice. Now it's beer. Yay, beer. <laughs> so where's Yamcha? I think the bastard's cheating on me. Why do you say that? Bulma, it's not what it looks like. Oh, okay, it's totally what it looks like. Can I still live here? Please? Before this, I was living in the desert. Oh, and have you changed Poir's litter box yet? I need Boom Boom. How are you? Okay, so Poir is also played by Megami, and oh, God, I love her Poir voice right out the game. <laughs> but I am hate Boom Boom. That's funny. Uh, Yamcha is also played by Vegeta3986, and unfortunately, they sound very similar to Raditz. So luckily, they did not share a scene. So yeah, yeah. It was 2007. My, my voices, some of my voices sound the same too, so it's fine. Nah. No. You serious, Yamcha? 
Oh, that is so out of care. So you're single then? Oh my god. Old Krillin voice has a, a bit of a eh to the voice. It's a little bit of a eh to the voice. It kind of smooths out. Hey guys. Goku. Fail. Wait. What? Actually, Goku was deeper. <laughs> uh, Goku, I can't help but notice that five year old you're carrying. Goku, just because we picked you up in the middle of the woods when you were a kid doesn't mean you can go around stealing children. Uh, okay. This is actually my son. What a twist! <laughs> that still gets me. That still gets me every time. I don't know why it does, guys. It just gets me every- it gets me every time. I don't know why. It's like, alright, we were ahead of the time! This was before everyone else made the jokes! That's M. Night Shaman Malabalon! M. Night Shapoo Shaman Is he Canadian? I don't know. That's how Scott edited it, though. Oh, wow. I guess this means you finally, you know. Know what? <laughs> you know. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> what are those Mochica. noises you're making? No! Now, remember, guys, watch the ads to support uh, the... Oh, my God, he's, he's a, a parent. parent. So when's the little guy going to start training? Well, actually, Chi-Chi is making him study. Thank you. She wants him to grow up and be... what's it called? A productive and responsible member of society? Yeah, lame, that's it. Hey, son, come here. Stop playing with a turtle. We don't need people saying things. I, I still don't get that joke. Hey, is that a Dragon Ball on his head? Doesn't that sort of make him a target for villains who might want them? Oh, come on, I beat Piccolo. I'm strong enough to beat anyone who... Holy black on a popo, what is... Oh, that was the second worst joke, right. That! What's wrong? I just felt a power level bigger than... than... Krillin's loo- I didn't write that joke. I did not write that joke, by the way. I did not write that joke. I did not write that- I will take credit for my jokes. I did not write that joke. Losing streak. You know, you guys are the reason I go to therapy. Ah, oh, poor getting closer. Shouldn't we grab Gohan and put him inside? Son of a- It took me a while to get here, but I oh. finally found you, Kakarot. What? That's right. That's your name. What? The name you were given before we sent you to this planet. What? Mm. You hit your head as a child, didn't you? <laughs> what? Oh, for God's sakes, listen. Now, now, true story, and this is what- Maybe the youngins might not know this. When Dragon Ball Z came out, and this is true- like, all, like, Dragon Ball had not run in full. So we had only seen, like, the first peel-off adventure, really. That's it. And they would loop that, and then they just jumped to Z. So everyone was fucking confused as shit. Like, on top of this already being confusing, if you had followed Dragon Ball up to this point, what a mind fuck this is in general. Imagine not even seeing all of Dragon Ball having that happen. And that's what my gen had to deal with. We just, it just went from episode like 1 to 13, Z. I was like, whoa, wow. What? And I talked to Tia, yes, we used to be rivals. Were you? I wasn't. What? Only watch Z, what that? That's what. Only watch Z, who this? That's literally what. It, 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 what happened to a lot of people is they never actually watched full Dragon Ball. So we make a, I think we make a couple jokes regarding that because I just didn't even know what happened in a lot of Dragon Ball until I started writing Z. I had to learn everything. It was like, holy shit, they didn't put any of this on TV. Raven and Army, I would have loved that. Raven Incarnate, thank you so much. All right, guys, keep going here. You were sent here as a child to take over the planet. You're part of a dead race of intergalactic super warriors called the Saiyans. And to top off this expositional onslaught, I... Am your brother. Now this is the, this is one of many. So you're his brother, huh? <laughs> wow, that must mean you'll be involved in a lot of future events, right? Fourth wall breaky. Right. <laughs> it begins. <laughs> it begins. Ah, uh, first of many. Uh, biggest failed uh, misstep in storytelling is how nothing Goku's brother is. That's such a waste. That's a whole arc, you know? And I know they were starting strong with this uh, by starting out with his brother, but man, he's dusted so quick in the plot, and that's it. No more Goku's brother. 
no being revived and he's never mentioned again. And it's actually, I hate that part of the plot the most. I get why people like, sometimes people really like Raditz because he's an underplayed character, but that's the truth of it. He is. And it's kind of silly. You know, it's kind of silly. It's, it, it really is kind of silly. And they never really did anything with him. Cause like it, make, it would make sense if like Goku was like a bastard son or something. I don't know. There's just, his parentage would have made, and his brothers and sisters, especially if there's other Saiyans out there, there's so much more that could have been done with that, and just felt like they didn't. All right, anyways, continuing on. Also, cock. Hey, hey stop hitting Krillin. Why? Because you're breaking Kame House. Mm. Yeah, stop breaking Kame House. <laughs> so, what are you here for? I love The Dragon Balls? The, the dragons what? The Dragon Balls, you know? There are seven of them. They grant you any wish you want. <laughs> Like immortality? God damn it, Goku. Bulma's panties. Oh, God, they're inside. Yeah, did you hear that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're totally going oh, here to it is. Earth to get our wish. Yeah, we're going to get panties. I mean, immortality. Immortality is what I meant. Right, Vegeta? Oh, I'm slurring Just so get much. The damn pod. Yeah, we're going to get panties. I mean, I meant immortality. Immortality is what I said. That's what I, that's what I was going for. I slurred my words. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have better diction. <laughs> like I can, I'm, I'm, I can hear myself. I'm slurring so bad in this scene. I really, I, I'm, one more time, folks. One more time. One of them. They grant Thanks, you Goku. You want like immortality or Bulba's panties? Jada, did you hear that? Oh yeah, we're <sighs> totally going to Earth to get our wish. Yeah, we're gonna get panties. Panties. I mean immortality. I mean immortality. Immortality is what I meant. Immortality. Right? Just get in the damn pod. <laughs> no, I'm here for you, Kakarot. So, what are what? we going to do? See a ball game? Catch a movie? We're going to kill everyone on the planet and then sell it for profit to an alien overlord who may or may not have destroyed our own planet. They're kind of giving away a lot oh, with this. <laughs> well, uh, I sort of like people here, so with mm. all due no. respect... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Yoink. right. That. Wait, somebody stop him. Damn it, Krillin. Hey, I was bitch slapped through a house. What's your excuse? <laughs> I was need in the stomach. You guys are pathetic. <laughs> what? Aw, oh, jeez. Hey, look, I know you totally want to kill me and all, but today's kind of a bad day. My brother just showed up. Turns out I'm an alien. He stole my kid. Oh yeah, I was watching that. That was priceless. <laughs> old Lanny Mike. Oh yeah, old Lanny Mike. Uh, uh, sorry for your loss. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> wanna help me get him back? Why? Yeah. I'll friend you on MySpace. Tom, you've been replaced. <laughs> Didn't really have an ending yet. Now it's a Nestle Crunch Bowl. <laughs> Now it's a gummy bear. Now it's Nappa. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, so far, after 30 days, what? I've made a total of 45. Shut the fuck up! The following of the pan Anyways, um, uh, so hi everybody. All right, that was episode one. So uh, as you can tell, Gohan's actor changed pretty readily after that, and uh, I, for the life of me, uh, reflecting upon it, I, <laughs> I do not. Uh, that was definitely the right move because, uh, Vegeta 3986 could not lie, you know, block because I'm not logged in on my browser capture on my account. That why I know block. Why, you know, spell check before send tweet. <laughs> now, anyways, uh, I'm a, I'm a spicy bitch. Remember how to lose friends and alienate people, everybody. So we switch, uh, now that Masako took over for Gohan, I believe right at in episode two. Uh, it was a point of contention at one point because there was just kind of a, a worry about who was getting what roles initially. And uh, there was just a bit of a kind of a, a lot of discussions about that because people were thinking into season three and who they wanted to play as well. And I feel like um, originally uh, back in the day, Vegeta 396 wanted to play uh, Teen Gohan as well. So he wanted to play younger Gohan. But the problem is at the time and even now he could not do that voice uh it's it's just not within the doable doability there's one cl c voice close to it that almost wasn't doable and that was my dende voice initially i almost could not pull it off and one of the scenes scott had to pitch mod me down a little bit because i sounded too low because i was still getting used to the voice 
And um, yeah, so in that regard, uh, we switched over uh, to a new actor for Gohan immediately. Uh, and now by episode two, we uh, had decided because we were trying to script it the older way, the same way with the first episode, and we were realizing it wasn't working um, because there's too many different styles that directly clashed with one another. Uh, so in the end, it became myself, myself uh, Scott and Nick uh, going forward, uh, writing the scripts. And this is kind of the first episode where we really kind of the three of us wrote it together. Wait, talk a voice, Dende. My name is Dende. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, that's right, everybody. Yeah, that's right. Yes, I play Dende. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Now, anyways, episode two is about to take off here, folks. Now, this episode's fun. It has a lot of really fun jokes that I, have, I think have aged really well. Now, episode one to two, now that we had gotten it down to the three of us uh, as a writing team, and we kind of had a rule of uh, two versus one, uh, it, it's like you almost need that. Uh, to kill dead deadlocks, especially if two people like a joke, one doesn't, and vice versa, back forth, back forth. So uh, it's one of the reasons why. Um, <laughs> it's one of the reasons why this episode, I think, it's a quality jump. It goes like, it was just skyrocket here. So let's uh, let's take it away, folks. And a spirit, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are alone by animation toy. Even the first joke is fantastic. We have shirts about this. Hey Piccolo, mind if I ask you something? What is it? You're not human either, right? Yeah. And your dad spit you out as an egg, right? What about it? Are... Are you a Yoshi? Nailed it, Masako. Yes, Goku. I'm a green fucking dinosaur. Fucking dinosaur! Can... Can I ride you? <laughs> <laughs> this is funny! That's still funny! That's a, still, that's, that's, that's a funny joke! I really like that. That, that my quality. It was skyrocketed on Lanny. He upgraded his setup at that point. Joke is funny. Joke's on point. Uh, Lurk King Five. Yes, Goku. I'm a green fucking dinosaur. <laughs> it's still funny. <laughs> shut up. I said shut up. And now Moscow is playing Gohan, and everything sounds clean now. Everything like. Vegeta playing Raditz is not a bad cast. He's actually doing a pretty good job playing Raditz. Shut up! Damn it, why is he screaming angrily, making you cry less? How the hell is Come on. The time out bomb? Thank you, Moscow. Thanks, sweet, merciful God, that's over. Now I can just sit back and... Get re... Oh. Beat the crap out of whoever's coming. Great. Raditz! Give me back my son! Whee! So, you're here already, and I see you brought the Namekian as well. Uh, actually, that hasn't been explained yet. Oh. Well, it's not like anyone cares about him anyway. Well, screw you two! Piccolo, you use weighted training clothes as well? No, Goku. I just love to get naked when I'm around you. <laughs> Their power level is rising. <laughs> so, nudity makes you stronger on this planet. Uh, no. We're wearing weighted clothing. Oh, of course, because that would be ridiculous. <laughs> See, I, this is why I feel bad for Raditz as a character. I just wish there was more of him in the show because I almost like an, e it's like, a, it's an evil Google. Oh, I see. Ha -ha! Like, it was just like, it, it, the, the, where's the zipper? It doesn't need to make sense. There's the, I feel like there's, is that, was that a backpack zipper? I don't know. Again, it doesn't have to make sense. Technically they're wearing tights. Where's the zipper? It's fine. We don't, it's, it's, th these jokes are fine. And then here comes, here comes lol, another show, but I, this still makes me laugh. So that hair does compensate for something. <laughs> That's Phil Ken Seven. That's from, of course, uh, you may know it from such series as one series. Harvey Birdman attorney at law. Dangly parts. Shut up! <laughs> okay, what the hell was that? I don't know, but let's try it again from behind. The two of the best fighters canonically. Really this guy's just like. Russia! Damn it, Goku! <laughs> we at least try to dodge this one. Dodge what? Loki! <laughs> now, now this, now this was our first time ever uh, writing a fight scene. We had, uh, I feel like myself and Kaiser, at least, um, we had never written a fight scene before. Kaiser, being a massive DBZ fan, he knew his way around this footage, and I feel like because he knew it so well, um, 
you know, he was able to do this. Me, I, at this point, I'm still trying to find my confidence as a writer, so I can't really remember what I was necessarily pitching or writing at this stage. I had, I was helping out with the fight scenes. I'm just trying to remember what I was writing at this point. It's really hard for me to remember, but I just recall when we first broke down this fight scene, it just, it was a bit of a challenge because remember when we got to the fight scene, I feel like that's when we realized we needed to separate the writer. We needed to like, essentially, we needed to like iron out the writing team. And, um... Fighting scene without BGM. Oh, I know. It's the, still the second episode. We're still learning. Ha, you missed me. My bad. Ah! And this is Skyzer's editing, making this fight scene. He's <laughs> cutting it down to the bare, po the, 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 the important Less parts. Talky, more fighting. Ah. Hey, Piccolo. We may be taking a beating, but at least we managed to dodge that one. Hi, fi. Uh, <laughs> Thumbs up. Good job. <laughs> Masako is Goku's great. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Has anyone seen my arm? You can't miss it. It's green. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, listen. I've got one more attack that should do it. Upside is I can use it with one arm. And what's the downside? You'll have to distract him while I charge it. That's not too bad. For five minutes. Ooh. And considering he beat us to a pulp in under one, it... Ah, oh, never mind. I'm sure you can handle it. Wow. You really have that much faith in me? Yeah, sure. Why not? Well, then, I won't disappoint you. Here goes nothing. Uh, ready or not, here I come. I'm trying to remember if this might have been my pitch, so Goku just gets beat up to that. I think Nemo came up with the song. I don't even remember. Perhaps on second thought, a whole five-minute startup time for an attack is pretty abysmal in terms of usability in battle. Let go, help! <laughs> Got your tail again. Please let go. I'm not falling for that again. Pretty please let me go. I I, I will say this: Lanny's uh, Piccolo is immediately just like it was great the first episode. It's like already jumping quality. Uh, Masako uh, is not he's not going as deep with Goku and almost going more natural with it uh, and the Raditz performance from Vegeta 396 is really top notch which is a shame the character just eats it but that's that's DBZ's writing so that's not us folks <laughs> well oh, ow spine ow ribs definitely ribs aha uh -huh. attacking an opponent roughly four times your strength in a one on one battle a cunning strategy no 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 not cunning What's the opposite of that? Retarded. Oh, that's it. Thank you. Now, it was 2007. <laughs> Disregarding the Namekian, I. Uh, uh, Yoshi. I'm not a goddamn Yoshi. <laughs> well, you said you were. It's called sarcasm. What's that taste like? Damn it, Goku. Stop. Aces. I again, Lanny is crushing it as Piccolo. Ignoring me. Ah, my ribs. I think you broke, broke my, my mm, ribs. ribs. Uh, stop ignoring me Ow. and die. Huh? It's like a Homer Simpson Daddy joke. My Daddy! No, my space bomb. Ah, my space armor. We get it. You're from space. Ah. <laughs> that was Masako's first line as Gohan, and what a yell! What was that? No, no, seriously, what the hell was that? We were getting slaughtered out there, and you could do that. Oh, crap. Uncle Raditz is pissed! We here at Team Four Star do not condone child violence. We do, however, find I, I don't really. I depend on Wait, hold on. Oh, what? Mr. Shattered Ribs is going to stop me? Listen, you don't understand. Nothing you could do could ever compare to what Chi Chi would do to me if she found out he died. <laughs> I don't have any choice. I have to use We my knew where she was going. Me. Now die! Full Nelson! Uh, oh, I got a full Nelson! That won't work on me. I'm Raditz. <laughs> oh my oh, good my god. god in heaven! Yes, oh, what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We are being raided by Shy Lily with a party of over 5,000 people! The 
God, I turned it on follower only. Holy shit. Nice butt. Hey, those are my butt flaps. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Christmas gift. Welcome, everybody, to season one and season two of Dragon Ball Z A Bridge Creator Commentary with Blackjack and Hookers. Hi, everybody. Hi. There it is. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to turn off alerts here briefly, guys, because you are going to lag my computer. <sighs> Chai Lily, I don't even know how to thank you enough. Holy shit. Thank you so fucking much. Everybody, my name is Takahata101 from Team Four Star. I'm one of the co-writers and co-founders of Team Four Star. I co-wrote Dragon Ball Z Abridged and Helsing, Ultimate Abridged, as well as several other TFS projects. I am the voice of many characters in DBZA and Helsing Abridged as well, including Alucard. And I would like to thank, I want to thank Bitches Love Shy Lily. My god, Shy Lily. Now, now, you're the kind of well I would not push back into the ocean. Womp womp. Yes. Now, we're at the VIP Shy Lily here real quick. Yeah, and get back to the marathon, everybody. Because you're all being very kind. But I want to thank you so much for being here. Why is he upside down? Um, why are you not upside down? Oh, thank you all so much, everybody. And if you would like to know who I voice in Dragon Ball Z of Brutes, I play... Uh, 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 Nappa. I play Guru. I play Dende. I play Bardock as well. I play Goldo. And I also play... I also play a certain imperfect cell who might get a little bit wider in the hips. Child perfection! Bearing hips! And then finally, you become the perfect form you've always been trying to become. <laughs> oh, that's right, Goku. I'm gonna fist your child and I'm gonna think of you the entire time. Now, thank you all. So much for being here, guys. Oh, and if you ever watched uh, Yukio Abridged, I play Crump the Penguin Guy. Penguins, 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 penguins. And I also play Dolls, the leader of the Orakakamalo. Dude, we're gonna do them on the Dossi. Because I'm an Atlantean gay. Damn. So thank you all so much for being here, guys. And we're going to continue on with this marathon that we're doing on Christmas Eve. And thank you again to Shy Lily for the fucking raid. Thank God I turned on follower-only chat. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Woo! Wipe sweat away. That could have been real bad. Oh, my God. But thank you so much, Manny. Thank you so much, Arcturus the Warlock. And let's jump back into this here. Uh, I, You guys have been so kind. Thank you so much, guys. Let's jump into this because i got to do a lot of commentary on this. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let go. <laughs> Seriously, this is starting to piss me off! Great Let read from Vegeta. Hey. Good! Just make sure you give me a signal before you fire that thing! I'm right behind him! My head cannon is pickle actually did intend to kill Goku. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'll give you a signal. It'll be the last signal. You'll get. <laughs> well, okay. Because he's still forward. a villain, technically. Here we go. Make a sapper! Oh, to hell with it! Special beam cannon! Is that what you're gonna yell out when you- Oh, God! <laughs> Lanny! Cry Lanny playing the recolor guy and nailing it. Damn it! And there was no way I could have gotten out of there. You know, you could have flown. Damn you, Heinz! Heinz! <laughs> yep, that's the end. <laughs> and Raz is dead! <laughs> Loki, that was actually what happened in the show. They just waited too long. You can't die. Here, I brought a sensu bean. I don't think that's gonna work. Why not? I sort of have a hole in my esophagus. Wait, then how are you breathing? Uh, Goku? It's not. It's, it's, it's like chest or whatever. Sternum, technically. Whatever. Fuck it. Second episode. Holy crap. I'm not the first person to die in this series. <laughs> Damn it, Krillin. Krillin. What? Too soon. I can't believe he's gone. Yeah, pity that. God, Lanny crushing it. Wait, like, what no, the hell? You can regenerate? You know, you know what's funny about that take real quick here about Lanny? I want you to listen to that real quick. Listen, he didn't have the best microphone at the time, and he had to really back off that microphone. But for this one, uh, we didn't have an explosion going off, so you could hear it. But this one, you're going to hear the broom. So he's really far off his mic on that. But this, here's the thing. We're, we're just starting out. We don't have proper audio recording setups yet. Not fully. Wait, what the hell? You can regenerate? Yeah, and you know what else? What? 
I didn't go on by. <laughs> Somebody stop him! Damn it, Roshi! Shut up, Krillin. Oh. And there was our response. And there, there was our response to people really liking episode. Gohan, oh. do a headbutt! Do you get this reference? If you get this reference... Oh god, it's a toilet! That was almost me! The following is a fan base. Everybody, I want to thank you all so much for being here, guys. Shut up, Krillin. Oh! <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our marathon stream. We're going to jump through this here, and I have a fair amount of commentary to do on these episodes. These crazy, wacky ads, everybody. Why don't I have things fixed? It's because I'm bad at everything. That's why I'm a comedian. Hi, everybody. If you're still here after the Shy Lily raid, yes, I am Takahata. And yes, one of the fucking guys who wrote that show is a VTuber. He's got a giant butt with flaps on him. I have butt flaps. I will not call them bussy flaps, but Lord for bid now after episode two uh we uh, had our writing team going forward so it was myself scott and nick so i still wasn't i was still kind of timid in writing sessions i'll be honest with you because it just felt like i shouldn't be there in a lot of ways because i just felt like i was really lucky to be there you know i, I felt like i just like wormed my way in because everyone else at that point had edited shows and that's the thing everyone else was like editing stuff but i wasn't I'm really bad at it, and I just tried to do other things. So, you know, with Lanny kind of already having a lot to his name in the writer's room, I was a bit intimidated and I'm pushing back on Lanny's stuff. And, uh, you know, Kaiser and me were just trying to figure out our comfort levels in the writer's room. And throughout season one, you just see us finding our – by about episode five, I feel like we hit it, where we, find, we found our three-way team almost. Like, it took a couple episodes for us to find it. And there's, like, a lot of moments uh, – is uh, it, it's just it's so interesting uh, to me when I look back at this first season because I can just see uh like my lack of confidence in the writers' room, but also I could see every now and then where I had like I helped with a joke, or my my pitch was it went over well in my head. I don't remember the exact details, but it's why these commentary streams are really interesting to look back at because um, man. So the episode three, we're jumping right into this, and we decide to have uh we wrote it so. That, like, uh, I guess even in the canon, they actually talk about the Dragon Balls around the fucking Scouter, and that's how Vegeta and Nappa find out, which honestly is pretty crazy. Oh, I know, I was rated by 5,000 people. Give it time, Meppa. Let's jump into it, guys, and let's entertain you. Following the fan base parody, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Venimation Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Well, the volume's okay, folks. Let's jump into it. Well, Goku was passed, but his sacrifice has stopped a No music evil. again. Thanks to him... Our lives can return to peace once more. Raditz. Raditz. I'm getting better what at Nappa's voice now at this that? point. Guy who's as strong as a Cyberman says what? What? That usually gets to him. I think he's dead, Vegeta. Big shocker. Nobody cares. Oh, hold Vegeta ten voice. ten times stronger than him anyway. We'll go to Earth, find the Dragon Balls, and kill everyone. And we'll be there within a year or so. Depending on filler, of course. Mm, yeah. Anything else we need to go over, Vegeta? Nope. That's about it. No. Well, fuck. <laughs> I love that. I love that scene. All right, uh, is there anything else we need to go over? No, that's about it. <laughs> it's just, I just feel like it's a layup for plot that happens. It's just like, ah, yeah, that's about all we need to cover, really. That's all they need to know, right? Yeah, that's about all they need to know, of course, for the purposes of the plot. All right, moving on. <laughs> that's kind of, the energy that scene has, and it's also kind of low-key what happened in the show. So we're just, that's why he'll just say, is that, is that everything we need to go over? Even though he's a dumbass, he's like, is, that, is that everything we need to go over? It's almost like, like he just has like a checklist right by the thing. And you don't even visibly see them. Also, Lan oh, oh yes, Lanny up to episode five or six or seven plays Vegeta way lower. But uh, the, the, as Lanny's hearing his Vegeta a lot more, he makes adjustments. This is why like Lanny's voice acting has always been top notch going into this show. It gets better by the end of season one. And I don't even think I get on his level to the end of season two. I, I mean that. So here we go. Let's keep going. Chala. Hey, Chala. Hey, guys. Who's at the Oh, Chala's amazing. I love it. Why am I upside down? Because I'm, I'm doing a perfect bridge. All right, you little human saying thing. 
I saw what you did to that Saiyan back there. So one thing Kaiser was very adamant about when we were writing this was Kaiser was more of a Dragon Ball fan as well. So he knew of the evil of King Piccolo. So I didn't know any of that. I didn't know anything about old old Dragon Ball plot, really. So I had to like get myself up to date on it. So with Piccolo, I was like, holy shit. So he was the big baddie in the show at the end before it switched over. So the whole tone shift with him kind of didn't make much sense in the show itself. So Scott and the writer was like, let's make him a little bit more, uh, let's make him more evident that he was a villain. And that we kind of kind of goes away towards the end of the season one because he, you know, there you go. That kind of power can be useful. What? What do you mean? I'm going to make you my pupil. Okay, so Masako, by the way, and a compliment to Masako. Out the gate, he's one of the best performers in the show. But from the get go, his Gohan is amazing. Just at the start, it only gets better. And that's just Masako. Masako and Lanny at this point are just, they're, they're a step above myself and Kaiser as actors, and they're, you can just tell. And that's just because they put the time in, and, they're, and they still are phenomenal performers to this day. So let me continue on here. See, I was going to compliment them. I'm not going to be a complete jer jerk. And then I'll use you for my conquest to take over the world. But, but where's my daddy? Hate to tell you, kid, but your dad's dead. Actually, I kind of like saying that. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha, your dad's dead. Damn it. This is why I hang out in wastelands. Mm -hmm. Hello, and welcome to the Heavenly Check-In Station. Please, no cutting in line. Here come. If you are cutting in line, you will be sent straight to hell. And I so, we need Goku here to get to... No, 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 true story. That's, I think, that's Kaiser's second line in the show. I think... Except for what a twist. That's Kaiser's third line in the show because he played M. Night Shyamalan. That was his first named character. Kai, I want it, I want it down here. Kaiser played M. Night Shyamalan first. Okay. And now this is uh, Vegeta 3986's old Kami, which is, it, this is, I'm sorry to say, everyone can do this voice. Every voice actor is capable of doing their old man voice. As you can see, <coughs> it's not a great... <laughs> As you can tell, it's a bit hard in your throat. The King Guys for his masterful training, Lord Yama. Give me one good reason I should allow this. And introducing, first time in the show, and I mean, and I'm going to say this, one of the most talented performers in the whole show, and overall, he only got better, and I think even here, he was like... Maybe even better than Lanny at this point. He's so fucking great. Gon Jing Ba, creator of Avatar, abridged everybody. Gon Jing Ba, game dev, a fantastic performer. He makes this his bitch, and this is his first character, and he goes on to play Raccoon and Jace, Tien, and also Android fucking 17, because he's a great fucking performer. Let's continue on here. Because if you don't, that line's going to increase by six billion! Six billion? I'm supposed to be a We're up to eight now, by the way. Intimidated by six billion? Please, I can judge six billion souls faster than you take a piss, old man. You know, I am the guardian of Earth. Could I please get a little bit more respect here? Big deal, I'm the closest thing to a god in this show. Until you get to the Kais. Then I'll be horribly insignificant. That's true. I do have a desk, though. It's made of mahogany. 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 Anyway, can we please... Silence! Mahogany. I swear to God, this is my joke. I don't know who wrote this joke. I, maybe Lanny's taking credit for it. I have no idea. I swear to God, this is something so... This is something stupid I would say in a, in a call and make someone laugh. Okay? This is exactly what one of my jokes would be like back in the day. Mahogany. Um... Sir? What? what? Oh, uh, sure. Whatever. He can go to King Kai's, but he'll have to run on Snake Way! Sounds fun. Prepare to be surprised. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Oh, wait. By the uh, way, did you it's see weird. a guy named Raditz come? It's weird that it's like the sound mixing is not as meticulous as Scott is known for towards the end of the season. Because you're hearing, like, normally Scott would have had, like, those walking steps and everything. This is still early on. And we're actually popping these out in a, a really pretty steady pace at this point before uh, uh, the shutdown at the end of season one. We'll get into that. Uh, not too much, though. Come through here. He has spiky hair and a tail. 
Oh yeah, I remember that guy. I put him in my patented Yamalock. And it worked? No, he kicked me in the balls and ran away. Now I don't know where he is. He didn't keep his eye on the birdie. Okay, so I want you to know in, in Hiffle, our side series that we made, when, when uh, Raditz is running away, Lanny, God bless him, playing Raditz, is going like, that's right, that's right! After, like, it's implied that he kicked over Yemma in the dick. I don't even know if in the side you actually see like, Yemma holding his dick like, oh, oh! I don't even know if that's there, but I wouldn't be shocked if they animated that. <laughs> He's like, ah, this is the last day you'll ever cast a mighty red hat! And just falls immediately off Snake Way. Like, that's the joke. It's the second they get away from the, the just the banisters, they fall. Like, ah! Every time. And it's just, it's a funny fucking <laughs> shit. It's funny. Was the prepare to be surprised a Futurama reference? Uh, not intentionally, but maybe in the back of our head, just because we were using it a lot of that time. That titty 2008 quality of audio. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Let's jump into huh. it. Okay. Yeah. Well, bye. See you next time you die. Mahogany. So, Krillin, how did Chi Chi take the news? Um. Well, Krillin, what did you need to talk about? And this is, uh, this is, uh, I believe Chris Ricks, and she was who we had billed to play Chi Chi initially. Uh, unfortunately, she could not continue playing the character early, later on, but she played crazy perfectly. Her recording setup, unfortunately, was very, uh, subpar uh, at the recording of this, unfortunately. So, Chi Chi, hypothetically, Kevin the P1, what thank would you, you do if you were told that your husband was dead and your son were kidnapped by his worst enemy? I'd castrate the messenger in his sleep with a rusty carving knife. Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to spend the night? Uh, against my better my judgment. Better judgment? You. <laughs> you. <laughs> I believe that's actually uh, Regan's voice actor from Mob Psycho playing uh, um, Ox King. and go train with Kami. The who warriors? The Z warriors. You, Goku, Tien, Yamcha, Chiaotzu. That's what we always call you guys. Where indeed? Where indeed, chat? Where indeed? You know? Where indeed did that scouter come from? <laughs> where? But now, the hard questions we ask. The hard questions we ask. Now let me get repositioned myself and continue on with this. Yes! Scott's favorite joke. Everybody. Scott's favorite joke. Yeah, I think this is one of the best jokes Scott's ever written. <laughs> Especially how he points out what the joke is. That's my favorite part of the <laughs> Eckmeister. Thank you so much. Oh, season one, man. All righty. <laughs> uh, I forgot to mention you look like the Mor you look like Morbius. Oh, I've been I morbed so you could sheesh. Okay, so let's jump into it. That's the stupidest thing I've ever. Raylan! Where the hell are you? Well, I'm off together with the Z Warriors. Bye. <laughs> He's running away. That's a great cut, Mo. Listen up, Runt. Today we're going to commence your intense training under me. But wait, wouldn't that cause horrible muscle degeneration for somebody my age? Mm -hmm. Crippling me for years to come? You're a wordy little bastard, aren't you? My mom wants me to become an ortho- NERD! <laughs> what? Anyway, I figured to unleash your hidden potential, it had to put you in immense physical danger. So I'm gonna throw you at that mountain. Actually, that looks more like a put- yeah! Any second now. Here it comes. Oh, this is cut. And... <laughs> this is gonna be a long training session. Okay, so, uh, 
this that that was funny. That's still funny as fuck because Kaiser's editing. Like, ah, mm, ah, and then the volume shift when it cuts to Piccolo and you can hear the volume lower. Like, that's a level of quality not a lot of people at the bridging at the time were doing. But Scott was able to add, like, he was able to start adjusting the audio based on where people are yelling from. And that's like, he just gets better and better at it as the time goes on. You see his, his, his thing. Oh, man, it just gets better and better. So here we go. All right, Mr. Must Man, here you are at Snake Way. Now, you might want to pack a lunch. I don't even know. What did Kaiser say this was based off of? I don't know, but I'm offended for him. That's because it's going to be a long run. Now, I'm just joking. You're not going to be eating none. Wow. That looks like it's going to take me a while. Now, be careful running. You don't want to fall off and die. That's just a little bit of dead humor. But seriously, do not fall off or you will go to hell. Has anyone ever run the whole thing before? Bruce from Family Guy. Well, there guy. was one man. Well, who was he? I believe his name was... Mr. Popo! <laughs> yes, Tommy? I just received word that we have a new batch of trainees Here we come. coming. Make oh, no. sure you take good care of them. <laughs> dun, 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 now we have the perfect outro thing. All right. Now I want to point out now what we were doing when we were writing, we were talking about future characters, obviously. And one of the characters we kept getting to was Mr. Popo because it cannot. And we already talked about this probably multiple times. There's a scene in Boo where Mr. Popo is literally blocking Trunks and Goten Super Saiyan punching him. And I'm like, I'm sorry, he can block Super Saiyan punches? How strong is he? And the idea was he's incredibly powerful. He just does not give a shit. He's essentially a god who doesn't care. And... <laughs> The eye, and it's just the eyes. And the thing is, essentially, he is a gen. He's a genie. That's what he's supposed to be. But unfortunately, this is the 80s, and that is how they are portraying a black person. Uh, they're implying it with the red lips. And for that reason, some of our jokes are a little bit older, but this is also how the character was uh, was portrayed at the time. that They made him blue in the future. <laughs> Oh, okay. We did blue popo at one time. Quick, do, quick. Do I? Do you? Do you need a pass? No, we never say it. We never. We never even imply Mr. Popo can say it. <laughs> I can say it. Oh, no, we never. No, no. But thank you, Heavenly. I pre Heavenly. Thank you so much. Though I'm happy. I, I might need it though. So next episode, we're about to get. We're about to get real close to it. We're about to get real close to it, folks. Here, right, we don't discuss blue popo. <laughs> Yes, we did. Oh, man. We don't even show you all those videos. So those, are, those are really dated. Uh, Lincoln. Uh, thinking Lincoln. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everybody. Oh, my God. I want to thank all the subs, all the bits. Wolf Song, thank you for the 100 bits. Heckmaster, thank you for the bits. Ron, Ronan John, thank you so much. Kevin the P1, thank you so much. Mahogany. Hope you're doing okay. Thank you again so much for the raid. Uh, Shy Lily, if you're sticking around from that, guys, it's greatly appreciated. Let's keep on jumping into here. We're going to episode four. All righty. And not just any mahogany, <laughs> this joke. but mahogany from the planet of Malkior 7, where the trees are 300 feet tall and breathe fire. Oh, that edit. From these trees, this desk was forged 2,000 years ago, using ancient blood rituals of the Malkior people. <laughs> and that's Lanny. Not only does this make my desk nigh indestructible, but it can bend the fabric of the universe itself. Also, it's a very fine material. Very expensive. Okay. Mahogany. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> Ninth Rule Popo's training. Uh, okay, that's a bit too light color to be a mahogany. High tech Aztec, you get out of here. Get out of here! No joke, I wish we could have actually had someone land on Malky or a seven ahead of fire breathing tree eat them. Like, I just, I wanted that to happen at some point in the show. Be like, oh shit, what? Oh, Malky or seven, that's why. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Because <laughs> we just made up random fucking planets And we're just like We should really rake up even more random planets That just have weird stupid rules <laughs> Why not? Why, why the fuck not? Alright Just Who says? Space is endless Technically Ads? You got ads? Ads! <laughs> no! I have ads too, chat this is what VTubing is. This is VTubing. This is VTubing, everybody. This is how you collab. You backstab. You gaslight. And you girl boss. 
Girl boss! Oh shit, you got girl bossed. All right, wait for everyone to get... Choose the next level. No! The following is Pandas Parody, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are alone. Synth Aeon. Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Less time on drug. Okay, so what I I don't recall the actual timeline of everything, but at this point, uh, I, I, at this point, I remember uh, we I reached out to Little Karibo and asked him to be the narrator. We loved him. If it weren't for Little Karibo, Martin Bellini, I would never have started bridging. Meaning, I never would have started VTube. I my career would be entirely different. Little Karibo is one of the biggest comedic and personal inspirations to me. Uh, and man, I, I wish nothing but the best for him and his family, uh, not to derail everybody here, but recently he had a loss in his family. So if you want to hop on, uh, Twitter and go to at EGOTS and good vibes his way, please do, because he's God damn it. Love for Martin. Uh, the muted 93. Thank you as well. Since Aeon, thank you as well. Kit Kat. Thank you as well, everybody. Uh, so this is where, um, we bring in LK and also Kaiser starts kicking ass at his sound mix. Is Kaiser's sound mix even... So we're starting out with music here because Scott's going that extra mile. I feel like Scott turned up personal... Uh, oh my God, Reserve One. Thank you for the 20 gifted shots. God bless, Reserve One. Ha! Oh, diggity that but deals on the last sub edge. Here at the Weary 101. But thank you so much. This next episode is sponsored by Reserve One. Hot diggity damn, everybody. I'm going to have to pause and thank you guys. This is going to be an editing nightmare for whoever has to edit this, but... God bless. And again, we'll be getting back into Little Karibo here shortly. Okay, don't trust me. He shows up here. And we've talked a million stories about uh, him, but I can tell you why Hippo means so much to me. It's because I always wanted to perform with his character of Frieza, and I never really got to. Not really. It's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here we go. Dragon Ball Z abridged. Goku began his journey down Snake Way. Wait, is that some kind of innuendo? The joke was Martin doesn't know what Dragon Ball Z is. And we're like, oh, we'll write you the narrator as if you don't know what Dragon Ball is. So he's just like, what the heck is that? Uh, and that's kind of the joke with the narrator, <laughs> which we ended up not using as much as we wanted to. But then we had him play Frieza. So fuck it. What a better get that is. Spitfire Unchained. Thank you as well. Let's jump into this. And Reservoir, thank you so much again. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But I'm ready with the raid. The longest, toughest journey I've ever made. I have to receive King Kai's training and battle the biggest threat to the planet we've ever faced. I can can I just watch? No, I'll do it however I want. I have to run as fast as I can. I have to keep that. Someone told me to just watch. Shut up and just. Someone told me to shut up and dribble. That's it. Whole stream's derailed. <clears throat> someone told me to shut up and dribble. <clears throat> Alrighty, Lord Forward, 1,000x. Thank you so much for the 1,000 bits from the five gifted shots. Ah, you don't give him grief. Alright, five, five shots, thank you so much. I got one guide. <laughs> Guys, why am I upside down? I've achieved the perfect bridge. Let's do this. Running for the sake of the earth, humanity, and my family. <laughs> Perfect cut. Oh god! This has started the trend of how people fall into Snake Way. It's just it's just always a dumb reason. Oh, North Country man! You guys gotta be kidding me! I'm trying to do a I'm trying to do a fucking marathon, and but gosh! Oh, I I am peeved. With this kindness, <laughs> I you know, I've country man with the thirty gifted shots. What are you guys doing to me? What is this? What is this? What is this, guys? I I I I'm hinged and ready to binge. We try to hinge me down. Levels have been hype trade. How dare you? How dare you? Lord Ford with on the ah, Bosey with those ten gifted shots. You can't see this chat. This is, these are all going to be edited out. Like, I feel like I now that the, the massive raid is done, I can turn on my alerts again. So I'll do that so you can actually see what's happening. Unless someone else massively raids me. Damn it! Bagosh! I, it's backwards. Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry! Uh, let, me, let me fix this real quick here, guys. <laughs> let me... Kevin! Kevin! 
Kevin! Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Th thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Zena Nomax, thank you as well for the 20. Like, Kevin, thank you for the 10 gifted shots. Um, Zena Mex 178, thank you so much for the. Holy shit. Uh, uh, thank you so much for the 25 gifted shots as well, you guys. Even Sammy Grayson, thank you so much as well. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to do this as Napa going on. Oh my god. Sammy Grayson. XX, no name. XX 178 with 25 gifted shots. Kevin the P1. My god, someone's dying of kindness today, evidently. Evidently, everybody, welcome everybody to our marathon stream. Everybody, hi. Yes, I'm Takahata 101, one of the creators of DBZA and Helsing at Bridge. We're not doing Helsing today, but that'll be a different time. Uh, I didn't even do it for Halloween. Uh, so now I'm playing catch up right now because the guys did a reaction series, and I have a lot to talk about about this series. About mostly just me gushing over how talented my coworkers. Oh my god, my gosh! Just follow the beat, the beat of that drum. My god, just follow the beat with ten gifted shots. God bless you, and thank you so fucking much. Oh, Crystalline Dust, thank you. And Marty Boy 5, X5. Marty Boy times 5 with 5 gifted shots. God bless you so much, man. Thank you so much. Very kind of you as well. And just follow the beat. Thank you again so much, you guys. You guys are being very fucking kind right now. Uh, I, I don't mean to derail this 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 thing here. I'm just I'm thanking everybody for the kindness here. Uh, do you play at Hiffle? Is it Cell or someone else? Oh, I play Cell, uh, Guru, and Dende. And, not Dende. And, uh, and oh, my God. Jesus Christ, Goldo. How the fuck did I forget that guy's name? My God, thank you, Marty Boy. And guys, wow, wow. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much. They just keep coming. They don't stop coming. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna jump a freeway. Thank you as well. Uh, we're going to jump into this as well, guys, here. We're going to keep going here. Uh, uh, so everyone forgets Goldo. It's okay. It's Yeah, yeah, he doesn't last long. He has more lines in Hipple than he ever had in the original series. And that's not, and that's fucking funny to me. Because he's like a blank slate character. You can just kind of write whatever you want, really, for him in a lot of ways. All right, guys, let's take it away here. <laughs> episode four is the episode before episode five, where I really think we hit our stride. Episode five, in my opinion, is where we finally really hit on all notes. <laughs> uh, Michelle DB3, thank you as well. And I love that the yell rolled right into the intro. That is, again, there's a lot of little edits in this that just take this episode the extra mile. You almost see like the quality we're about to hit. And this next scene features so many foreshadowed jokes. Oh, oh so, who me, thank do you. we have here? A little girly man, yeah. I'm Goku. Who are you? And there is Lanny, of course, as who? I am Gaz. As Gauze and and Ben as Mez. I am Mez. And we are here to pump you up. All right, so th we are literally we literally are taking a gimmick from another show. This is the um, this is we are here to pump you up, and this is I believe from In Living Color. Uh, I believe this is uh, In Living S N L bit or is it an In Living Color bit. I don't know which one it is. Uh, but we're just we're Hans and Franz. We're just copying it. We're, we just copied it. We just went. Yeah, we're taking oh, Hans and Franz from S N L. We just whole hog stole it. We just we just yep. And, and we just put them right on them. Boom, they're both wacky Germans. Well, I'm sort of... First, we are going to do a hundred squats. And then lots of push-ups on the hard ground. And then a bunch of jumping jacks. Ooh! That <laughs> sounds like fun, but I'm sort of in a hurry. Merry Christmas, How do I Mary. get out of here? Ah, there's no way out of here. Unless you manage to beat us in a test of strength and speed. Yeah. Funny thing is they're wearing the hell shirts. Lots of running and wrestling and sweat. And grappling each other on the cold ground, yeah. Okay, now let's say we do so all that. Then where would you say the exit is? Oh, it's right over there. Yeah, but you have to beat us first. And... Ah, he's running away. Oh, before I go. Oh yeah, everyone's like, why? He sounds like, why, why, why German? Ha ha, because we're copying a bit. And also, everyone's pointing out that Gauze, that sounds like the Major from Helsinger Bricks. Yes, because of Castellani is that, because I heard, like, this German voice he's doing is really good. Even though it's early on and his mic's still iffy, like, his German accent's really strong, which is why when we were casting uh, Helsing, I kind of want, I didn't want to ask Nick to do something he's already done before, so I, I gave him a character he's never played before, truly a, a, not a fighter. 
Like, Lanny had always played fighters and shit, and I'm like, this guy doesn't fight. Major does not fight at all, so that's why we cast him as that character, because I want to give him something different. And that's why Moscow plays the doctor, because Moscow always plays good guys. So I'm like, Moscow, I want you to play a Nazi doctor. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, doctor, what are we doing? Oh, oh. He's just playing it. They're both playing it so over the top, and that's why they crush it. This was an audition for Helsing? He didn't even know it yet. Have you seen my brother Raditz around here? Spiky hair. Raditz Leo? mentioned, number ah, 10. Yes, he made a horrible mess of the blood fountain. Looks fine to me. It used to be water! Wow. Well, I'm going now. These these Run old away. episodes, I these old episodes, you can tell that Lanny had to back off his old season one microphone constantly, not to blare it out. It's for the fruit. Ah, he has a piece of the fruit. Ah, oh, nein, no, don't eat the fruit, don't eat the fruit. Bye. No, now we can make the fruit salad for King Yemma's barbecue. Yum. Where'd the fruit come from? So the whole plot of this, this is a filler episode, by the way, guys. It's like a 20-minute episode where he goes down to hell and has to get back on Snakeway. He eats a fruit that gives him super strength and speed, and he catches any in with when one day catches up to where he fell off again. Like, literally, it's a MacGuffin that gets him back to where he was right before he fell off Snakeway. Fucking filler, man. <laughs> Dubura is going to bring something totally kick-ass, and we will have nothing which we will look like fools! See, we mentioned Dabura here, because we knew Z, you know, and we knew Z, and the, 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 Dabura is like the ma he is the lord of hell. So, you know. Ach, I am so mad! Yeah, let us go work off our stress by doing squat thrusts and stretches. Yeah, then we'll do grappling in our speedos. I'll grab the oil. Meanwhile, back on Earth. Now that's got to be some kind of innuendo. No. <laughs> Oh, this joke is great. I fucking love this joke. Here it comes. How am I supposed to get down from God, was this one mine? I think this one was mine, if I'm remember. I can't even get any food or water. I think this was me. What should I do? I said climb down! If only I had some sticks or reeds lying around. I could make a makeshift ladder or a rope. Because this is also a filler episode. The whole premise of this filler episode, I'm not kidding everybody, This the whole premise of this filler episode was Piccolo puts him on top of a, a, of a plateau and he has to climb down. That's the thing. And he's like, all right, what am I supposed to do? Piccolo didn't tell him. This is not good training that you do to somebody, okay? That's actually the whole filler. That's the whole episode. He does that. And there's all these episodes. Like, there's three filler episodes where Go Gohan just does something, some bullshit that Piccolo sends someone and does the wrong thing. And Piccolo's like, did you learn a lesson? He's like, I think I did, Dad. I don't know, because again, old Gohan sounded like bootleg Bobby Hill, but let's move on. Oh, here we... Okay, all right, so this is the rogues gallery here. Okay, so this is where Gan Chingba comes in to play Tien, because and we didn't even realize what we were writing with Tien yet. The whole joke with Tien is he's a serious person, and that's the joke. Uh, we had, um, uh, we, I believe, had the original actor for Chaozu, um, was played by, uh, somebody else, um, and, uh, I believe their name was White Ash at the time. Uh, this is their only, pro um, oh, this is their only, uh, I think, appearance in the show. Unfortunately, their mic quality was very poor, and it was, we could not continue recording with them. So, in future scenes, we switched them out with Megami immediately, uh, after we realized that it was not going to work. And thank you for the level 9 hype train, everybody! As well, we are joined by, of course, Vegeta 396 playing Yamcha, uh, and we, of course, have Krillin being played by, uh, Lanny. But the real interesting thing is, uh, Vegeta 396 is also playing, uh, Kami here in the first, uh, bit here, as well. And also... Lanny is also, uh, Lanny, I always brag about Lanny, he plays Krillin, he plays Piccolo, he plays Vegeta, and he plays Mr. Popo as well. So, Vakalot Vakaroos, and thank you so much for the level 10 hype train, everybody. Ronan John, thank you guys all so much. And, oh, real quick here, and I want to thank Scar40167, thank you so much, Scar. Uh, I, I, I know this is a lot, but it is a lot, dude. Any, anything is kind of you, it really is. Thank you for all the content you've been over the years, bringing us so many smiles, and much to enjoy, much of all of us here, and much love to all you guys and what you do. Thank you so much. And Lanny, oh, I love how Lanny plays Mr. Popo. I mean, there's so many, I wish I could say, like, a lot of the jokes are written by me and Lanny, I feel like. I feel like it's our dark sense of humor, because me and Lanny have a very dark sense of humor. You have all come to train on my lookout. Oh, you can hear that. <gasps> you can hear that in his voice, like, initially. Just, it's like, this is why these old man voices just sound really rough. You have all come. Oof, man, that I'm is rough. God, so it's so bad on your voice to do that. Don't do that, chat. You don't want to do that. Like, this is... 
This is why we, we, we switched out Kami's performer as well, but like the problem is like, god damn, this is really... You can hear the damage it's doing to the voice almost. I look out, but since I am quite old, I shall leave you in the capable hands of Mr. Popo. Mr. Popo, you know what to do. Yes, Kami. <laughs> All right, maggots, listen up. Here we go! I was about to teach you Thank the, you, the pecking order. order. It goes you, you, the dirt, the worms inside of the dirt, Popo stool, call me, then Popo. Any questions? Um, yeah, I got- <laughs> Enjoy the climb back up, bitch! Now any more questions? Good, <laughs> then we can begin. Okay, no more diversions. And there you go. I'm, I'm just, and there we go. We when we realized what we wanted to do with Popo, we're like, oh, we just gotta come out and like rip the bandaid off, not even be subtle about this shit. We gotta just really let him be like, all right, you really want to know how this is gonna work. <laughs> and that's a good old count number three for Krillin. <laughs> and that is because. Uh, I believe at the time that edit was a big deal because everyone's like, wait, hold on. Krillin's in that shot. And Scott completely um, removed him from the shot. And that was a big deal. And I believe Scott even was like, yes, right. He was in the shot and then he wasn't. And they're like, are you fucking kidding me? Like that was a genuine fucking shock for everybody that Scott actually changed, like took a picture of Krillin being there, turned it into its own frame, removed Krillin, mapped out the actual background of the actual tiles, so it looked like Krillin was never there, even though the shot never existed, and represented it. And, uh, did you plan to make Popo creepy? Oh, hell yeah, he's not even creepy, he's just terrifying. He's ominous. He's meant to be very ominous. Uh, but just like, it's just, it's, just, it's like a nuke walking around. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue on here, chat. Yes. This is really important. No more such Ah, now. yes, yet another filler episode. This is the Princess Snake House. Once again... Uh, another filler episode, uh, because this is happening a lot. Is that a snake? <laughs> now the next performer you're about to hear is Lord Quadros. God bless him for their wonderful snake voice. And you'll know what I mean here in a second if you've never seen it before. And he has a buckle up. Oh. <laughs> this is, this is, this is, oh boy. God damn it, this joke. Princess Snake, you have a visitor. God wow, damn. He's quite the hunk of man made. What's with the hair? Ah, I just love this fur coat. Especially since I killed all the animals for it myself. Huh? You don't look like you big King Kai. What? Did my magnificent breast. I, I'm, his microphone quality literally makes him sound like he's coming through a codex. And that's why this still works. Tip you off. Guys, this is, this, this is so. Ah, <laughs> uh, this joke. I don't even know how to feel about this joke, guys. Uh, nothing against Lord Quadros. I just don't know how to feel about this joke we wrote. Because I think this was me, too. I don't even remember if this was me. Maybe I can blame someone else for this. I don't know. But it's also where it's funny. It's also bad. It's still funny. I don't even know how to begin with this one. Uh, he did the, the Lord Quadros did Metal Gear Solid abridged. Yes. What? what? Nothing. Are you hungry? Yeah, I could eat anything right now. Uh, me, too. What? Nothing. Take a seat. I killed everything here with my bare hands. Including the bare hands. It's a pun! <laughs> it's a pun! I can't believe you took all this down yourself! I want to take you down. What? Nothing. Get in the hot tub. <laughs> wow. This this is just, is really we're bad. just going right through this, guy, guys. We're just... We're just like, we're just like, we're just like five minutes ahead. Five minutes ahead. Every joke, five minutes ahead. Moving on, moving on, moving on. We got fella. Let's get, let's get through it. That joke carried by the delivery. It's exactly, it's like this joke still, this, this next edit, it was a big shock for a lot of people because what can, what can Scott do? And this is 2007, everybody. Uh, not as nice as your ass. <laughs> God bless well, Scott for that. Well, food and stuff, but I've got to get to King Kai's. No. First, you must pass a test of endurance. Mm. What's that mean? It means I want you inside me. What do you mean? You'll see. Ah! <laughs> Total simplification. <laughs> ah! Stop chasing me! <laughs> Stop grunting! It's creepy! <laughs> 
Walk, Here we walk, go. Walk, 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 walk. God damn. <laughs> Again, you see oh what's God's about to- sake, now he's just standing there. I think you see what I mean about the quality and improving. Like, this episode, there's all these custom edits that are just so fucking fun. <laughs> They're funny. Looking at the moon like a retarded puppy. Oh, boy. He's trying to teach him to fend for himself. The R-word! Oh, he has to be awake. Defenseless little boy, is he getting bigger? <laughs> God damn it, these jokes. Okay, that's new. Wait a second. That tail is saying blood. Does this mean... Okay, so this next part, this next joke is a reference to the old dubs. I think the guy's already talked about that. It's the old, 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 old dubs from, like, the like the English-speaking French people dubs. Every one of Gohan's race can become a giant gorilla! <laughs> Damn it, if he destroys everything, what'll be left for me? <laughs> this joke is good. I... Stop mocking me! The implication being he accidentally... <laughs> could he dick... Take that, Moon. Perfect orbit my ass! Uh, uh, huh? Where'd the monkey go? Uh, well, he's back to normal. Oh, God, what the hell is that thing? Well, whatever it is, I don't like looking at it. This either. <laughs> now, close beam! Close beam! That is easily my most metro attack. <laughs> Meanwhile, back on- I'm sorry, he has a close beam. I don't know how to describe this, guys. Sometimes this show just pulls bullshit out of its ass and it doesn't make sense. Like when Goku has rat, he can like put people's hands to their head and then read their thoughts. And he never does it again. And then he's just, by the way, I was almost late saving you all, but I can now teleport. Well, why didn't you teleport to save us? Great question. Moving on. I'm like, what? 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 So we're almost done this episode. On snake way. Man, that was close. Sure, I'm glad I got away from that giant snake lady. <laughs> It's a snake. It's a snake. It's a snake. Ah, that's those jokes. I, uh, oh, here we go. What's this last bit? Yep. And once again, wanton destruction has solved all of my problems. With absolutely no negative repercussions. We've got breaking news that Here we go. Moon has been, has been destroyed. destroyed. Well, the long-term environmental effects can only be guessed at, preliminary speculation puts the short-term death toll from tidal effects alone at the hundreds of millions. We now go to our resident expert on lunar science, Sailor Moon. Sailor? <laughs> Thanks, Sailor. We now return you to Nick at Night's 24-hour full house marathon already in progress. Okay, so uh, as bad as the reporter as well, I love this bit because it's like the action of blowing up the moon is never touched base on on the global level at all. After like, okay, so there's Piccolo Rex randomly blows up the moon and no one talks about that. Everyone would be talking about that. <laughs> so uh, that is episode four, everybody. Oh, here we go. Hey, Vegeta. What? Are we there yet? No. 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 Are we there yet? 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 I'm flying to Tucson, Arizona! When the road and... Don't know where your strength is. The following is a Everybody. <laughs> now everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Now, I'll be up next, everybody, is computed. Now, episode four was... Just really a step up for them, for, for, for sorry, them, for us, I feel like. Uh, and I feel like episode five is, again, we get to writing, uh, one of the plots is Nappa and Vegeta. And we really get to write them having their first plot ever, which we, I think Kaiser even at the time was like, all right, this is how we're selling Nappa and Vegeta. Okay, this is their, this is their, this is, this is their filler episode. And the reason why we're doing this, how much time was between these earlier episodes? About a month, six weeks to a month, uh, two months sometimes. It was, uh, we were, they were coming out at a pretty steady pace because, again, it w didn't require, like, Scott's editing, while amazing, was not as meticulous as it was yet for the quality increase that we needed. Um, but with this one, we were kind of going through the filler episodes, which was really kind of a way for us to, ex you know, looking back, we were really just experimenting with writing other characters. You know, we got to write some Goku plots. We got to write with Piccolo. We got to write with uh, all the Z Fighters as well, which is a terrible name. Uh, 
And uh, we got to add Popo. Po- po. We got to have a filler plot with Napa Vegeta. Like, the filler was actually incredibly useful to us as a set of performers and writers. So I actually look back at this filler stuff really fondly because I think we really cut our teeth a fair amount from what we ended up writing the canon with. And same thing in season two, starting out with a bunch of filler. That's why season three opens up with that filler episode. It's one of my favorite episodes of the show. It's the one where Krillin uh, get, gets indicted for fraud. My favorite episode. <laughs> just because of all the... Ch- just because Kr- just because Krillin's hilarious and I love him, so uh, this is the first ever Napa and Vegeta hide the banana during the many years alone. I don't think they hit hide the banana. You can't do that. Bananas are extinct. We still set scientist babies out to find bananas out there on a planet that has them, but no one has. Earth did. Did the rot get to it? Yeah. No. Yeah. We're still seeking those bananas. All right, guys. This is episode five. Let's have some fun with the filler. Grand-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball. I play two characters in this episode. And I'll point out the other character I play. GTR alone by Venomation Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Yeah. After endless running and detours, Goku has finally reached the end of Snake Way. Snake Way. Oh, How very, very convenient. convenient. Ooh. Oh, wow. That must be King Kai's place. Mm-hmm. Here comes Kaiser's first big character. That's right, everybody. Kaiser's first name character, King Kai. Kaiser hates his King Kai voice. Hates it. When you got Kaiser, I love you as King Kai. God damn it, stop liking my voice. I don't like doing it. But Scott, out the gate, crushes it as King Kai. Like, right out the gate. Meanwhile, back in- I- immediately, immediately, he's great at King Kai. Deep reaches of space. There he is. Over there yet? No! Over there yet? No! Over there yet? No! Over there yet? No! Hey, Vegeta. What? Can we stop at that bug planet? Not if it'll shut you up for five minutes, then fine! Now, this is going to be hard for me because I can still hear, uh, and this is true, guys, um, for me... I, before this season, I, a long time ago, I pretty much had a, a deviated septum where, like, the bone, the uh, orbital bone in your nose, I guess, is broken, and it healed on its side, so I was always a very stuffed-up person. So, uh, at this point, um, uh, <laughs> you can hear a certain stuffiness in my voice, and I, and I, and I kind of mumble sometimes, too, which is really hard for me to drop, which, uh, I have a surgery after season one, and episode one of Helsing as well. You could tell my voice over <laughs> Immediately skyrockets. It's easier for me not to slur because <laughs> gotta fix between Helsing. Who are one and two? And I am very sad. I am very sad that people never ended up calling Helsing Ultimate Abridged. Who are? They never did. It bugs me, but that's okay. See, look how fun this is. Hey, Vegeta. The locals. Seems they brought a welcome, sir. Just minimal sound mixing at this point, too. This you know, Vegeta, on some planets, they really appreciate foreign commune. Where he brings in, brings the, in the revenue. They'll probably treat us like royalty, considering the... Concern. Oh, well, this joke. Yeah. Ah, I see. You two have been imprisoned by a horrible fascist king. Hey, Vegeta. What is it? We're in prison, Vegeta. I see that, Nappa. Hey. What? Don't drop the soap. I hate that. I swear to God, Nappa, I will ship you. That's right, guys. We, we we made a don't drop the soap joke. We made a don't drop... Yeah, oh, God. What brilliant comedians we are. <laughs> Fucking hell. Meanwhile, on the Kai planet. So, you're King Kai. That's right. I am the most superior martial artist in all of the galaxy. Oh, monkey. Yes, this is my monkey, Bubbles. Say hello, Bubbles. Uh, Bubbles, who is legitimately based on our Arnold's... Uh, sorry, Michael Jackson's uh, bu- Munkles... M- Munkles Bobby. Monkey Bubbles, Jesus Christ! Uh, and upon retrospect, Nappa making a "Don't Drop the Soap" reference is funny, but I almost feel like Vegeta should just slap him when he does it. Don't drop the soap, slaps him. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, really? You're gonna make me slap you right now in front of everybody? <laughs> it's Bunkles. It's bu- fuck. It's Ben as, as Bubbles. Again, we were trying to make sure people felt involved in the cast list without making the cast list bad. So we had to make, we kind of put people in certain characters. All right, that's enough, Bubbles. Sam K, 235, thank Welcome you. Welcome to my planet. Man, 
I'm so heavy here. Yeah. Well, because of the small size of my planet, the gravity here is much more intense than that on Earth. That doesn't make any sense. Shut up, Gregory. All right, fine. <laughs> How's this for a reason? I have an unbelievably powerful space pirate locked within the depths of my planet. That's why the gravity is so heavy here. Yar, get me out of here. Shut up, Bojack. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I really love that that joke came full circle and we did the Bojack movie. <laughs> It's the stupidest writing in that movie. It's the stupidest writing in that. He's like, oh, who are you? Ah, he is. He's like, all right, I want, you to, I want you to think about this, okay? I want you to, I want you to think about this, okay? All right, so you're a space pirate, okay? You're a space pirate. You've been imprisoned in a, like a, a planet thing, magically? It blows up, and your first plan is to not do anything for a year. And go and attack the guy who defeated the guy who blew up the planet out of all the planets in the entire galaxy or universe. That, that's where you're going to go. Okay, then. That's really stupid. <laughs> it's why when people say Bio Broly's worse, I'm like, Bio Broly makes sense on paper. But I don't know why. Why would you do that? Bojack, why would you? Anyways, moving on. Moving on. Anyway, what are you here for? Oh, well, King Kai, I need you to train me. There's a terrible threat coming to our planet, and I'm its only hope. I'll do whatever it takes for you to train me. I'll withstand any test. I will try as hard as I have to, and I... Sir. What? Hmm? I'll train you. S seriously I thought I'd have to do some kind of test. Are you kidding me? The only company I've had for the last 500 years have been a disembodied pirate, Yarr. a monkey, uh -uh. and a grasshopper. Actually, I'm a cricket. Nobody cares. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. You tell them, Bubbles. Wow, you're <clears throat> right. I can't imagine anything more boring than that. Meanwhile, on Namek. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, we were casting season two. We were starting to prepare for season two. All right, um, we were starting to cast for season two, uh, the story of how I got cast. I came home from work one day, all righty? Uh, I came home from work one day, and Kaiser asked me, it was in a group call, and Kaiser was like, Taka, can you do a voice for the Elder Namekian Guru? And I shit you not, I sat down on my chair, I stuck my, ch my, my chin into my neck, and did this. Uh, I'm Guru. And Kaiser said, perfect. And I got cast as Guru. <laughs> so, that's, it's, I'm not kidding. That's how I got it. I'm not kidding. That's how I got Guru. It's, <laughs> it's true. It's, it's true. It's, it's true. It's true. That's how I got Guru. Some of, the, some of those casting calls were really kind of... Uh, someone give this uh, 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 a, 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 a sub to... Wyatt, thank you for the gift of sub. Uh, uh, but Kratos United, I completely forgot about this joke in episode five. I'm not kidding. I don't even know how this got in here. They probably didn't say no to me. I probably pitched this and like, ah, ha, ha, funny, let's put it in. <laughs> you can hear the fish. No. No. What is it, Lord Guru? I saw a fish. That is all. You can go back outside now. Oh, God. Oh, God, this is so horribly dull. I hope something exciting happens around here soon. I don't care what it is. <laughs> no! What? I saw a bird. It was pretty. It's ass. <sighs> no! 
Now, did you find the bird? Destroy it! It must suffer my punishment now! Now I need you to put the screws to him now! And clean my phones! Now, moving on. Meanwhile, back on Alia... As you can see, many questionable people have been locked away in here. Welcome to Oz, bitch! I actually... This is Lanny, everybody. <laughs> That's right, you with the spiky hair. You're going to be my bitch. I'm going to sell you for a cigarette, but not before I violate you, because you're my bitch. I love ruling this planet with an iron fist, right, my queen? Now I play, I play the Arlie and King here, and for 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 everyone knowing, Masako plays the Arlie and Queen. Okay. That's right, everybody! I play the Arlian King! Could you tell with my voice? I am voice acting this character! <laughs> Hi. Who the f*** are you two? Hi, I'm Nappa, and that's Vegeta. He was a prison bitch. Shut the hell up, Nappa. Okay. Okay. Anyway, we're here because my partner is an idiot. Now that we got introductions out of the way, I think mm. I'll just kill you and- Hey, Vegeta! Oh, God, what now? I think that's their queen. I'm curious how they how breathe. they breathe. Oh, God damn it, Nappa! That's disgusting. I say we just hey, you guys, breathe for us. Why should we listen to you? You're surrounded by my thirteen elite dead guards. Well, you heard you heard them, honey. They're not doing anything. They're just. Okay, so when I said Masako does the voice of this character, it's because there's two audio tracks over the the bug sex scene. And yes, that is me doing the creature sound effects uh, for uh, the Arlene King as well. Buckle up, everybody. I'm going to be cranking the volume on this bad boy. All right, everybody. Let's... Yep. All righty. Standing on top of each other. And... Oh, there we go. Oh, God damn it, Nappa. Meanwhile, back on Earth, Piccolo. Yes, I did make that sound. I don't even know how to do it, and I can never do it again. Okay? I don't know how the fuck I made that sound. I don't know how I did it, and it will never happen again. <laughs> and yes, and that was the Nappa. Like, just the, the fact that he has a flip phone should tell you everything of what year this was made in, okay? Okay? Piccolo <laughs> has finally begun his training with Gohan. So, Mr. Piccolo, oh, here we what go. are you going to teach me today? A brand new technique? How to sense energy? I will admit, I'm pretty sure this joke is mine. I think the Dodge joke was me. And this is, I'm taking credit for it because it was, this is just, it, 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 we were just laughing about it. And, and, and God damn it, like, none of these jokes would not work without Lanny's execution of some of these fucking jokes and Kaiser's editing crushing. It's like, it's why we're a team. It's why I loved working with these guys on everything. And like, this is no, we still have a Dodge shirt. We have a new one that comes out. What about how to fly? Dodge! <laughs> Need a gift to impress your man? Need a $60 <laughs> Japanese chef's knife. <laughs> oh, man. This training with Mr. Piccolo is really difficult. But I think I'm finally getting the hang of it. Dodge! Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice. Well, I, I, this, okay, this is Scott. I, Scott's, Scott's, this is Scott's idea. Okay, this is Scott's idea. <laughs> All right, everyone, we have to do something about these Saiyans. They're approaching Earth quickly, and I don't think we have the strength to take them on alone. Batman, what are your thoughts? Well, I think. I have an idea! <laughs> oh, God, it's Aquaman. Okay, okay, if I was writing the Justice League scene, do you think I'd be like, all right, who plays, who plays Batman? I know, I'll give it to Kaiser. No! It was Kaiser's joke, and he was like, who will play Batman? Me. Okay, I'll play Batman. Of course, Kaiser, a gay man, would like to play Batman, the gayest superhero of all time. That's right. <clears throat> and Lanny as Aquaman, and of course, Ben as, uh, I believe, Superman. Use 
Someone, get him out of here. I'm a whale. I'm actually the fire guy there on the left, but I have no lines. Meanwhile, back on Alia. <laughs> there, I banged my wife. Will you leave us in peace? Actually, no. I'm still going to kill you. Summon the anger! What a line. Jada, it's... It's... It's so cute! Can I keep it? Can I Can keep, I keep it? it? Fine, just catch it or something. Yay! Here, boy! Shake! Ah, I got your finger! Okay, now, boy, catch the ball! Catch the ball! Ah, ah, I broke, broke it, it. Jada. It must have been made of something weak, like paper mache or raditz. Please, we'll do anything you want. We'll give you... Remembering back, that actually, that last line right there, uh, or Raditz, I actually struggled to get that line out. I kept slurring it. At this point, my Canadian accent, I was realizing I actually had a very particular accent, was hard for some lines to record. Uh, Dear Bits, thank you for the raid. And we're going to keep on going here, guys. And here we go. We're going to have to probably sing over some music here. Bridges, women. Wait, what are you doing? I'm about to rock you. Like a hurricane. I love that song! How would he know it? He's in space. Ha! Ah, did you see that, Napa? That was totally bad at... What are you doing? I'm cuddling it, Vegeta. It's dead, Napa. No! <laughs> oh, I remember when we first got him, Vegeta. And it is muted. It is muted, guys, because we put a Celine Dion song in this episode. And boy, was that a mistake. The way we were. The end. <laughs> the end. Come on. Yep. You have freed our race! You two are the greatest heroes known to our planet! We shall erect statues of you! Well, isn't that nice of them, Vegeta? Out of our dung! Well, isn't that nice of them, Vegeta? We're leaving, Nappa. Hey! Okay. Look at us, Vegeta! We've saved an entire race from tyranny! We're heroes, Vegeta! We are a couple of really great gods! <laughs> Survive all Here it by comes. myself, live on my own, and surviving out the fat of the land. Mr. Piccolo will be so <laughs> And that's why Pillow can ruin shit. More than ever. Okay, so How I do think you're Whoa, 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 following whoa, whoa, whoa. Of God damn it! The following of the fan base parody. No! The following of the fan Yeah! Okay, moving on. Alright, hi guys. Duh! So Dodge was obviously one of the be best received jokes we had ever made. Uh, when the episode came out, everyone's like, holy fuck, I can't wait for the Saiyans to get on Earth to meet and fight everybody. Because this was this filler was actually, while good for us, like, I know power scalers get fucked because of this episode. This is why filler's dangerous. Because when the writer, the main writer doesn't control, like, what's being done, especially with power levels, you can really create a disproportionate power. So he can just casually blow up a plant with his finger. But what the fuck is, there's, all the stakes are gone, you know? And it's why I don't like that filler episode, especially Vegeta blowing it up. Like, if he blew up the city that they just flew out of instead, left it with a bunch of craters, that'd be different. But just blowing it up with his one finger, it completely downplays for when he does, like, the fight, like, the, you know, the Gallic gun to try and blow up Earth at, like, level, like, whatever his power level was. It doesn't make sense. And that's the problem with, you know, power. anyone trying to try power scale this shit because the truth of it is every arc, powers get essentially reset and Goku needs a new form because it, we don't have to remake new toy molds. We just have to change out the color of the hair. Dragon Ball AF is real now, everybody. <laughs> All right, it's really, and I, I just need you to know that, okay? And don't forget that when uh, Akira Toriyama came back to write for Dragon Ball Z, and they're like, hey, we want to make a movie for, for Dragon Ball Z. Oh, we need a character. What do you got? And he's like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, he just looks over at his, his hairless cat. Uh, he's like a, um, uh, he's like a, a god of dis a destruction, and he sleeps a lot. Uh, he looks like a giant bipedal cat. Oh, okay. Uh, what's his character? 
Uh, looks over his fridge. Uh, he likes food. And, and like, <laughs> standing applause, standing applause. And I'm just like, it's, it's why, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys, not a lot of thought goes into Z. I, I need you to know this. I really need you to know that, okay? And I, I'm going to give you one piece of advice. If you're a hardcore fan of anything, never be more of a fan of the thing you're a fan of <laughs> than the creator. It's for your own sanity, okay? It's for your own sanity. So some DBZ fans take this show more seriously than Akira Toriyama does because when they had a trailer for Dragon Ball, uh, like the, the Dragon Ball movie with Beerus, uh, Gohan goes Super Saiyan, and they had to tell Toriyama, uh, he doesn't go Super Saiyan. You wrote it in, in, the, in the last season that he doesn't do that anymore. And Toriyama goes, oh, I forgot about that. And I'm like, guys, stop getting invested in this show. Motherfucker don't care. <laughs> it's true. He, does, he doesn't really give a shit about Z. That's why a lot of them... Uh, uh, it, it, it's like power levels. It's why, it's why power levels are bullshit. Because they just get th thrown out eventually. And then they get, come back. And then they get thrown out again. Because power scaling is such a fucking nightmare with this show. And it's why uh, I don't like giant energy blasts usually. They're very boring. Because they're used too much. I thought he thought SS3 was SS2. I don't know, man. All these guys. He said SS3 was SS2. There you go, dude. This is all you need to do. And based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Venomation Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Um, Mr. Popo, are you sure this will make us strong? Checking order. Sorry. Damn right you are. Now, stand in this circle here. You mean like this? Yeah. Bye. Admittedly, I don't like this episode as much as episode five. Um, just because we were writing more filler characters. Wait, what? Four, five, and six are filler. Ah! Hua! Yeah! Today we will commence your training. Yahoo! All right. Now, what? The Goku. For those who want to know, the Goku plot in this episode is not filler. However, the other plot is. Uh, Q Hazel, thank you so much. It's my first lesson. First, you must catch the monkey. <laughs> Actually, I was going to. <laughs> okay, have fun with that. Audio balance is better now. It's really strong. Meanwhile, in somewhere. See, this is why filler can be fun though, because look how beautiful this is. Like, this is actually a really cool setting. It's like an alien world that the Saiyans are blown up. Uh, this is also played by... Uh, this is actually two big-name voice actors. Uh, this is Regan's voice actor, again, uh, Kurt Buffer, uh playing one of the Saiyans. And the other one is played by Joshua Tomar. Uh, you know, Tomamoto! Bingo! Tomamoto shows up early on in this series. One of the most talented voice actors we've ever had the fucking privilege of working with. And Tomar's so good that when he said he'd be down to do a voice for us, we're like, fuck off, really? Because at the time, this is when, um, uh, oh my god, the, the one thing he was doing with e, uh, Aaron Hansen at the time. Kelly AFU, thank you. Q Hizzle, thank you. Stig Zing, thank you. So this was kind of a big get for us at the time. Uh, it was like a, one of the biggest name animation voice actors we could have asked to get on, and that was really cool of him. Girl Chan, that's when Girl Chan was running. So he, like, his stock was really high at that point, and he's only booked shit professionally because motherfuckers talented as shit. And true story. Okay, all right. One little fun story about Tomar here because this is where you're going to find all this fun information because I'm going to talk about this. EDM Som Wukong, thank you as well. All right, so I auditioned for the game Dust and Elysian Tale. Now, Dust and Elysian Tale was cast by uh, someone known as DMAC Double. Yeah. Yes. Now, DMAC Double, you, uh, now, I was cast in that game. Now, I was auditioning for a fuck ton of characters. In the end, I was auditioning against somebody else for this one old man character. And I found out, it can, we had three rounds of auditioning, and I was, like, blown away by it. And, uh, and then I got it, and, and then I found out who beat me for it. And I found out I was auditioning against Joshua Tomar. And I'm like, dude, I'm not a professional voice actor. And I got him to the third round of, it's like a boxing match. And I'm like, I went three rounds with Tomar? Bruh. But um, it was what like it was one of the long, it was the hardest thing to cast. So DMac contacted me like, hey dude, you kicked ass. Uh, I actually got a bunch of filler extras I need you to do. Would you be okay playing the soldier units? So technically, uh, in that game, uh, there is a the general is played by General Ivan actually, and his troopers are actually played by me. Uh, in that game, so uh, 
There you go, everybody. Uh, so there's a true story. Now, also, and here's a funny story about DMAC Double. All right, so DMAC uh, has been a kind soul to me. He's actually stayed with me for a while as well, uh, for a couple of weeks when he was doing some voice acting in a town I was living in at the time. Uh, DMAC's a wonderful, sweet dude. And recently, and right now, you can hear him in his newest show because DMAC uh, was cast as Sonic in Sonic Prime, <laughs> the, new, the new animated series uh, out of Canada. Yeah, that that series, uh, the Sonic is played by DMAC. No shit. And yeah, that's the guy who cast me in that game. And nothing but success and happiness for him. He's one of the kindest souls I ever met in voiceover. So when I heard he booked it, I'm just like, fuck yeah, man. Congratulations. So there you go, guys. Took on a little bit of a journey there. But hey, thanks for this. this is why you're watching a commentary stream, right? Wow, this place is a wreck. I know. The desolation. The ruin. The horror. Yeah, seriously, like, again, TN gets, TN almost starts off just as strong. Where are we, New Orleans? Krillin. Oh, God. God. Too soon. Ah, uh, the short-lived Krillin too soon joke. <sighs> you must construct additional pylons. <laughs> Shao yeah, Tzu, get away from there. Why? You have no <sighs> idea where that uh, bandit could give you an White attack. Ash's mic is so like bad. That. Don't tell me what you <laughs> Shao Tzu, my partner! Gay. Hey, at least I don't spend all my free time living alone with a cat. Hey, at least I get some puss. Wow, that did not come out right. Hey, Russ, look what we've got here. Yes, we've got some tourists, Sprout. Oh, then we should give them the tour. Yes, the tour straight to hell, because we'll be killing them with our own two diabolical hands. I love this. By the way, he does. By the way, and Tomar plays a lot of characters in our show, but he plays he plays Doctor Koshin in our version in the TFS version of World's Strongest, and this is just it's, it's, this is essentially his Koshin voice. Yes, they get it. We get it. They get it. This joke, I, I don't like this joke coming up here. It's up to us. We I don't to like that implication. Together. Right. Back to back. Let's do it for Chao Tzu. And Krillin. Okay, just Chao Tzu. That's just so mean to Krillin for no reason. All right. Let's see how they're doing inside. <gasps> There's some weird triangle beams that don't even make sense in the anime. Like, this episode was really weird. It was... Ooh. It was horrible. Mm -hmm. Good. You survived the first test. Oh, thank God. But I have some bad news. I love Krillin's pose. What? You're going, You're going back. back. What? Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Popo, where did you send them? I'll tell you where they're, where not. they're not. Safe. <laughs> Woohoo! All right! I caught the mon- Ooh, a cricket! <laughs> yeah, I'm Gregory! I'm a smash him! What? Oh my god, yee -hee! Shut up, Gregory! No, no, I just- This training for- For- For Go Home, Goku is so stupid. He has to, like, run under the heavy thing- uh, Heavy gravity. And they grab the monkey, then he's got then he's gotta start swinging a hammer to hit Gregory, who can dodge really quickly. It's just like, oh man, this is just this is some crazy ass fucking training. Oh. Shut up, Bojack. It seems that your training here is complete. But wait, Mr. Popo, do you have any last comments for them? You're all going to die. Jesus Thank you, Mr. Popo. Now Bruh. I believe it is time for you to leave. Bruh. But, but all we did was... Pecking order. Ah! I fucking love that TN line. Ah! I just love it. I just like... Ah! It's like the only weird comedy TN delivery we ever have in the show. Ah! Just him running away from Mr. B Mr. Popo. Which is very on point for our joke, all things considered. So I'm kind of glad that worked out. I've completed the first two lessons, King Kai. 
Yes, congratulations. You've managed to catch my pet monkey bowels and get Gregory a concussion. You psychotic bastard! Now we can start on your real training and I can teach you that. Oh, before you do, could you tell me about the Saiyans? I must have tell you other than they all died 20 years ago. Ugh, even my dad? <laughs> that's me! <laughs> yeah, that's me, baby. Yes. yes. Really? What <laughs> killed them? Let me check. Let's see here. Stupid monkeys hit by falling rocks. Falling rocks. rocks. <laughs> P.S. Freeze over with you. Well, that doesn't seem right. Bored now. Let's get back to training, King Kai. Is that my Bardock? Yeah. And so, one year has passed. The characters who actually did anything in the last series, yeah. but not in this one, have yeah. finally found themselves of use. That's crazy. They have summoned the Eternal yeah. Dragon to wish back their oh, here comrade, comes Goku. Here comes one of Lanny's other characters, because Lanny plays a lot of characters in this show. Lanny plays the Eternal Dragon. I don't get it. Why are we doing this again? Because my sister Baba told us to. That's true. Have summoned the eternal dragon. Make your wish and I oh God, it's you guys again. Can't anyone else find these damn things? Is is uh, is the audio okay, guys? Are you having any issues at all? If you have any issues, refresh your own page, please. Uh, screw it, whatever. What do you want? There are two horrible Saiyans coming to our planet, and we need Goku to be brought back to life in order to defeat them. Really? You know you could, um, just wish me, mm. a magical dragon, yeah. to send them into an asteroid field, mm. and cross wire it, boom, right in the sun. No, you see, as long as we have Goku, we'll be fine. Right. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. I'll grant your wish. Just don't come crying to me when half your stupid asses get killed. Ah, uh, who am I kidding you, Will? Hey, King Kai, I'm alive again. Yes, and you've conveniently learned the Kaioken and Spirit Bomb off screen. Now get the f off my planet. All right, and thank you, King Kai, for all the training. It'll be a hard fight when I return to Earth, but now I'm truly confident. Go home! Okay, bye! <laughs> oh, God, what have I done? I'm all alone again! Shut up, Bubbles! Well, I'm still here for you, sir. Shut up, Gregory! Yeah, you still have me. Shut up, Bojack! <laughs> God, I can't wait for that Bojack joke to really hit its final joke. I can't wait. All right, Runt, your training is complete. Now you and I will take over the world! Who? Uh, what is it, old man? I just wanted to check in and make sure you are ready for the Saiyans. Ready for the what now? I love this. Tell you? Like, no joke, this was Kaiser. I think this was Kaiser's idea is like technically like after the part where the Saiyan said they were showing up, that was after Piccolo had taken Gohan. Like he took Gohan and ran away and then that bit happened. So technically Piccolo was not physically there to hear about that part of it. So technically all Piccolo was doing was not training Gohan to fight the Saiyans. He was training Gohan to help him take over the world because he's a fucking villain. <laughs> and that is something that Kaiser really wanted. I think I believe it was Kaiser uh, really pushed for that. And I fucking love this joke. Two Saiyans headed towards the Earth as we speak. Both several times more powerful than the last one you faced. They should be landing pretty soon. Within a few days, in fact. New plan, Gohan. We're going to kick some Saiyan ass. Um. Okay. You're still there, aren't you? I'm just so lonely. Get out of my head! I don't like that look, man. You're still in my head, aren't you? Yeah, that's one of the first times he's... Get out of my head. Oh, yeah, that joke really has aged like a chef kiss, you know? The only one I got. The, the only one I got. Mitchell. The reputation proceeds here. My God, that's John, that's John Beef! I'm sorry, John Ham. I always get... Maverick. I always get him confused, guys. I always get him confused. Alrighty, everybody, and this is arguably one of the best episodes of our show in the eyes of a lot of people. This is where the Saiyans arrive, finally. We just, there's a lot of other filler we can go through. Uh, we decided to air, we were like, all right, and I think when we were scripting it, we are like, we could keep writing the filler if we wanted to, because it, 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 looking back, I really wish we had. Uh, I really wish we had. 
Uh, I, I talk again to AdBlocker, please. Well, I'll tell you what, once uh, once uh, you're able to log into an account when you actually have it inputted into a browser source, uh, I'll figure that out, okay? Until such time, uh, how about you leave it to me, huh? God dang, hey, God dang, hey. And speaking of ad blocker, Twitch ads, well, you know, if you actually watch those ads, I actually make money and it justifies me doing shit, but, you know, fuck me, I guess. I don't, I, sorry, guys, it's how it comes across sometimes. I, dude, guys, trust me, I fucking hate ads too. I think if you had an ad once every half an hour, that'd be fine. 15 seconds, that's fine. I don't hate it. I hate it when ads break up narratives, though. That drives me up the fucking wall. So trust me, I don't blame you guys. How do you guys tell which jokes were well-received at the time? Well, yeah, look at it this way. There's always this, um, do you use Ad Manager, Taka? Yeah, I do. I think it gives you a five-minute warning now. At least I, I signed up for the ad deal next month as well because they offered to pay me for three minutes of ads an hour. They offered to pay me $1,300. And no offense, guys, but Taka has bills to pay. <laughs> okay, so uh, what if I took that money and, and, and got real pretty for you? Eh, you like that? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, I feel like everyone would be like, oh, shit, yeah, that's worth it. Yeah, it is. So just FYI, if there's a big ad thing, it's kind of worth it when it's ad. It's perfectly timed comedy-wise. Yeah, that's the problem with ads in the middle of shit. That's why my dad switched. My dad started, my father recently started watching streaming TV. My dad is so happy. He's like, oh, man, and no, ads aren't breaking up the episode. I'm like, yes, dad, that's always been the problem. I've never had issues with ads, really. I just dislike it when ads are in the middle of something. You know, it's like you're breaking up the tension. And entire television shows were built around having an ad build up for the first 15-minute ad break. Then the next ad break. The whole narrative is based on those. It's like now you know kind of where the narrative's going. And it, it doesn't surprise you, whereas in a, you know, more of a streamed show – uh, doesn't have to worry about that. And for that reason, my dad actually watched the, uh, what was that one thing? The Jack Ryan TV show with Krasinski. And my dad was fucking happy. He's like, holy shit, this is good. It's like, it's, it's like, what? It's, my dad came out just happy. He's like, holy shit, holy shit. And my dad said, oh, oh, what's wrong, dad? Oh, it's like watching a book. <laughs> and I laughed my ass off because I got what he meant. Because <laughs> it's the narrative not being interrupted with shit. You know? It's not being interrupted. So anyways, episode seven, let's take it away here, folks. All righty. The following is a fan-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Venimation Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Thanks for all the support, guys. Are there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Oh, so you can, Akira Sen, thank you. No. Are we there yet? Yes. I want to go back, guys, because I think Kaiser yeah. did this, too. They, okay, so this was, um, Kaiser had to explain this joke to me. Blowing up Saban. Uh, Saban is... Okay, so would you like me to explain this joke, everybody? All right, so those who do not know. Kaiser already explained this, probably. Uh, Rogue Knight the Fifth. No, this is my explanation of this. Oh, my God. Rogue Knight the Fifth, thank you so much. Oh, my God. Dropping 10 gifted shots back to back. Five gifted shots back to back. So Saban... Uh, so Saban... Pretty much what they did was they had the rights to the first th uh, couple... Ep they had the rights to the first season of uh, Dragon Ball at the time of us making this show. Uh, they had they had the right. So the reason why there was no official release of any Dragon Ball series yet was because they had the exclusive rights and were not releasing anything and were not selling to anybody. So Saban had their hands on the first season. So for that reason, they could not release anything about it, redub it or anything. They did not they were not we're not able to. We they just were not able to. So when Scott explained this to me, I'm like, oh yeah, fuck these guys. They're just they're just hoarding shit and just kind of punishing the fans of the thing they have. They're intentionally keeping it away from the rest of it. It's like having one piece of a bigger creature and it's just in one company. And that's where that's, that's what Saban did. It reminds me of Harmony Gold. Harmony Gold also did stuff like that, but Saban did a little bit of that too. That's back in the day. Back in the day. That was like early at that, that's like late nineties, mid nineties to late nineties. There was some there was some fuck shenanigans going on. You know, Saban is back, they still do Power Rangers and Nickelodeon. Yes, I believe that's what happened. Disney bought them and then they sold them back. Uh, Sony was Spider-Man from Marvel. Yeah, it's there you go. So this is um Harmony Gold did that too. So it's very very lit litigious too. Yes, and that's their own that's their thing, Book B. That's what they've always done. So this joke was uh the sayings blow it up. <laughs> there you go. There you go, guys. Yeah! Yeah, we're here! Okay. We're, we're into the thicket, everybody. We're into the Nappa now. We're into the Nappa. We're in a Nappa Vegeta. Here we go. Let's buckle up, buckaroos. Ah, 
still a good intro. Hey, look, Vegeta. The locals. Kaiser is the big lady. <laughs> In the anime, the. Like yeah, Damn it, yeah. Nappa! Think before you act! What if you had blown up one of the Dragon Balls? The what now, Vegeta? The Dragon Balls, Nappa. Don't you remember our wish? The Dragon Balls, you know? There are seven of them. They grant you any wish you want. Like immortality? Or Bulba's panties. Yeah. Pandas. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that joke. All right. So here we go, we got Nappa. Sting Sting, thank you for the five gifted shots. Yeah, pandas. <laughs> Nappa is confidently incorrect. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I'm right, he said wrongingly. <laughs> I'm right, he said not right at all. And that's Nappa's character. <laughs> all right, everybody. <laughs> what, Nappa? One of these days you're going to die. And then you'll be out of my hair forever. Epic foreshadowing! Because people were asking in the comments at this time, if I'm remembering correctly, we're like, what are you going to do when Nappa dies? He's so funny. If he dies, he'll be gone. I'm like, well, that's... Interesting thing about that. <laughs> With confidence. Who can say you're wrong? That's true. Eh. Now let's just go. Go on! On your guard! They're coming right towards us. But why would they be headed our way? They're probably seeking to eliminate the strongest power level. But my dad's dead. I was referring, was referring to, me. to me! Oh, well, by that logic, I suppose you would have the strongest power yeah. level on Earth. <laughs> little hey little black. Ruins here! You, you might not see that speck in the background, but there's actually there's a, little, a little speck popped up the hill. Because, ah, you know, people were in love with Popo at that point, too. So we want to give a little nod to the Popo fans, too. That's why you might have like a, a character says something really quickly, because everyone's like, Yay, that guy! Oh, I thought I sensed someone else coming. Good. It seems you've increased your power since we last met. I know, isn't it great? I You're almost as strong as Gohan now. It's true. Then that's why I feel bad for Krillin. God damn it. My sister was just given a full bread. Ah! Oh, golden retriever. Oh, thank God. I kept reading. I... Wait. But he's only five. It's because I'm a Saiyan. Well, at least there's only two of you. Epic foreshadowing. We should just have that joke keep popping up in this episode. So, uh, how bad was the training with Piccolo? Well, the training wasn't that bad. Mr. Piccolo is actually really nice after you get to know him. Gohan, I've brought you a sparring partner for today. Really? Who? So how was your training, Krillin? There was a, we have this deleted scenes video we don't even fucking use, but there was actually, there was another cutaway uh, in this where they're cutting to the training, and he's like, I'm going to slice off a little piece of you every day so you'll be in my stomach. Ah! And Piccolo's just watching Gohan do that to the poor T-Rex running away. And, and Piccolo just goes, ah, he probably gets that from his mother. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, yeah. He's still half Chi-Chi. She's fucking crazy. <laughs> she's fucking insane. Like, she's royalty. You you know, how, how fucking nuts do you think that family line is? He's already crying, and the Saiyans aren't even here yet. Yeah, we are. Hi. You know, when I look back at this, um, what's really crazy to me is I we would not write this next scene the way it's written. We're actually referencing a Kajeto Kun video. I'm not kidding. The guy who made over nine thousand. It's over nine thousand. That guy, that guy, the guy made over 9,000 video. Gajeto could. He's made a lot of different videos. Some of the best YouTube poops you could ask for. So one of them is a Yu Yu Hakusho YouTube poops uh, about S class and shit in like the worst season of uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. I, Toru, 
I'm an S-Class. You're an S-Class? No. Don't be rude, Toro. Don't be rude, Toro. Like, they just, they do, they're doing all these weird, they just, they just recut the audio uh, to just fit something together like that. So, don't be rude, Toho. No. Are you an S-Class? No. I am. It's just, it's just, it's intentionally just recutting it to be a comedy. Essentially, so we, me and Nick at the time who play Vegeta, Nappa, obviously, we were just really into it. So when we were writing, we pretty much just rewrote that skit kind of very minimally. But upon retrospect, God, we wouldn't write that again. We would write something more in keeping with the characters, I think. It's just you can tell we're just kind of new to this. We're having a fucking hell of a time. And at this point, momentum was going with a show that was absurd. Like literally the last episode had gotten to like half a million views. And we're like, what the fuck is happening? Because up to that point, like, the, the growth was absolutely berserk. And it'd be, it's crazy. It's actually absolutely, it was absolutely crazy. We, 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 it was like, it was a snowballing effect. So this was just kind of a big moment for us in the show. So it's funny. We were just referencing another video the whole time. So, yeah. Uh, I look back at this, though. And this is, God, this is so funny. We're half, almost halfway through this episode. Only seven minutes long, too. It's so. Kaiser had Tom's on hand for season one. Good. And Smiggy Five, thank you so much for the five gifted shots. Thank you. So, you guys are the Saiyans? No, don't be rude, Nappa. Big YouTube money? Please, you think this wasn't being copyright claimed by the original Japanese copyright holders? The whole fucking time? Yeah. Anyways, moving on. And you're here for the Dragon Balls! No. We are. And I am the Prince of all Saiyans! You're a prince? No. Fuck you, Nappa. And now it's over. So what do we call you? I am Nappa. And this is Vegeta. He was a prison. Shut up, Nappa! Bitch. Damn it, Nappa. Oh! <laughs> I like that joke, though. See, I like that joke. He was a prison bitch. This is, and that's, he was referred to as a prison bitch. And there you go. He's just going, ah, yes, this is Vegeta. He was a prison bitch. It's just, we keep going back to that joke. They don't understand that at all. Like, the, the, the my favorite part is Krillin, Piccolo, go on. They won't understand that joke at all. But the fact that he's still Mechie is still pissing off Vegeta. Oh, look, Vegeta. It's a Namekian. Hey, I take offense to that. He's referring to me, you idiot. And it's not an insult. The Namekians are a fine, proud race of... That means he doesn't have a penis, right, Vegeta? See, in the actual show, when... when... <laughs> When they tell when they tell Piccolo this is like for the whole show he didn't think he was an alien, essentially he thought he was an actual demon and all that bullshit. Turns out he's an alien the whole time, the whole time he was an alien, <laughs> and, and all the time he was an alien. And but this version we make it. I think it was Kaiser decided like hey he knew the whole time, kind of he had to have figured that out at some point. But it's like this is where this is where Z just gets so fucking up its ass. I feel like it, it just gets all wacky here. I think the Krillin think Nappa was calling him. Uh, 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 the, the, the uh, I don't know some slur. Fuck if I know, man. <laughs> Unix. So what exactly does that make you, Mister Piccolo? You survive mostly on water. Does that make you a? Technically, uh, unfortunately, while that that one gift that you've all seen accidentally may imply it, Piccolo has no penis. You know the one. Blog or a plant? Gohan, not now. Do you also conduct photos? Call back, call back, call back, call back, call back, call back, call back on the <laughs> These are them, folks. The terrible monsters who destroyed West City. Jimmy, hurry up and get a shot of the ball. Um, which one, Mr. Kent? Look, Vegeta, the paparazzi. The paparazzi! I have to protect my image! <laughs> Oh my god, he blew up the cargo robot! And the cargo with people! Alright, so that was done by someone named Cheeseman Joe. Uh, no. CMJ. Uh, we uh, worked on G Gundam Abridged back in the day, and he popped in to do some voiceover work uh, for this character. One of my favorite lines. Because in the actual show, oh my god, they blew up the cargo robot! There are so many weird moments in the dub, and Kaiser talked about this, where they just do random shit to imply that someone's not dead. And even in the actual anime, they're like, oh, it's okay, we can see their parachutes. They'll say shit like that, because if they say that, then it means that the person's not dead, and now it's still rated PG. So they can still put it on Saturday morning cartoons, which is where they were putting it. So they kept trimming this shit down, which was very obvious he was killing people. Good. Now I'm going to read their power levels. 
Thanks, Vegeta. Yeah. Point eight. The Raditz joke. Hmm. Nappa, don't you understand? They can hide their power levels. Those readings are useless. You mean like you two, friends? Yeah. Well, you look at that, guys. Look at that. That joke's aged well, too. And I have a better way of testing their power levels. Plant the Cybermen. Plant them. Yeah! yeah! Okay. Can I just go over there? Yeah! It's just, it's implied that they do this. It's his favorite thing to do. It's like, oh my god, I love doing the Cyberman thing. I love it. Oh my god. Yeah! It's just, he's so happy. And here is Lanny doing the most ear-wretching sound he's capable of. Ta-da! Ta <laughs> what are those? They're cultivated life forms. All with the same power level as Raditz. That's right. He was so weak, we could actually grow Raditzes. But, Vegeta, then you have to worry about the Fraggles. Oh, God damn it, Nappa. Nobody's going to get that. As a matter of fact, I did. <laughs> I always feel weird about them knowing what shows are in space. It doesn't make sense. They shouldn't. It's the one thing if I could go back, we would just eliminate anyone from space not knowing what human culture is because that's such a funnier joke. Tell me more of your culture. We even have that in season three. Oh, please, Vegeta, don't call me MILF. I have a grandchild now. Call me GILF. Your culture is so confusing to me. <laughs> oh, goody. More of them. Who the hell are you? Vegeta, look. Or More bald, bald people. There's so many bald the people. The small ones, the two tall ones, and... Uh, uh, Vegeta, Vegeta, look! Up. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's so stupid. This is so stupid. Why would... Oh, my God. This I, I get that this is funny. I, I get that you all find it funny, and when we make it... This is a joke that got me into the series. I know! This is so one of the funniest jokes for everybody, okay? It's the face Scott used. I think it's this face. It's gotta be this face that Scott used. But Vegeta, look! A Pokemon. It's, it's so evil. It, his face is so evil. <laughs> Let's do that again. Or bald people. People. The small ones, the two tall ones, and... Uh, uh, Vegeta, look! A Pokemon. Pokemon. I'm not a Pokemon. That's the first time I ever whispered at his character. A Pokemon. Now I can do it better. Ah, oh, Vegeta, look a Pokemon. I'm Chiaotzu. Chiaotzu. Ah, Corinne as Chi Chi. Sorry, sorry. Oh my God, Corinne as Chiaotzu. Sorry, Chef Kiss. She's crushing it. You hear that, Vegeta? It's a. It's Chiaotzu. a Chiaotzu. I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> I told you I'm not a Poke. <laughs> oh, it didn't work, Vegeta. That's because you have to damage it first. All right. Let's see if I can get a critical. Guys, I'm here now. <laughs> All right, so I. <laughs> it's just he takes an actual th Pokeball and throws it at, at, at. I think we were doing the joke like, all right, the ball. So the Pokeball comes away from the camera and just smacks him in the face and bounces off. And Scott's like, I can totally edit that. Oh my god! And now, and this is this is the Yamcha scene. And this is, I'm sorry, this is what happens. We didn't ask for this. This is what the show does. Okay. This is what the show does to our boy. I don't like what happens to Yamcha in this series. I just don't. But I didn't write Dragon Ball Z. I wrote Dragon Ball Z abridged. And as far as I'm concerned, Yamcha in the Boo arc is a millionaire who has lots and lots of sex and has a great life. And there's something very, very, very great about that. It's Yamcha! That's right. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. We ourselves half to death with our training. So I know that as long as we stick together... We'll take on these Saiyans, and we will win! Yep. Other cabbage head. The Gina Jr. 
Pacino Jr. No! The most convenient solution to lingering odors in any small space. No batteries. No, I can't think of the memories. Yam, yam, chapos. Fox Club, thank you for giving us all the yam chapos. Victorian production, thank you for the 15 months of support. And speaking of the five gifted shot, shot. The entire first opened. This it's happened though, big battle. And we grew together through 100 years. Is that what the Cell Junior joke? Oh, it was. Wait, in the Cell, we had Vegeta Junior Junior, right? For the Cell Juniors, right? I think we did that. Oh, yes, it's Vegeta Jr. Jr. <laughs> Everyone forgets that 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 technically uh, Cell is part Nappa as well. Tisk tisk, everybody. Tisk tisk. Snow days, week-long road trips, and beyond. We've been there. Canada! To make life Canada! Canada! Better. Canada! <laughs> Alrighty. Coming up next, everybody, it is Nappa's best day ever. All right, so this is episode eight. This is Nappa's episode. All right, I guess this is the night bitches die. And I'm bitches, everybody. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> the way we want to one. That's Vegeta. He was a prison. Bitch. <laughs> the following the fan base. So, again, this that was a funny episode. I mean, uh, I remember there was some contention over the Yamcha joke because it really just wrote out Yamcha like that. And uh, I, 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 and the thing is, it's kind of a crime to do that. But also, it's what this plot really does. And in the end, we're abridging something. So we're trying to cut it down to the bare bones of what we need. You know, so that's what the joke was. So the next episode is, in my opinion, I've always... Like, this is, let me talk about this here for a second here. All right, so... Going into this project, I like I look up at Little Karibo a lot. The fact that he's being the narrator still blew my mind. I love Kaiser's editing. I loved Yu Yu Hakusho Bridge, and here I am writing and working with everybody. So I I feel like I'm playing a really silly character, and I still like in a lot of ways feel like I wasn't. You know, I feel still like I was a pretender to be in there. You know, because I feel like I wasn't bringing it up to the table. So I um this episode when everyone watched it and loved it, it meant a lot to me. It really. It really, it really, really did mean a lot to me that everyone loved this episode because I feel like this episode's a lot of me being silly and the fact that everyone liked it so much. Considering going into DBZA, technically, out of everybody, I was like one of the most unknown people in the project to pretty much get that screen time was like a hell of a fucking gift because, again, I'm comparing myself to Lanny and I'm comparing myself to like Kaiser in a lot of ways. too. Kaiser's, I, Kaiser can talk about this a lot as well. Uh, but it's like, just like, I feel like this is the one where I really brought my A game and I really crushed it. And I, I look back at this and I could, I could do it better because time grows all things, but I can really look back at this. I really have a lot of pride for episode eight and episode nine specifically because it's the Napa two-parter essentially. More the first one. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Das Awesome. Thank you so much. And Fox Cloak. And thank you for the hype train, guys. We're going to get that hype going right to this episode because we can't derail every hype train that starts up. Parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Venomation Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. I appreciate you guys saying my characters were and memorable. There you have it, folks. That man is dead. Very, 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 very dead. dead. Mr. Kent, if you had to come up with a word for how dead he is, what would it be? Cadaverific. <laughs> It's a great word. Yeah. No. I was saving myself for him. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a great... I know we switch out actors, but man, that is one of... God, I love that delivery from Moss. I go, bullshit. Hey, it's Komi Oi. Thank you so much. And again, Corinne as, as Bulma. She gets so great. And season three... She's so good as Bulma. It's amazing. Yamcha! Yamcha! Yamcha was our friend. And you bastards killed him! This is a cool moment in the anime. Yamcha, I'll avenge you! All right. You're going to avenge him. The five-year-old over here is stronger than you are. That's where we go, oh, Krillin. We amp the Krillin hate to maximum. Ha! Look at him, Vegeta. He's like the rat. Rat, it's a bear group. That's it! <laughs> I can't take it anymore! I can only be pushed so Vibio far. games. Thrillin' Limit <laughs> That was for Yamcha. Congratulations, you've just destroyed the equivalent of three Raditz. That's right, what now, you son of a bitch? Nappa here is worth five Raditz. And I am worth 15 Raditz. Hi. 
So, like, in canon, essentially, Raditz was, had a power level of 1,000. So that was like, okay, so that's like uh, 1,000 meters is a kilometer. So 1,000 power level is one Raditz. Okay. That's how we'll break it down. Because technically, he's the first one worth five Raditz. Congrats. Hey, that's a lot. 5,000 is a lot, bro. Was it like 1,200? I think he was 1,200, actually. Sorry. Yeah, he was 1,200, not 1,000. Raditz is a basic measuring scale. That's a power scale. We used Raditz. Why not? There's... It's just po it's just it's just power it's just level otherwise so I thought, I thought I was saying rabbits wow this show's different to you then man bruv bruv uh, one second here guys uh, thank you again everybody for the hype train I want to thank you guys Dr Doofenshmirtz uh, mildly sober uh, Tsukuyomi thank you so as well everybody yeah we're going through this wonderful uh, stream I'm gonna keep on cranking on through here and we're gonna have a good time here everybody thank you all for swinging on by here. It makes just as much sense as the normal power scaling. Exactly. That's why the joke was made. Uh, don't even get me started with power creep. This ain't bleach. Alrighty, moving on. Unite. Uh, listen, listen. I, I give Goku grief, but let's not even talk about Ichigo Kurosaki as a pro tag. Oh. Mm. Ah, come on. Don't get so down on yourself. At least you've proven that your Raditz is still yes. stronger than our Raditz. I hate all of you. Mm. So in short... Again, Vegeta was a big fan of Raditz, so he wasn't really a fan of all the Raditz jokes at the time. It's fine. It was years ago, back in the day. Uh, oh, my God. Sorry, but Bleach has way less power creep. Okay, so I don't know who you're apologizing to, but keep apologizing. Anyways. Guys, do not bring up Bleach in my chat. I swear to God. Sorry, I did it. Five subs. Drop. I don't know, man. We gotta end it. End the Bleach talk. End it. End it. Back to something less toxic. Attack on Titan and DBZ. Moving on. Good, good for you. Oh, by the way, you missed one. <laughs> yeah, no. That was incredible, Mr. Piccolo. Yeah, way to go. But what about... Well, you can all learn a thing or two. But I just killed three of them. Nobody cares, Krillin. Oh. I feel bad for how much we bag on Krillin, but don't forget everybody, he gets railed by Android 18 forever, canonically. So, uh, my god, oh my god, you guys. Okay, so Dork Shadow, thank you so much for the shot. Three months of support. Thank you so much, dude. Cerberus Magician with the five gifted shots here in the bar. Hot diggity daffodils, thank you so much. And uh, Dr. Speakeasy, thank you for the five gifted shots. God bless you. He's the one that called Dr. Speakeasy. He's the one who goes over easy nah, dang it doesn't even work well uh, dang it i gotta rethink that one but thank you Cerberus magician and thank you so much dr speakeasy let's jump into it huh? well nappa looks like it's your turn to teach them a lesson yeah right out of saiyan university, university. hold on you went well, to college yep what the hell could yep yep i i feel like this is where i after the rev after what the last episode i looked at how what i was doing and i i feel like i really i feel like i really focused hard trying to sharpen up my game for this to record this because I feel like I'm more on point and I'm slurring even less in this episode. Someone like you possibly major in child psych psychology. Wow, that sounds really interesting. With a minor in pain. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's been disarmed. I get it. Shut it, Nappa. Okay, so um, in the actual episode, he just punches. Like, Tian's arm, clean, straight punch off. It's so stupid looking. It's really dumb looking, guys. It's really, it's not, it's it's really silly looking. And in the, in, in the actual thing, they change it to, like, yellow. Because, I guess, the child psychology thing was purely worked on Vegeta when he was a child after Napa told him about Dairy Queen. That's true. Chaos Lex, we actually, like, that's why he's really good. I can rear young children. Napa, don't say it. No, 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 Vegeta. As a known rearer of young minds. Oh, God, don't say it that way. No, 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 Vegeta, if there's one thing I, Nappa, know, is how to rear. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Tag. No tag. Tag backs. Oh, damn, this guy is strong. Maybe it would be best if I just took Chiaotzu and... Wait, where is he? Vegeta, the Pokemon's on my back. Chiaotzu! No! I can't get it. I, I mean this. That the Pokemon's on my back. I For me, when I recorded that, I remember just imagining that he just has... There's no photo of what he looks like. He's like, oh, what the fuck? Like, there's on my back. He's like, wow. 
this has never happened before. It's all downplay, like, ooh. X. Ugh, damn. This guy is strong. Maybe it would be best if I just took Chiaotzu and... Wait, where is he? Vegeta! The Pokemon's on my back! <laughs> Chiaotzu! No! I can't get it off, Vegeta! Here, I'll use Rock Smash! Chiaotzu, you get down from there this instant! Mm. It's Joe. But Chosu! Don't worry! <laughs> you can just wish me back with the Dragon Balls! That's the ball, my friend! That won't work, Chosu! We already wished you back once with the Dragon Balls! We can't do it twice! We <laughs> We never touched base on that. Up to this point. No! No! Chosu! Chosu! Oh my god! He blew into more pieces than Yamcha! Krillin! What? He was my closest friend! I... I loved him. As a memorial to Yamcha? Gay. Hmm. At least your sacrifice wasn't in vain, my friend. Ah, oh, dang it, Vegeta. You self-destruct. I hate it when they do that. Okay, so Nappa's still doing the fucking Pokemon joke, even though no one else is. And that's Nappa. He just keeps... He just keeps going. He just keeps going into a bit... Uh, and also, yeah, that was single-handedly the best, up to this point in the show, in my opinion, the best read of anything was the pain in, uh, Tian's voice after Chao Tzu died. It was so fucking strong. Mm. Oh my god, thank you guys so much, Dr. Speakeasy, Cerberus Magician, uh, Bat Vegeta, thank you, and thank you guys, oh my god, we're up to level 4 hype trade, what the fuck, 42 seconds? Oh, thank god, it'll be over, my goodness. Damn it! Oh, I think I made him mad, Vegeta. Should I talk to him about it? The first chapter working out your problems is healthy communication. Mm. Hey, that was very rude. I was talking to Vegeta! First real hit he did, and look at that. Just fucking annihilates Should, him. Shouldn't we help him? Can't you see he has to fight this battle on his own? He's fighting me too, Jackie. Me too. Comrade. Help me for the love of God! Help me! <laughs> like a hero. Mr. Piccolo, help him! Oh, fine! Krillin, go! For Pony! Oh! oh he, hit me. Oh, he hit me too! I hate that Four Pony line, because that's a reference to an old webcomic, and I uh, I was reading, I think, around the time. Like the old, ah, oh, fucking, what was it called? Again, I don't remember. Uh, LFG. Yeah, and then I met the actual guy who wrote LFG, and I was not IMP rest. That's all I'm going to say. Listen, all I can say is, um... Everyone shit stinks, and uh, Matt, when I uh, I went to a convention once, and a bunch of the webcomic artists uh, were there, and I met a bunch of them. I actually met manly guys doing manly things. Like, she was amazing. We met a lot of fantastic fucking uh, webcomic artists at the time, but we all got invited at this event to a, uh, oh god, to a, t we got to go to this one uh, bar pub thing at the time, and they kind of booked a bunch of it out. And uh, we were in one area where it was, like, sectioned off to the internet guests and everything, and there wasn't much space to seat. So, uh, Control-Alt-Delete, uh, Tim, 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 good old Tim Buck was there, uh, and the LFG guy were there, and they both were, uh, I literally overheard them uh, complaining about how they couldn't get a seat because they were just, they took too long to get there to the actual, like, event thing. And, oh, I never met Buckley. I didn't want to either, because either, I didn't give a shit. Uh, also, like, he was very upset because him and his friends wanted their own table, but they were still last. So they were, like, expecting people to save a table for them. And it's like, oh, you can sit with their spaces. It's like, well, I can't sit with all my friends. And it's like, well, so you needed to come earlier then. And it's just kind of like, uh, yeah. Isn't that the lost guy? Yes, I watched him lose the fact that he couldn't have a seat with him and his friend. And uh, I also know because I had, I had many instances of big leaking happening from webcomic artists at that point, which was very funny to me because I'm just like, bro. Why are you big leaking people? You make a webcomic. Mistress Doom, thank you for that raid. And let's continue on with episode seven. Apollo Genatus. Genite, genite, blah, 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 blah. Uh, ha ha. Johan, hurry up and blast him with all your strength before he has time to joke is so. This joke is so clever. Damn you, Pavlov! 
For those of you who don't know who Pavlov is, allow us... Okay, you want to know anime? This is, this is from Gantz the anime, because at this point, HBI2K was working on Gantz abridged. To take a brief moment to explain, back in 1904... Give back to the fight! And back to the fight. Hey, not gonna lie. All I can say, guys, is uh, I'll end it on this one. Uh, least I could do, L-I-C-D is literally like a framework for an incel mindset. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, and moving on. Hey, dick move, guys. Dick, dick move. move. Piccolo, do you have a plan? That depends. Can I love this joke. Full Nelson. Any plan? <laughs> <laughs> ah, good shit. He's like, all right, okay, Curly, okay, you need to get him in a full Nelson. It's my go-to. I wanted Piccolo to keep trying. All right, put him in a full Nelson. I just want, I wanted Piccolo to be his default. All right, maybe you should put him in a full Nelson. Just, just, I like the idea of, ah, I got him. It worked. It fucking worked. It killed the dude real quick. <laughs> Motherfucker can't dodge if he can't move. Hands <laughs> that don't involve killing me. Well, there is the multi-form technique. But doesn't that cut our power levels by? Plan A or Plan B, Krillin? Plan B. Plan B. Kage Kage no Jutsu. Vegeta, I can't believe it. Oh. Waka waka! He's dodging every hit! We can't lay a finger on him! What kind of incredible mental discipline has this guy gone through? Patty cake, cake, patty, patty, patty cake, bakers, bakers, bakers man! Bake, bake me a cake, cake as fast as you can! I am the patty cake champion, and if you wanna come down to my ring, you wanna wrestle with me! I'll prove to you why I'm the best at pancake slapping. You should call me CM Punk, because I'm going to leave a bad taste in your mouth when I'm done slapping your shit. <laughs> I love that joke with Krillin. I love that. I love that joke with Krillin with each of the Krillin owns. So people got mad about that, but I thought that was fucking... We, at this point, we're doing the Krillin own count over and over and over again. We have to start having them happen in wacky ways. And the fact that ding, 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 like just the double ding on that is just chef kiss. Scott nailed it. Oh, oh that was Good so... Good but I'm the patty cake champion. What? What? But at least you didn't uselessly self-destruct like that Pokemon. And once again, gone about to... And now... <laughs> they're just like, what the fuck are we fighting against? Uh, looking back, to be like, I think this guy's insane. Oh, yeah, yeah, because the guys who travel through space and blow up planets were going to be perfectly barometers of fucking sanity, Piccolo. You tried to conquer this planet twice? Okay, okay, I didn't even get started the second time. We saw the email. <laughs> you stupid, ugly... Here it comes. Son of a... Bitch. Gohan's gonna crush this bitch. His name was Chouzo. Here it goes. Yeah, that Chouzo, my, my God. God! <laughs> right. <laughs> Who did it? Which one of y'all motherfuckers just did this shit? Was it you, Big Battle? You tub of lard looking motherfucker. Turn around, say it again. Turn around, say it again! Turn around, say it again! Oh! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! You are fucked up now! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! Now you fucked up! Now you have All fucked right, up! I guess this is the night bitches die. Oh, I might have to turn off sound alarms, actually. <laughs> Alright, guys. Alright. Right behind me, Aha! Pointless. We're gonna die, aren't we? Yep. Here it comes. Vegeta! What? I can fly. Uh, 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 yes, Nappa, yes you can. That's my favorite Nappa joke, I think. It's just, when we were, because in the actual anime, Vegeta's like, stop fighting them. We must do, and he's like, what? Like, he has that wacky, like, what? Hard break. It's just a hard break. And this is, it's so funny. 
it's the cartoon break sound effect. It's the animation, the actual episode of him being kind of wacky when he was playing. But Vegeta want to fight him. But in the actual thing, we just changed it. Oh, my God. Dude. I can fly. What? I can fly. <laughs> uh, 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 yes, Nappa. Yes, you can. It just doesn't even bother. He's like, yeah, sure. Moving on. <laughs> like, it's just, I cannot right now with you. Just go finish them. Up, down, down. Thank you so much, Mr. Lily and Evan Skyheart. Thank you so much. No, you're going to be in a lot of trouble once Goku gets here. Who? Goku. He's stronger than all of us combined. Well, then, I guess we better kill you before he gets here. Wait, I mean... But Vegeta, I want to meet the strong guy. Nappa, just kill them first and... But I want him to see <laughs> us kill them. It's important. Oh, God, there's no arguing with you. Fine. I'll give you three hours tops. After that, I'm killing all of you. Yay! And now we wait. Here we go, everybody. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Is he here yet? No. Is he here yet? No. 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 no. Everyone, just God, God damn it. Damn it, Nappa, just go do something. Go have fun. I don't care how. This is a literal whole ass filler episode that comes up, guys, because this is the problem with Dragon Ball. This is the problem with anime, okay? So at the time when Z started up, they immediately started producing Z because everyone's like, holy shit, they're grabbing that hype. But the problem is there was a weekend episode. The problem is it's 18 pages a week. So doing that, it's like they can't stretch that out. Stretching out 18 pages to 21 minutes is a fucking challenge unto itself. So they had to add filler in where they could. So we just have this whole thing be a quick montage of that filler episode, which at the time I was actually pitching that we do the episode because Napa was so well received. I was like, well, let's fucking just have him be a wacky guy. And, and I think Kaiser and Lanny were like, no, no, no. Let's, 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 let's just wrap this shit up. And moving on. Oh boy! This is gonna be my gonna be best, the best day ever. Bum bum bum. And also, I want to point out that this this is filler, but this is some of the crispest animation in the show. And in particular, there's one shot where Nappa jumps through the actual jet, puts his hands to the side, and just everything moves around him like it's water, like butter. Like, it's so powerful. He just moved metal like nothing. And it's so fluid. It looks fucking cool as shit. And they made that part of the fucking intro for the longest fucking time because they knew how good that shit looked. Just watch this animation. Time's up. Time to die. So, where's your friend? I'm back! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm back! Bang! Immediately. We're starting again. Okay, cool. The reason why Goku's hair went first yellow Super Saiyan was literally because they would help speed up the manga pages. Not having black hair meant not much ink use. I'm not kidding, guys. You really not need... This is why you guys all gotta stop looking way too far into this shit. Here we go. Here comes the joke. Napa, where did your armor go? I had a hell of a hell day. of a day, Vegeta. I sank their battleship. Yep. And their whales. No! I like the implication that a bunch of those are whales. And there we go, guys. And that's it. That's it for our, our Justice League joke. So, admittedly, I would you like to hear the end of the Bio Broly movie I pitched? Okay. So it's the end of it's it's it's, it's Bio Broly. It's a Bio Bro movie, and Bio Broly's the big blob monster is rolling out, and it's, it's gonna kill everybody. Oh no, we're gonna die! All of a sudden, a whale shoves through him. Oh, a Bio Broly dies, and then Aquaman, whale, motherfucker, whales! And so, Broly was defeated by Aquaman. The end. Credits. And that's the end of the thing. That's it. And the end. The end. Just a whale. Oh. Whale, motherfucker, whale! Like, he was, all the time, he was calling it. Whales, motherfucker! Boy, I <laughs> And in the end, Broly was defeated by Aquaman. The end. Ba-da-bum-bum, 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 da-da-da. 
Bio Broly or Cell Max, they're the same character. We're good. <laughs> hey, everybody, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I got to take a pass. Okay? I got to take a pass. So I... Which episode is this? Oh, I can't see the episode, so the ad's done, huh? Oh, shit! Allow me to demonstrate why I am the most powerful and most feared being in the universe. I'm good. Oh, no. Skipped an episode. How about the that? Following the fan base. There we go, guys. All right, guys. I will be right back. I got to take a quick pay. One second, everybody. Okay? One second. Be right. I literally will be right back in 30, 40 seconds, okay? Otherwise, I'm, I'm going to... Okay? Okay. Everyone be good. Everyone be good. Don't panic. Do not panic, chat. I need you to not panic. Thank you for not panicking. Okay. How about you dance instead, baby? Punch it! That's right, everybody. If you're wondering what cover that is, that is Jumpin' Jack Flash from Elite Beat Agents. Yeah, that's right, everybody. That is a cover of Jumpin' Jack, ba Jumpin Jack Flash from Elite Beat Agents, one of my favorite games ever, where dance and song defeated aliens. It's true. It's true. Oboshi Zero, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Kisaka Toriyama and everybody else, Fenrir and Full Moon. Thank you for the bits. Thank you so much, Alpha Rabbit, Ronan John. Thank you all for being here, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Let's jump right into it. The following is a fan based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Venomation Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. For the person saying, is he back yet? Open your eyes. Cool. Um. Mr. Piccolo, wake up. You have to stop him. <laughs> Don't worry, Gohan! Goku's never let us down! I'm sure he'll be Bloop. here any se- Bloop! Second! Um, um, um. I, I love this joke that he's back at- he's, he's back at Princess Snakes. This is one of my- I, 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 I think I- I don't remember who pitched this, but I remember loving this joke to death. This is food again, Princess Snake! Well, it's the least I could do for trying to eat you like that. But I thought there was something else you had to do. Something about Saiyan. My left ear is really enjoying this voiceover. And the Earth. Crap, 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 crap! I don't know what person snakes coming out the left ear. I just don't know. It's just, all right, that's it. It's just coming out of the left side, I guess. Now, true. That, yeah. Hell yeah. Mr. Episode 9. Well, get up. Please get up. Seriously, he's gonna kill us. Well, the green guy's out. Too bad. Guess I'll have to find someone else to play with. Please not me. 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 Eeny, meeny, miny, you. <laughs> Again, the, it's, it's Kaiser's editing is selling everything. Eeny, meeny, miny, you. And like, I feel like Lanny's Krillin really takes off here at, at episode 9, episode 10. What? Ah! <laughs> Got him! Woo! Not me! Gohan? Oh. Whoa! Thought that would have lasted longer. Midget's next! Ah! I, I hate that we make that joke, guys. It's like, I, um, I, I have a dwarf friend, 
of mine. And honestly, we, we stopped using this word after this because it's simply put, it's an ignorant word and it's really hurtful. And uh, I, it's always termed as the last bastion of acceptable racism. And that's kind of what it is. So I really do not like that we made that joke, but they are bad guys. Even so, I don't like it, you know, because I, I have a friend who's, who's a dwarf and he really explained to me a lot of stuff about that. So dwarf is a better word. Yes. If all you who are confused about that, that sounds odd to you. It's because it sounds weird. It sounds weird, guys. But remember that the medical condition they have is dwarfism and the reverse being giantism. And they call people who have giantism giants and people who have dwarfs dwarfs. And that's perfectly fine. Yeah. I mean, it's called dwarfism, so they prefer the abbreviation of the actual medical terminology. The M word is a slur. It is. And it was it's always kind of interpreted that way. So, yeah. And don't be... Guys, it takes nothing to be a dick. It takes nothing to be a dick, you know? It's just like, oh, okay, cool. Moving on. Yeah. It's like, in the end, you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Little people and dwarf... Dwarf just sounds... Ca dwarf, dwarf sounds ridiculous, but it's also... That's literally... That's what they prefer. A lot of them don't even like little people. They don't like little people. They prefer dwarf because technically that is a medical terminology. It's what it is. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, no problem. Hey, Christopher and so on. I didn't know that was a slur. It's okay. It's like, it's why, uh, oh God, Peter Dickler said it's the last bastion of acceptable free, uh, uh, acceptable racism because there's not a lot of people who are dwarves. There aren't, there aren't many people who are dwarves. And, you know, nowadays we, we're learning more. So, yeah. That's why there's some language. It's not a slur. It is a slur, D. Poltergeist, because someone told me it was who is a dwarf so that's uh, i'm gonna time you out here bro okay now this is this isn't a place for debate okay and moving on ah, my turn, my turn, my turn. Uh, oh what? napa what are you doing it's his turn but you all right deep ultra guys how about, uh, how about you get the fuck out of my stream? And how about you oh, shut the fuck. fuck up? I can't believe you've done this. All right, everybody. The Poltergeist is fucking out of here. Get out of my bar, you bum! <laughs> I need animation for when I ban somebody. Well, actually, I can say it because he doesn't speak for everybody. I'm like, shut the fuck up, dude. A dwarf told me, do my face. It's a slur. And I just told you that. And you're like, you know what? I can still say racism. Get the fuck out of my bar. Moving on, everybody. Alright, I guess this is the night bitches die. Anyways, guys, moving on. I love this. I love this joke. I love this joke too. This is this is such a funny joke because Nappa just randomly stops when like Vegeta's shouting out orders, so his logic doesn't really make sense sometimes. I think we need a cartoon animation to be throwing somebody out. Yeah, exactly. Oh, not me! <laughs> Go on. Oh! Thought that would have lasted longer. Major, my turn, my turn, my turn! Uh, oh, break. What? Nappa, what are you doing? It's his turn, Vegeta. I have to wait for him. Uh, uh, <laughs> you okay, Vegeta? Yes, just, just an hour. Man, I, I remember recording for episode nine being very tired. And you can hear it, you okay, Vegeta? Like, even that line, I still look back and I'm like, God, I must be so fucking tired. The edit is awesome, but um, also just the, oh, the blood effect is not good. Like, Scott hates the blood effect, and I know that much. It should be Fresh Prince of Bel-Air style song, Uncle Phil throwing out Jesse. Ah! And it's just, it's just, it, it, oh man, this, we've got so many video games jokes at this part. You oh. okay, Vegeta? Yes, just, just an aneurysm out of sheer stupidity. Wow, didn't think you were that stupid, Vegeta. Ah! <laughs> Nine minutes, 18 seconds. <laughs> okay, so I think I already talked about this. Thank you, Big Battle. Uh, so I think I already talked about this. Lanny had to record on a separate microphone for the 9 minute, 18 second line. That's why it sounds so distinctly different because Lanny had left his home and he had to record this, I believe, on a very, whatever he could get his hands on at that point, which was very, uh, not many options. So it's a very rough audio of this one line because the way we had to write, I think Scott talked about this, is we could not record this line until we knew how long the mix was. Who does that Vegeta scream? Lanny plays the fucking character. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be a dick. Okay. That is done by Lanny. Lanny plays Vegeta. Ay, ay, ay. Nine minutes, 18 seconds. What's that, Vegeta? Happiest moment of my life. And you, you can hear that you can, immediately. Back to the actual recording. Hey, stop treating me like a joke, damn it. I've got a new technique. 
which I probably could have used earlier and maybe saved all of our friends' lives. But that's beside- And this whole- this whole scene, and like, Lanny has been playing Piccolo, Krillin, and Vegeta this whole time. The point! Get ready for my... DESTRUCTO DISC! Lame. Now, take this! Ooh, want frisbee, Vegeta? Papa, no! It's a trick! But Vegeta! Tricks are for kids. <laughs> I fucking love this joke! It's great! Papa, no! It's a trick! But my Jada! Tricks, Tricks are for kids. kids! You know what, Nappa? <laughs> On second thought, catch it. Catch it with your teeth! <laughs> Yay! Like a dog! Ow! 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 Ricola! Oh, God damn it! Ah, <laughs> oh, no! My face! My precious modeling career! Strike a pose. You know, I was trying to be a team player. Trying Try to be a nice guy. guy. You killed half our friends. I said try. Trying. Oh, really? oh god. Yep. Kind of a... So are you. I'm back. Ah, I see what you did there. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's back. you and me, big guy, and I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, go on! What the hell? Well, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Piccolo. I didn't mean to snap like that. No, stay snapped! Stay snapped! Ah, oh, God damn it! Uh, you are making me so mad! <laughs> <laughs> you are making me so mad! Okay, so I'm gonna try and make you guys laugh with this. Okay, hold on a second. I'm having a cracker here, sorry. All right, you are what you eat. But, um, so, we were thinking about doing one of those big, you know how, um, like, Weird Al does his Polka remixes, where instead of covering, like, all these songs, he just does, like, a, he just does, like, one part of the song and kind of connects them all together like that. We wanted to do that, uh, for Dragon Ball Z characters at one point, and, uh, <laughs> we had all these different songs, like, it's fun, YMCA, you know, you know, YMCA for, you know, the, the Begin You Force and everything. Uh, and just, it cuts to Guru and just in all that, like, late early thousands, like, like, you just, you know, like, Fleek, all that, like, you know, bright neon kind of shit that came out there. Like, the, you know, the, the party rock shit, all that stuff. And Guru's just decked out on that. Every day I'm shuffling. Beep, 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 beep. And that's, it's just, the, the strobes are going off. Everything's popping off to the music. Guru's not moving at all. And at the end, shuffling, shuffling. Mm, mm, mm. And then finally at the end, it just cuts to dun, mama mia, here I go again, my, my, something Italian. Vegeta, look, I'm a fire in my bois. <laughs> That's amazing, and I will never be sorry for the bois. All right, it's time to redeem myself. Through one final act of redemption, I'll save Gohan and... Wait a Wait. second, why didn't I just grab him? I could probably still do that now, actually. Yeah, that's it. I'll grab him and throw him out of the way. Oh, that was a great yell from Lanny. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I can take anything you can dish out. Oh, God, there go my organs. Mm hmm. Mr. Piccolo! Go on. Come closer. There's something I have to tell you. Is it that you always pictured me as a son? Because you can never make your own, considering you lack the reproductive organs to produce your own legitimate offspring? Nerd! Nerd. Oh, God bless him. Uh, what? Just shut up and listen. What is it, Mr. Piccolo? Why didn't you die? I okay. Admittedly, a lot of the bleh line that almost entirely comes from. Um, I think we the guys mentioned this too. Rooster Teeth. I one of my. Uh, I used to grow up on like Red versus Blue. I really found it inspiring back in the day. That's why everything's really a shame. But they they per, like bleh, 
I fucking love that. It's just because it's funny and it's over the top dramatic. So we kind of just brought the into this show as well. A lot of guys die. It's just it's what's funny about it. It's again, great recording from Masako. Time has come, but don't worry, my friend. You can go to Namek and wish myself and the others back with their Dragon Balls. It will be a long and arduous journey, but I'm sure you can. Bitch, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but Mr. Popo, the fate of the entire universe is taking order. But I. Well then, goodbye, my friend. And here comes one of the funniest jokes we got. Bye. Uh, oh, wrong part. Did you see me kill the green guy? Yes, yeah, Snapper, that was a very good kick. <laughs> oh, Vegeta, you weren't watching. Can you at least watch me kill the toddler? Ugh, fine. But I think that's the last time we actually hear from that commie voice. I think, actually. I think that's it. Everyone important. Damn it. Mm -hmm. Now, Nappa smash. Smash. Where'd he go? Did he disappear? Or was he never there to begin with? Oh, wait, there he is. Huh? Hey, guys, what I miss? I. Oh. Are they all... Okay, but this next scene, guys, because it's just from my perspective. This is where Nappa died. I was really sad. Uh, and in the end, he dies. That's what happens. He gets blown up. It's what happens. It's just what happens at the show. So that's why this last joke is very funny to me in every way. <laughs> I love this last little bit. Now, when he fights Goku, if you hear the voiceover, uh, you're going to just hear me go eventually just like Homer says, No! 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 That's why I realized I could actually do a good Homer. Ten Shinhan. Piccolo? Yamcha? Oh, wow, especially Yamcha. Especially Wait, Yamcha. Wait, where's Chiaotzu? Oh, he's here. <laughs> and there. And there. <laughs> Rowan! Yeah. What? Too soon! I'm sorry I'm late, you guys. But I brought some sensu beans for you. Woohoo! Like you, Max Machina! Hey, That's which one? It's a hell of a great way. Legume ex machina. That's what they are. They are just massive fucking. Sensubi! It's not yet. We haven't begun that. that joke's in season three. Sensubi! Wah! <laughs> you did all this. That was me totally calling it. I killed every single one of them. Except me. He blew himself up. Here we go, folks. You ready? Are you ready, chat? Jada, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's 1006. What? Really? Yeah. yeah. Kick his ass, Nappa. Yay! That doesn't seem right. Wait, 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 wait. Nappa! What? Turn the scouter upside down. It's over 9,000. Raw. Raw. Why do you sound so bored? 
Because it's still not a threat. But to me. Besides, once we get the Dragon Balls, we'll just wish for immortality. Then no one will be able to stop us. Wait, what? But you killed Piccolo. And your point is? Well, if he's dead, the Dragon Balls don't work. What? What? Oh, and I totally killed that guy. Oh, oh well, at least we still had fun getting here, right, Vegeta? <sighs> oh, man. Oh, man, that was me. Oh, that was a botch job. Ah, oh, shit. I told you, Vegeta, well, that's why... I guess this is the night bitches die. Vegeta, that's why we needed to save when we landed. Vegeta, come on, Vegeta. I can't believe I was right the whole time. <laughs> Anyways, I can't wait to be alive for the next nine seconds. Vegeta, remember the bug planet? planet? Vegeta, 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 Vegeta. Vegeta? 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 There's nothing. <laughs> Just a smile. <sighs> Charmin Ultrasoft is... Wow, but you, I can't believe I got my ass handed to me. <laughs> Let's see, guys. Oh my god. So, guys, yeah, that's the end of Napa, everybody. And now we're going into Scott's first. I feel like Scott probably talked about this. Like, episode nine, and that's the end of. That's the end. We actually had some debate about whether or not, like, he should say something, but Scott, I think it was Scott's like, no, just a smile on his face. And that's the end of Napa, and he'll never come back at all. That's true, everybody. Man, it's true, everybody. It's true. How did you know? Yeah. Introducing the Damn new Kia Telluride. Oh, that gosh, it, British. Early morning practice. Early morning practice, eh? The following is a fan base. God damn it, you. The following is a fan base parody. The following is a fan The following is a fan Wait, that's not it. Okay, good. That's what I thought. Jeez, I thought I was like, is there just an episode I don't remember in my brain? Jesus Christ. The following, the following, the following. The following is The following The following is a fan base parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Animation Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Now, this is a three-parter because we couldn't upload long videos at this point. Again, the limit at the time on YouTube was like 10 minutes. So we cut this bad boy into three pieces. And, um, now this was interesting because now I'm no longer writing for Napa. So, uh, God, I think, you know, from my, what my memory serves correctly, uh, from the last episode, the over 9,000 joke, that was me, myself and Scott really workshopping that bad boy because our whole mentality was, okay, like, if they actually know what the power is, but she's intentionally not telling him, so he's dying or he has a scouter upside down and he's reading 9,000 and six, 9,000 is one is 1,006, meaning he has it flipped. And that's the joke we made is he had it flipped on the wrong side. And then the footage you can see, he actually, I think we actually flipped it there for a second too. He was like, oh shit, that was a legitimate mistake. Oh, oh shit, he's over 9,000. <laughs> he thought he got kick his ass. So there you go. So here we are. We're going to jump right into episode 10. There are so, this is, I feel like we're all, all, we're firing on all cylinders as writers now. All three of us. We're just firing on all cylinders. And you're about to see voice acting go to the next level. <laughs> He's gone! He's finally gone! I'm so happy right now! I might not even slaughter you all! R really? <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, you're all thoroughly screwed. Mm. Oh. Gohan, Krillin, I'll handle Vegeta on my own. Vegeta? Both of you all right. Far away as Lawrence is great at dropping his accent now. Back in the day, it, he was still learning how to drop his British accent. So every now and then, he'll end it. Uh, Vegeta? He's trying to hold back. Was that an ad for Adblocker? Yeah, that's why I think Adblockers are a scam half the time. Where'd Krillin go? <laughs> well, second he heard he can leave, he's out, go man. On. Follow Krillin. Don't forget he died. Home to your mother. Right, Daddy. Is there anything you want me to tell her? Daddy. Yes, Gohan. Tell her to put dinner on. Because I'm hungry. Damn right, Goku. Ooh, 
All right, are you ready for this? You bet I am. Don't worry. Eventually, the next time we get the right Goku, we'll be like, no, 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 let him cook. I'm hungry as fuck. First, <laughs> why don't we take this battle somewhere else? What's wrong with here? I don't know. Something about it doesn't feel right. A little bit corpsey. Well, it is a little corpsey. It's a little corpsey, yeah. Meanwhile, on King Kai's planet. Thanks, so Martin. The fight is about to begin. The showdown between the Saiyan elite and the low class warrior trained by me. Taking all bets, guys! Taking all bets! <laughs> all bets, all bets, folks, all bets in! I have had 50 gold doubloons on the short run. Oh, sir, is this really appropriate? If Goku loses, the entire Earth could be destroyed. You were saying? Ah, 1,000 seni on Goku. Hey, can I get in on this? Wait a second, don't you already know the outcome of the fight? Mm, no. Salty bet. This is it. Ah, oh, yes. Ah. A perfect place to mark your grave. Now remember, now remember, Vegeta, if this is ever made into a video game, every single time they have to remake this fucking field, every game, no matter what, they have to remake it, reuse it, no, remake it each time. I want pylons all over the place, all over the place, okay? And I want targeting to be all over the place. And when I fly around, it'll give me a freaking headache. That sounds hardcore. It's the Saiyan way. Listen, we don't have to do this, you know. If you leave now and promise to never come back, I'll let you go. And we can stop this meaningless bloodshed. Such tripe! Where's your Saiyan pride, Kakarot? We are proud warriors, bred to fight and conquer. This planet has made you soft. Are you sure about this? Because even if you're a little sorry... No, I'm not sorry! Are you absolutely sure you- Yes! I am entirely sure! I'm going to obliterate you and the rest of this planet myself with my own two- My own cat! Beginning of the joke! <laughs> okay, not bad. But still nothing compared to me. Now witness the power of a Saiyan elite! Elite? What's that mean? It means I'm of the upper class, a finer breed, the highest grade of warrior. <sighs> okay, consider yourself beef jerky while I'm filet mignon. Ooh, I like both those things. I'm going to start beating you now. I don't know when I'll stop. <laughs> The fox cloak, thank you for the sub, everybody. And this is this is where Vegeta really got he was no longer just sitting there making commentary. He was truly had all the action ability. So this is truly Vegeta's He's the final boss of season one. And he's truly like he's just fan it's like Lanny's just playing him so fantastically. It's just so wonderful. The script was so great. I, I wish I could talk about how we came up with some of these jokes, but it's just like it's what was funny. It's why when I watch the South Park commentaries, each sometimes each episode is like five minutes long for the commentary, because I got nothing to say. They even talk about it like, listen, sometimes all we have is like, yep, we definitely wrote these jokes. And that's all they have to say. If they got nothing really else to say. Yep, these sure were jokes we wrote. And it's, it's almost like that. But for this one, the Kaio what joke. And then I think one of our best jokes we ever do is the Kaio can pay off, uh, which happens this episode. CSAF, thank you so much as well. Let's jump into it. Hopefully before dinner, because I told Gohan to tell Chi Chi to. Ah! Oh, boom! Ah! Yep. What's wrong, Kakarot? Can't keep up! I told you, Kakarot, there's no way you can measure up to an elite like me! You're fighting a losing battle here. Mm -hmm. You might as well just surrender this pathetic planet now and- I can times three! Times one! <laughs> I just want to point out it's the first hit he's ever like, boom, ah! Like, just out of here! Out of here! And he's... <laughs> this proves nothing. Nothing! Are you okay in there? Yeah, I'm fan-fucking-tastic. Nothing but gumdrops and ice cream in here. Oh, really? Can I come in too? I'm surrounded by idiots. 
I thought you were surrounded by gumdrops and ice cream. It's someone as dumb as Nappa beating him in a fight. I will not stand for this. I will not be humiliated by a low-class wretch. Aw, sounds like somebody's Somebody got an ice cream that. headache. That's it. Everyone, Everyone dies. dies. Here it comes, everybody. One of my favorite jokes of the three prior to here. Your planet, Kakarot. Well, that's not very nice. Of here course it not. I'm f***ing evil. Garlic gun. This is Ooh, so great. Did say garlic? Me. Here we go, here we go. Kick it, Masako, do it! Me. So good! This is the end, Kakarot! You don't stand a chance! I put all my power into this attack. Now perish with the rest of your pathetic world. Here it comes. Here it comes. I can. No. No. Time. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh! No, 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 no. This was the first two years we had ever made this show, and that is the best voiceover in the entire show up to this point. That was so good. Lanny's fire, Galligan, fire! It wasn't fire, it was fire! It was just, it was just like letting it out, and, and then Masako's coming out. It's just so powerful. Fucking hell. They both crushed it in this moment. Like, this joke was amazing when we wrote it. Like, I'm really proud of that we came up with this and that we brought the Kaioken back here. But, like, the fact that just all that intensity, all like all the drama, of all the amazing voiceover, ah, the actual lines of the show, and then all of a sudden, Kai, okay, no. No. Yeah, that was Lanny's last line to get recorded that day for Vegeta. I wasn't there for that, though, but, yeah, I believed it. Meanwhile, back at the ranch... You know, my favorite thing is people coming in here thinking I'm just binge watching this when in fact that like people don't realize that I actually fucking made this. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Remember when we used to do stuff, you know, be out there with them and help? Yeah. Okay, so this is something we kind of pointed out when we were trying to write this. I'm actually going to jump into this here because this becomes very apparent going forward here. One of the things... Uh, this one of the things we did back in the day was we realized a lot of these fights don't cut away to anything. For a comedy, that can be kind of a problem, especially if we don't cut to anything. So every now and then we'll cut to something randomly just because we need to be able to like jump ahead in a fight somehow. So we're always trying to find something uh, to cut to. And the, this is one of those things where we have everybody else. There's less of filler that we can pull from, but it can't derail too much. So uh, there we go. And remember the Red Ribbon Army? Baba has no lines, and no, we don't know why. And what about King Piccolo? Yeah. Whatever happened to launch? Who? Who? And that is the last recorded line by White Ash as launch. Meanwhile, back at the plot. Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch! This can't be happening! I'm the prince! I'm supposed to be the best by default! I'll show that little bastard! I'll become the mighty Ozaru and crush him into the... Where's the moon? Where's the damn moon? Mm -hmm. Moon! Okay, there's a filler episode. He blows up the moon and he realizes that with, with the, that's what turns Goku into the fucking great ape that happened a long time ago. It turned Gohan as well. They're like, oh god, it's the fucking moon. The reflection of that, they're like werewolves. Okay, let's blow that up. A couple episodes go along, they jump back there. There's another moon in the sky. Piccolo's like, what the fuck? I blew that moon up! Yeah! He blows it up again and goes right through it. What? It's an actual, like, the Saiyans have in their pod have a projector screen? They can project the Earth's moon so they can turn. I, I don't get it. Nope. Ah! Anyways, it's this plot. This is a great show, guys, okay? With no plot holes at all, okay? 
Okay? Toriyama really loves this show. Moving on. Very clever, Kakarot. I've taken you for a fool, but it seems you're far more cunning than you let on. But destroying the moon won't stop me. We've learned to create artificial moons that supply the necessary blood. Question! What? Are they made of cheese? I'm going to enjoy this far more than I should. Ah! Now watch, Kakarot, as your life becomes inconsequential as I reveal my giant monkey! <laughs> Form! The implication everyone was watching the whole time is just so funny to me. And here's my one line of the episode, guys! Here's my one line of the episode! I reveal my giant monkey! <laughs> Form! Oh. Oh. Thank God I thought he meant penis! That's me, everybody. Thank God I thought he meant penis! Who's filming, though? Great question. He's getting huge! Now that he's real- he'll only be stronger! That means he won't be as fat. Oh god, he's so fast! Now you all know that I was the penis guy the whole time. He's too powerful! I have to come up with a plan. Wait, I know! I just have to think like a monkey. Hmm. Hey, it's working! No, that's just bubble. Get off my back, bubble! Cute. <laughs> Goku, listen! The only way that you can beat him is if you use the spirit bomb. Mm. On it! And whatever you do, make sure you're very well hidden. It's going to take a lot of time to gather up all that energy. <laughs> oh, sorry. The number you are trying to reach has been disconnected. Please hang up and try again later. Huh. I'm sorry, I love that. That joke's still funny. Ah! It's just a cut. It's like, ooh, that's not great. Oh! Thank God! I thought he meant penis, but what he really meant was oral, oral hair, oral. Amazing! They'll feel like they just left the dentist. Whoa! Really? Gift like a pro. Made with 100% whole grain and very high in fiber. Oh shit, guys! Big days. You'll shit if you eat this. You'll shit if you eat this. If you eat this, poop unending. What did I tell you, Kakarot? I'm ten times stronger in this form, while you are beaten and weary. Man, this is worse than that time I was in high school, and all the guys called me Geeko, and I was Piccolo Slave. I couldn't mm. get Chi Chi to like me, and mm. oh wow, I hit that rock harder than I thought. Alright, so, uh, guess what this is a reference to, guys? Dragon Ball Shun. Now, Kakarot, to finish this! Oh, man. What would Yamcha do? It is not lost on me that we're technically a more well-received part of the fandom than Dragon Ball Evolution. It is not beyond me. And that's very funny to me that that is the truth of the matter. We are seen more... We are known and beloved more than that professional movie. And that is so fucking funny to me, and I cannot explain why. Um, um, what did you do? Okay, this. I swear to God, I wrote that Yamcha joke. Oh man, what would Yamcha do? Um, um, what did you do? Wait, I know. Solar flare. Now, I don't think we did an image in that one, but I will say, you know that animation of putting the science size of his head? That was in the original Rock the Dragon intro back in the day. Solar Flare! The first Solar Flare! Every Solar Flare after this has a secret image. Ah, my eyes! Oh, God, it's like walking in on Frieza in the shower! Wait a minute, Frieza's always naked. Ah! It's true. All right, that should buy me some time. Now, let's see. Planet! Give me your energy! Everything you can Incoming spare. dark joke! I think this was Lanny's. Forest! People of Swear the to God this was Lanny. And all the animals that live alongside them! There! I think I have enough energy. But maybe a little more one. Just a night. little more! Daddy? That was Lanny. I also got, got laughed and demand, demand the second daddy. Right, the second daddy kills me. All finished. 
<sighs> Finally, I can see again. Kakarot, I am going to kill you! Now, take this! Energy from the entire world! <laughs> well, in fact, don't beat on it. Hey, Kakarot! What's the opposite? Here it comes! Christopher Walken! Huh? Christopher Reeves! Okay, I normally hate references he wouldn't get, but that's a great joke. I don't even know. I don't even know whose jokes are which at this point. I mean, this is the p problem with remembering. I can only remember key jokes, especially season one. I remember so much more about season two and season three, but season one's kind of a blur. Oh, that's in really poor taste. You think that's bad? <laughs> you think that's bad? <laughs> you think that's bad? Remember the time? everybody ah uh, that would be awesome <laughs> I'm just not remembering how we were I God, I just wish I could remember some of the key moments in that but man I love that edit little. here it comes there comes the joke guys it's coming are you sure my dad's gonna be okay all on his own Oh, come on, Gohan. You saw how much stronger your dad's become. I'm sure he can take care of... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, Vampire Hunter. All right, Kakarot. Let's hear those bones shatter. What the... What, what? Oh, my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> Get your filthy hands off him, you damn dirty ape. Oh, very creative. And what exactly will you do if I don't? I'll make you regret it! Law of mass dictates that the mass of an object dramatically increases the force of impact when said object collides with the ground. And with your size, you'll make an extensively large impact upon your inevitable defeat! Great line. What? what? The bigger <laughs> they are, the harder they fall! I, I love that line. This is pure, this is pure Kaiser. Pure Kaiser in this one, but the fact that like both Vegeta and, Pickle, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and Goku, are like, what? I, what is that? What are you talking? What? <laughs> what? Ah, stop mm. that! Listen, kid, you're real brave and all, but your dad's beaten and broken, and neither of you have the skill or energy <laughs> to take me on. You're finished! All of your planet's greatest fighters! All of them worthless in the presence of a Saiyan elite! None of you can stop me! None of None you! Of you. Uh. Ready, 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 ready! Okay, up to this point, we had never featured Yajirobe once. Never once, and that was intentional. Uh, I remember we were talking about it at one point, but we're like, well, hold on. I think, I don't even remember if it was a decision, but we realized this would be his first fucking scene. And he literally fucking ends this. And it's like the one time in the history of Z and Dragon Ball where he literally saves the day and it's fucking priceless. He literally just, let, he literally just, this fat samurai who never wants to fight in that moment just runs up and goes, ha! And that's it, because he's, he's, his power level is like 100. Like, that's the thing. His power level is essentially 100 or so. And this is, this is Kaiser's second character. This is also voiced by Kaiser. God. God damn it. My bones, they hurt. Him. 
We have a chick! <laughs> Still, so, uh, oh, 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 my body! You know, I thought I'd be angrier. What with the utter humiliation and loss of my tail. Or maybe I'm just so unbelievably enraged that I'd come full circle. <laughs> oh well, either way, it's time to put an end to this. Vegeta punches Gohan, Gohan. on the top of plateaus a lot. Is that you? Hey, Daddy. I'm really sorry. It's okay, Gohan. You tried your best. At least you got home to your mother and told her to... Um, actually, I never went home. I came back to save you. Oh. Why are they telepathic? I have no idea, Daddy, chat. Everyone makes mistakes, Gohan. <laughs> <laughs> I like how that's what he's most disappointed about. Okay? Oh, damn. Daddy. Son. Daddy. <laughs> Hi, oh! Me. You've cut off my tail. You've insulted me beyond belief. But you still haven't taken my pride. Oh, my pride. I'll teach you to hurt my daddy. What are you going to do, huh? You barely have any energy left. Yeah. Ah, my eye. Why is it always the goddamn eye? C Krillin, come here. I have something to give you. Your last will and testament? No. It's energy from the entire world. It's our last hope. And you're giving it to me. I'm kind of out of options. Mm. Out of options a little Holy bit, you know? Crap. So this is what being important feels like. <laughs> All right, Kakarot. Say goodbye to your son. Wow. Such power from every living being on the planet. You can feel it all. I can feel it all. Every man, woman, and child. This is planet Earth's very essence! Booyah, motherfucker! Yeah! What what the hell is Enjoy your stay in hell! <laughs> Gohan? Listen! You have to bounce it back at Vegeta! Are you sure? I don't think energy works like that. Don't worry, Gohan. You can do it. You're a good guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. If you believe in me, then I'll... Or it'll kill you. What? <laughs> There's nothing left now. Your last hope and you missed. You're all defeated and there isn't a damn thing you can... What smells like beer? Yeah. Curse my Juice, curse my hubris! Girl Logan music, guys. baby! <laughs> All right, Goku. Let's get you and Gohan home. It's been tough, but now we'll never have to see that rotten Saiyan ever again. Huh? Alive again. Never have to see him alive again. Live! <sighs> but at least it's finally over. You gonna eat that Saiyan? <laughs> what? Dibs. I think you're anonymous. Right. <laughs> anyway, it seems the spirit bomb's done the trick. And with that, we can all go home and live in peace and- ah! 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 What's going on, guys? We won, right? <laughs> What's going on, guys? We won, right? Oh, I hope we won. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Found at the bay. Shop gifts online and in store. Da bay? Hey, Alpha Rabbit, thank you so much for the five gifted shots. I sit on night at 12, thank you as well. Canra 5, I thank you so much. Chocolate Zombie 101, baby do. Thank you so much. The Fox Cloak, thank you as well. Guys, let's keep on running through this. I, I just, I'm looking back on this episode. Man, fight scenes are hard. Especially the Vegeta fight scene, because there's just there's a lot of events that happen in this, but it feel, really feels like a drawn out fight. It's not even a martial arts fight at that point. This is just a game of endurance, really. Report the official release. 
You know, at a time like this, I really only have one thing to say to you. Bitch laugh! Oh, snap! <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Q Heasel, thank you so much. Uh, so much for the five gifted shots. Very kind of you. And as Number ten. The rest of you, I'm going to end this with a big bang! Bang! Kind of, kind of attack. Oh, this isn't right, gonna win. Well. This is the night. This is the night. Kidding me? They're still alive? Oh, the hell with it! Uh, Q Hazel, Alpha Rabbit, thank you, Alpha Rabbit, thank you for the five gifted shots. Q Hazel, thank you for the five gifted shots. Lion of Demise, thank you for the one thousand bits, and greatly appreciate you liking my work, man. It's, it wasn't just mine; it was everybody else's too. Uh, Rabbit's your blog, thank you as well, guys. I may not have enough energy to kill you all at once. That's such a plot hole. I'm not going to lie. Him having his tail back, I don't even understand because like, saying kids grow back their tails. See, if they said that or something, or if he's just like, ah, oh, saying children can, of course, grow back their tails. I, that's what feels so silly about this. But I can still kill all of you without any trouble. Yeah! <laughs> I second hit. You, you oh! threw my armor. I, I wish for you to go, oh, oh, I am peeved. That really peeves me off! But gosh! And just start beating the shit out of him. <laughs> this was a gift from my father! I'm sorry, I'm sure your father was a great man. I hated my father. Who oh, was it? I'm sure your father was a total prick. How dare you talk about my father like that? <laughs> Finally, I can just sit back and enjoy myself. No cares in the world. Just killing him! I just beat these worthless dreams all day long and I. I think I'm forgetting something. Oh damn it, the kid, that's right! Oh wait. I left it on! I'm the mighty Ozeruid. Wait, I don't have my tail. This fat bastard cut it off! Uh -huh. No, no, stop it! Stop it, damn you! Why? Why won't you people just die? Daddy, I know you're angry right now, but you have to focus your anger. Re remember Icarus? <laughs> he did it. That's true. That's bullshit! Oh, that's bullshit it is! Damn things as I got to this godforsaken planet! Not for lack of trying, mind you. <laughs> oh, except for Napa. Badass! You wanna take out this one's tail too? Uh, uh, <laughs> Fine! I'll do it myself then! <laughs> I did it! I'm the best around! No one's ever going to keep me down! Keep me down! No! <laughs> and broken beneath an unconscious naked child. Yep, I think I'm done here. Send me the pod. The pod! So, Mr. Spunk, what this do you joke. make of this ship? Well, sir, I would find it highly illogical to refer to this as a ship. This That's me with the worst Spock impression ever. Spherical design incorporates no propulsion system. It looks more like an orbiting vessel or a satellite. Ah! <laughs> Suck it, Spock. All right, I'm just gonna get in my ship. I'm gonna fly back to Freezer Station. And I'm gonna sleep this off like a bad hangover. <sighs> You're not going anywhere! You think you can kill all of our friends and threaten our lives and just leave? Would you be surprised if I said yes? I'm going to end this! And you! Right now! Now die! Kill him! Wait! The 
Vegeta. I hate Goku as a character, and this is one of the reasons why. Thank you for the hype train, guys. If you want to rip your blog, my God. Are you sorry? <laughs> what? what? If you say you're sorry, Vegeta, then you can leave. You can't be serious. What are you talking about, Goku? Go what the fuck? Our friends. No, 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 no. Krillin, if he's sorry, sorry, truly sorry, then there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Yep, totally sorry. I just feel terrible. Let him go, Krillin. But, but Goku! Yes, I'm very, very, very sorry. But you're all still alive, suckers! <laughs> Goku scalp And so our heroes look towards the sky. Their battle finally One piece over. Piece victory on their side. Many lives were lost, many lessons were learned, and I made out with a cool 100 thou. You cheating son of a- Can't hear you, don't care. No, where was I? How will our heroes bring back their fallen compatriots? What new dangers will present themselves? Has anyone really not seen this show already? Hmm. Find out in the next season of Dragon Ball Z Abridged. Here it comes, everybody. I've broken my body. I failed in my mission to find the Dragon Balls. I even lost my tail. But at least it can't get any worse from here. Ajita. Ajita. to you. Go snap on! Yeah! There's something weird! And it don't look good! Oh shit! What? Who has a chest? Right, right, yes, right. An invisible man! In your, no, I'm not in the bed yet. I am not in the bed yet. We get in the bed eventually. All right, hold on. Vegeta, 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 Nailed it, folks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I'm sure what comes next in the actual order is... Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. The following is... Oh, episode 11. No, 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 Because here's the thing, guys. We just got done this season, so we should jump right into season episode 11, right? But Oh, wait, no. Wait, no, chat. Wait, no. Because I actually, I got to do something else, guys. We gotta, we gotta watch something else, actually. Because it's not just episodes. There's Bar, there's, there's other stuff we gotta watch too. And I almost gave it away because someone said it out the chat, but it's fine. We're doing Bardock. That's right, everybody. We get to do Bardock. Okay, so I gotta jump into this and talk a little bit about an episode of Bardock because it kind of breaks my heart. Not an episode of Bardock, but uh, the Bardock special. Because uh, <laughs> the guys did this without me, and I have no idea what they thought about my Bardock. Uh, for me at the time, and this was just talking about this, I was really worried that everyone would just, anytime they would hear me as another character, they would be like, all right, all right, Na Nappa, what, can, all right, dude, where's Nappa? We only like you as Nappa. I wanted to kind of prove to everybody that I could play another character in a lot of ways. So I was really camp, I campaigned. I pretty much said, we were looking at getting other people, and I'm like, can I please play uh, Bardock? I'd like to play, you know, I'd like to play the character. Oh, thank you, Travis. It's really dope, man. It, they, oh, really? I appreciate it. Because I look back, and it was... Uh, I, I look back at the original dub of this, and I'm kind of here or there. I'm like, man, we probably could have found someone better. We could have. But uh, I just really... Again, it, it, I don't know. I really wanted to the try... The way and... to get your whitest smile is with Crest 3D White. Right, that's well said. They love you, Taka. I know they do, which is what makes me being an unhinged madman with them. Really. So we're going to do this. No, no, we actually worked on this, because around this, we lost our account. I think White they talked about smile. that, too. Second Bardock movie was a shit post. Oh my god, video game quam. Stop the bass, stop the bass. Talking need clean teeth, evidently. So we lost so the account went down. 
Uh, the account went down, uh, so we had to upload this on a separate account originally. So, no joke, we went to our uh, first ever... Um, we went to our first ever convention at this point, so we actually prepared an uh, episode of uh, Bardock Father of Goku because it was our first convention appearance. So quickly, this was the first Yomacon we went to in 09, I believe it was. So it was after we had done a season, and we're ooh, we're hot commodity on YouTube, uh, Yomacon 2009. So at the same time, uh, Yomacon invited out TFS because it was found out by them that we had never actually met in person. So they're like, oh, shit. Well, we'll fly you out. Oh, yeah. And then uh, not only TFS, they also flow out Flew out a little Karibo. Oh, right. Yes, right, everybody. They flew out little Karibo, and I got to meet Martin for the first time ever. And uh, that meant the universe to me. And uh, I I could spend an hour talking about that specifically, about why, why that was it meant the universe to me. Uh, but here, no joke. While we were waiting for an event uh, backstage... Uh, at something which was like a, it was like the maid cafe they call it, where they have a bunch of girls in maid outfits and they serve you uh, shit, and it's like really nice and very polite and very classy. It's a very classy thing. Uh, so we were doing that, but they had to do it, spend a lot of time setting up because it took a while to get all the cakes set up and shit. So it ended up being myself, Lanny, and Kaiser, uh, and little and Masako, and I believe Corinne or Corinne might have been busy at that point because Corinne was there too, but Corinne might have been busy at the point. I believe White Ash was there as well who was, again, busy at the time as well, I believe, during this particular moment. So it was uh, the four of us, uh, Little, it was like Masako and, you know, uh, Kaiser, Lanny, and myself, Taka. That's who I am. Uh, little Karibo. And uh, then, who also sat at the table, were several other guests, who was kind of their second convention for some of them. Angry Joe? Linkara? In 2009, the Nostalgia Critic. Oh, yes, everybody. Doug. And we sat there for an hour and a half, first time ever a lot of us had actually ever met. And we were just having was just a big conversation about our content and stuff. We were just, just congratulating each other, going like, hey, this is awesome, guys. And you know what we decided to do? We decided to play uh, the card game from Inglorious Bastards. And the funniest thing is Linkara won the game because he had one of the ca cartoon characters. Uh, we had all these different characters. And it's like, wow. Like, they're like, all right, am I blank? No. Am I blank? No. Am I real? Ka am I fake? Eh. Am I God? Yes. Oh, okay. Takes it off. Three choice. Two choices. Done. I was like, holy fuck. So there you go. And, uh... Yeah, so we all actually met there at that convention here. So, uh, but before that, we had worked on something. And we didn't even know if we were going to get our account back. Uh, so... This is why we always talk about Twitter dying. Well, our YouTube died, essentially, because we got copyright claim due high holy hell. So, let's jump into Bardock the Father of Geeky. <laughs> now, this is me. I, I don't even know what I'm basing my voice off of here. I'm just trying to sound like a badass, I feel like. I feel like, uh, because now you go back to what I'm doing, and it sounds way better. But, again, this is pre-surgery. So, there's, like, a stuffiness to my voice. So, it's almost like I'm trying to sound cool. It's, it kind of works. It gets really better in the episode of Bardock where I'm just, I'm just a better performer. I just am at that point. Uh, this was like, when people did not see this coming either. This is, people did not see this coming. They expected another episode like, whoa, fuck, what? What are the movies? Long ago on the planet long forgotten by time, a young hero was born, a righteous Saiyan warrior. Oh, that who crop would bring size. Peace to the galaxy. This is not his story. I think Scott is using Dragon Box footage at this point now. This is the story of another Saiyan warrior who slaughtered millions of innocents eh. and brought terror to those who heard his name. And that name is. Down, 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 down. I'm just this off of you. You can survive. You've got the future in your hands. Whoa! Dreams alive. Okay, so we were looking back at it based on this. If Goku was like the age he is when we were making the show that technically Bardock would have come out in the 80s. So we went 80s with the music. 
Featuring little Karibo. See, people didn't realize what that meant yet. Now, up to this point, I mean, up to this point, absolutely nobody, absolutely, guys, guys can you not say rip the VOD, guys? Because that doesn't happen all the time, and you'll fucking know. Anyways, moving on. Jesus Christ, guys. It's like I'm trying to watch something. This will be bad! It's all gonna be on fire! No more VOD! No more VOD, Taka! No more VOD, Taka! You did one thing! No more VOD! Just, come on, guys. Fuck off. I am, I can be a bit of a dick, guys, because I have no patience for that shit. Moving on. I, I gotta, I gotta increase my volume here real quick here. Sorry, guys. If I'm coming across as an unhinged man, man I, just, I really fucking hate it when people do that tech shit and they don't know what they're talking about. Thank you. Anyways. Because it freaks out a bunch of people in the fucking chat. Be like, oh god, can I not watch the VOD? Yes, you can. That person's just full of shit and acting like they aren't. Moving on. Please don't do that, guys. I have a big thing that says do not point out tech issues and shit like that in the stream because you don't know what I'm talking about. Moving on. Anyways, have I scared you all away yet? Good. Let's move on here. This is Kaiser playing uh, Potemka, I believe his name is, if I remember correctly. Andy says 55. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I tell the guy, don't be angry, I'm just saying. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> actually, this is, memory serving me correctly, this is actually the last recording of White Ash, is she plays Celepa in this opening scene. Uh, and then I tore out his throat. Mm. Hey, Bardock, heard you another kid. Congrats. Who's the mom? So this is Kaiser is that gentleman right there. I believe that was Toma played by Gaunt, and I'm playing Bardock. I bet it's Zelipa. I see the way you two look at each other. Nah, it'd never work out between us. Why not? Are you kidding? She's a raging dyke. <sighs> not the best joke. But guess what, guys? That's coming after this. I'm right here, you asshole. And? God, this is why I hate men. Point proven. So, uh, why did we attack this rock in the first- She's clearly not a dyke. It's very- she's clearly a lady. A dyke is a series of water that's slowly going down a hill. So silly, those sayings. I don't know. The mission briefing said this planet was full of psychics. Wait a second. Doesn't that mean they can see the future? Don't th th I can hear myself trying too hard with this voice. Do you think they should have seen us coming? Just because they're psychic doesn't mean they're smart. But aren't psychics supposed to have unbelievable mental- This is Lanny, and like I need to tell you this, this is one of the best fucking jokes. I can see the future! <laughs> hey look, one survived. Oh no, they can see me! <laughs> I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Every time. It gets me every fucking time. It's the mouth. The mouth. It's it's the voice. It's the mouth. It's the context of everything. They're psychic. They, they're all psychic, but they didn't run away. I don't... It's just the fox's cloak. Everything about this is so stupid. Because like, now you can see the future, and now I'm dead. The end. Like, what? What the... None of this makes sense. This whole Bardock special doesn't make sense, guys, okay? No Bardock special has ever made sense. It's impossible to make a Bardock special make sense. Contractually obligated. It could never make sense! Doesn't that mean they can see the future? Don't you think they should have seen us coming? Just because they're psychic doesn't mean they're smart. But aren't psychics supposed to have unbelievable mental... I can see the future! <laughs> hey, look, one survived. Oh no, they can see me! I have to stop you from destroying my race! In the future! There's no facial change. We already did that. I know you do that! <laughs> now I have to kill you! <laughs> now you too, future! <laughs> I'm on fire! <laughs> I, okay. Well, that was... Weird. Odd. Hey, Berta! What do you think he meant about you seeing the future? Bardock? 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 
I eat nothing if you want me to eat the remains of that alien. There's a bunch of Ren and Stimpy music in this, which is really fantastic for what we're going for for this one. Uh, Alpha Rabbit, you dropped 1,000 bits 15 minutes ago. Thank you so much. We have way too many cannibalism jokes. Why does everyone want to eat limbs in this show? Yeah, you say that, but a lot of people want to eat limbs because a lot of these things are just fucking aliens. It's like eating another alien. It's like, yeah. Lord Frieza. Okay, so now here we are joined by three new characters in the Dragon Ball Z series. We are joined by, from left, Dodoria. Voiced by the debuting uh, Antfish, who we had met through mutual uh, contacts, and we decided to have him join us, and he crushed it as Dodoria. And we're like, boom. Uh, Kaiser had already been chosen to be uh, Zarbon for being able to nail uh, what they went for the original Zarbon. Oh, my. Now, up to this point, now, re please remember, everybody, up to this point, on our actual uh, YouTube page, we actually had our list of credits, so who was playing what. Now, there's a reason why we had to do that, and they probably talk about this on the other commentary tracks. The reason why we had to put up who's playing what character ahead of time is because we constantly were messaged and emailed about characters that were not cast yet, and people were sending their auditions completely unprompted. Yeah, why? Was Markiplier going to be boo? I don't know. People have to respond to us if they want to be on the show. Chatter Ignite. It's fine. He's busy. It's not even a shot. Uh, but that's the thing. So uh, with this, after he did a couple of bridges himself, exactly. That's how we met him. And he's just natural talent. But up to this point, Little Karibo had just been playing the narrator. So everyone, we actually, actually had it listed that uh, Lanny was set to play Frieza with a really oddly fitting Linda Young impression. Uh, which, of course, the actor actress who played Genkai in, uh, of course, Yu Yu Hakusho as well. Now, uh, it's contentious, but not everyone's a big fan of Linda Young as Frieza. I mean, she's kind of the second voice, like third voice of Frieza, technically, after the Canadian voice and, of course, the Japanese actor. So Frieza's had a series of actors over the years, and now uh, one of their performers has recently passed away as well, and rest in peace uh, to Chris Ayers. Uh, but LK, uh, this was a complete shock to everybody, and I wish we could find the video of it, but there's a, there's a video of the crowd going, <gasps> actually sharp inhaling after this. And the reports are saying that Kanasa has been seized. Thank you, Zabon. That's very good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sorry about that. I had something in my throat. Continue, Zabon. Crowd exploded in the actual crowd. when we debuted this. They're like, "Oh fuck!" And then I remember, I think it was Lanny. Lanny just Lanny just grabbed, st sat up. I think he was already standing and just grabbed Martin by the shoulders and just went, "Yeah!" Like shaking back and forth because everyone was like freaking out that Martin was playing Frieza. Everyone's like, "Holy shit!" It's a complete switch. It's not Lanny playing Frieza. It's LK. What? The lead villain's played by L the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge guy in Dragon Ball Z? Ah! Yeah, that this was like next level for everybody. Everyone was freaking out, going, "Holy fuck!" This is like the com this is like a this is like Oliver Bridging now com combining down to season two, in a lot of ways. So that's why uh, this was really fucking cool when this happened. The reports say that it was overtaken by a group of low-level Saiyans led by Bardock. Yeah, that Bardock's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> he conquers planets I mean, and doesn't, and doesn't afraid, afraid of anything. anything. Hmm. Doesn't afraid of anything, indeed. Great line. <laughs> this scene, oh my god. <laughs> what? What's going on? Is that my planet? Wait, who is... Is that my son? Mm. Where is he? Hold on. Is he befriending that alien race? Oh, I get it. He must be earning their trust before he slaughters them all. Wait. Now everything's gone dark. Is... is it over? Am I... I... <laughs> Bardock, are you alright? Your heart rate skyrocketed. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. It's just... eyes. Where am I, anyway? Alright, everybody, this is about as naked as I get until Cell. Well, you're on Freezer Planet 692. Man, you'd think with all his free time, he'd come up with better names for his planets. 
So, Lord Freezer, now that we have Kanasa under our command, what shall we- Oh, a nine. Right, right. Anyway, where's my team? Are they already on a new mission? Yes, well, it seems that Frieza passed down a new mission just two hours ago. By the way, while you're here, would you like to see your son Kakarot? Kaka what? Oh, right, his name. Nah, think I'll pass. Didn't pay attention to Raditz when he was growing up. Oh, yes, and we both know how he turned out. I love that cut. Hey there. Ah. No, that's true. That's fair. Kakarot, it's your daddy. Daddy. Let's see what kind of power level we've got here. All right. Whoa. Whoa. 10,000. That's, that's my boy. My boy. Oh, wait, wait. Broly? Oh, here we go. Kakarot. Ah, 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 ah. Two. Crap. There is no possible way this day could get any more disappointing. Okay, so uh, that was the only time we ever touched on Brawly for like 10 years. So suffice to say, everyone was really happy when we got the Brawly. Because he cried. A lot. For like, two hours. Mm. <laughs> Vamp breed! Thank you. DX129, thank you. And Worker Skull, thank you. Let's keep on going. <laughs> Bardock's going to be so disappointed. I think Bardock is the least of your concerns. Power scaling this- Why? I don't understand. We've served Frieza loyally. Seems Frieza wants you dirty Saiyans out of the picture. And I'm just willing enough to oblige him. Don't you get it? Chances are some- This, this like, Ryan Sippy music is really menacing in this scene. One day he's just going to kill you too. Yeah, well, see, I'm more of a in-the-now kind of guy. Like, what am I gonna eat now? What am I gonna kill now? And in this regard, you're probably gonna be both. You... you won't get away with this. Oh yeah? Well, tell me. That little, like, that was, that was all Scott, baby. Something. What looks like crap, feels like crap. And probably ain't gonna wake up in the morning. Is... is it me? And that's the punchline. Good cut! What a perfect Whoa, cut! looks like I'm late to the party. That was... I love that cut that that Scott did on that. It's so... It gives me like, ooh, every time. Like, ooh. You know, it's, it's just, ooh, ooh. It's just, it's so fucking good. It's menacing as fuck. That whole scene is funny and menacing at the same time. Yeah. And there's the punchline. <laughs> you don't even need to see the head. It's just like everything up to that point. This scene made Dodoria more menacing than it had every right to be. Well, Dodoria's the heater. Dodoria's essentially playing that big heavy. Where's the gang? Oh. 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 Oh, God. Guys, tell me you're just resting in the blood of your enemies. Mm. Selipa. Tatepo. Pombukin. Toma. <laughs> Present. Toma! Oh, thank God, Toma, you're okay. I'll be honest. You're the only one I really cared about. Mm. Everyone else was kind of bland. Yeah, Except for true. Selipa. She was the only one here with a decent pair of teeth. Bardock, listen. Mm. Frieza's turned on us. He's afraid of the Saiyans. He sent someone to, to take us out. Oh, God. He sent the Ginyu Force? No. Zarbon? No. Dodoria? Dodoria? Sorry. Oh. Listen, it won't end like this. We're not too far from the healing planet. We're gonna get you fixed up. We'll get you better. We'll warn everyone else, and then we'll- My best friend just died in my arms, didn't he? It's the most metal yep. origin story ever. Yep. All right. Plan B. Don't worry, my friends. You shall all be avenged. If Freeze is afraid of us, I'm gonna give him something to be afraid of. They don't know I'm still alive. I'm going to rain hot vengeance down upon every single one of those sons of bitch. Got him! All right, guys, let's hit the shot. Tell my brother to light up in. Bye, Masako. This is, this is Lanny, but it's us, us, all of us playing these characters. Oh. Where the hell is he? Keep shot. These Saiyans can pull off all kinds of tricks. You have to be very careful. Got him! Got him! Pierre! No! You dirty monkey! You're the one who killed him, you ass! 
Oh, gee, Larry, I never thought of it like that. Shut the f*** up! Man, I can't believe they lost to these guys. What a bunch of... Oh, sweet crap, not again. I don't care! Kyle, what? Oh! <laughs> I love that callback. I love that callback. That's one of my favorite callbacks. Kyle, what? Like, it's what? 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 Is that me? That's it! Now die! What the fuck? Brutal. And our Rooster Teeth reference, and we're done. I understand what I have to do now. I'm going to raise an army. We're going to rebel against Frieza. And nothing is going to stop me. What the? Useless ass psychic power. <laughs> Useless ass psychic fucking powers. Do, 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 do. Another one burst dust. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Another one burst dust. And another one gone. And another one gone. Another one bites the dust. <gasps> hey, hey. I'm gonna get, get you too. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's true. Ugh. You really do soil yourself when you die. Okay, this is a Family Guy reference, everybody. Yes, buckle up. Oh, it's everywhere. It's, it's in my Dodoria wound. <laughs> <coughs> oh, well, uh, later, guys. Off to raise that army. Vengeance. Yada yada. Yada yada. All right, little guy. Time to send you to planet Earth. I think it's pronounced Earth. That sounds stupid. You're stupid! So That's a fantastic voice effort from DJ Sexodillion. Thank you so much for the work. Oh, how did the mission go? Complete annihilation. Where are your men? Complete, Complete annihilation. annihilation. So you're absolutely sure you killed every single living thing on that planet? Complete, Complete. annihilation. <laughs> So, complete annihilation, no. huh? I'm sorry, Lord Frieza. I'll go take care of it right away. Oh, forget about it. He's already on a direct course for Planet S.O.L. Planet what? <sighs> Planet... Vegeta! I gotta warn King Vegeta. Look at all these Saiyans and Saiyan ladies. I bet they banged like crazy all the time. You guys, Frieza's going to- oh! ah! Who put that table there? Dude, Bardock, are you wasted? No, but my crew is. You smell like poo. Listen to me, we don't have much time. Frieza's on his way here and he plans to kill us all. We have to raise an army and- Your mom's an army! Got him! Got are him! You stupid, do you? Your face is stupid. Got him! hi <laughs> Do you idiots even get it? Frieza's about to commit genocide in our entire race! Your mom goes to college. Cool story, bro! <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm done! I hope you all die and go to hell! Wow, that guy's a douche! Screw them! I don't need an army! I took on those elites! Alrighty, I'm gonna sing over this pirates. song, everybody! You ready? Frieza must be, must stopped. be stopped! No matter the cost. Yes, this is like literally a straight up reference. Oh, that guy's a douche. To uh Screw them. This is straight up a reference to yes, the the Transformers movie. I don't need an Even the line Optimus Prime makes before everything. That's right. I was like, "You know what? I sh uh my character should say something that Optimus Prime said. Why? You know, for Dragon Balls and stuff." <laughs> I took on those elites. I can take on this tyrant. Frieza must, so be, must stopped. be stopped. No matter the cost. Now allow me to do that like Optimus Prime for all of you. <clears throat> Frieza must be stopped. No matter the cost. Da, da, da. You've got the touch to touch. He's got the touch to touch. He's got the power. Bardock is approaching from the planet. Waves of Freezer soldiers! It's 
reigning man. Hallelujah. Ah, let's go. Here we go, best fight scene ever. After all is said and done, you gotta move, you gotta try, your are winner. I've got the moves. I'm real happy for you, and I'm gonna let you fuck you, ye. There's no bonus move. Sir, I think he wishes to have words. Oh, whatever gave you that impression? Well, he does keep on shouting your name. Just get my freaking bubble car. Too bad. And that Bardock was such a dash Dash rogue. rogue. What? <laughs> How does Bardock breathe in space? God, okay, I swear to God, I will turn this whole show around. Okay? I will turn this whole show around if one of you guys bring up science. Okay? I play the eye voice, one of the only scientists in this show, Bardock. And as a brilliant scientist, I'm telling you that in space, there's clearly at the bottom of space, there's a bunch of trees we're getting air from. Okay? Now we're gonna fucking watch this anime and you sh- Okay? Okay. There you are, Frieza. I've been looking for you. Well, I'm not exactly hard to find. We've had enough of this. We're done working for you, Frieza. Oh, uh, just so you know, that man does not speak for us. It's funny because, like, recontextually, like, Bardock, when he was looking forward, he's like, Oh, I got an army! Dude, those are people chasing you. <laughs> we're here to kill you and take our planet for our own! Seriously, we're not with him! For years, you've kept us under your thumb. Oh, Lord, these uh, are very uh, tiny uh, speeches. Blah, 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 injustices, blah, 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 tyranny, blah, 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 Frieza, stop killing me. God, does he have any idea how hard it is to run an empire? I've got other things to do today, you know. Like decide what wine will I have for dinner tonight. White wine, red wine, or dare I say, rosé. Oh, perhaps I should give Cooler a call. His birthday's coming up. Nah, he's a prick. Wait a second, where was I? Oh, right, mass and genocide. End your miserable life, once and for all! I really. Now, take this, Frieza! The power of the, of Saiyan, the Saiyan race! race. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Average fighter, brilliant scientist, mediocre politician. I. Well, I'd say I should have seen this coming. Coming. But that would be ironic. Yeah. Yeah. I see it. My son. He. He's facing Frieza. He's gonna do it. He's going to avenge our people. But wait. Wait, there's more. Oh, hi, there's he more. Fights. A giant green bug. Love him! And then a giant pink man child. Citation needed. Oh no. It's dark again. Where? What is. Hit it! Para para! Full power pa! Full power pa! Full power pa! Down like coal milk! Raise the game! Full power pa! 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 And I now welcome the sweet embrace of death. Well, you know, that's the only GT choke we did, I think. Oh, here we go. This, oh, this was a this 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 was an interesting idea to add this in. Now I don't remember who suggested this. I think it was one of us. I don't know who remember who suggested this. I'm very glad we added this in, even though this is Kaiser playing Cooler for the one scene. And obviously we switch out the actor on that. Cooler, it seems that your brother is destroying the planet Vegeta. But technically, I'm gonna say this right now. Salza was cast to damn fish immediately. Very impressive, killing up a bunch of monkeys. Any lick at a pillbilly with a shotgun could have done that at the zoo. Wait, sir! It seems he has missed one ship! We are within range to intercept! No, let it go. But where? Because I'm a prick. And so, planet Because Vegeta I am destroyed, a prick, in fact. Along with all its inhabitants. Fuck save em. a lone Saiyan child. And his brother. And a space pirate. Yeah. And a renegade monster and his father. Yeah. And of course, Prince Vegeta. <laughs> what is it, Nappa? Well, I've got good news. 
And bad, bad news. news. Bad news is reports say our entire planet has been destroyed by a gigantic meteorite along with all its inhabitants. <laughs> but what about <laughs> We're doing it again! I just love this! It's just it's my favorite scene! It's so funny! It's just he's got hair! He's got hair! He's got hair, man! And his brother. And a space pirate. And a renegade monster and his father. And of course, Prince Vegeta! What is it, Nappa? What is well, it, Nappa? I've got good news, good news and bad news. Bad news. Well, bad news is reports say our entire planet has been destroyed by a gigantic meteorite right along with all its inhabitants. Uh, but what about... And your father. My whole family. My race. But the good news is we're going, going to, to Dairy, Dairy Queen. Queen. My entire race is gone. Dairy, Dairy Queen. Queen. Just take me to the damn Queen, Nappa. Yay. This seems like the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> oh look, someone threw out a perfect. That's a penis. Aren't you just Gotta cover the penis. Horrible. Don't look at the penis, chat. I'm gonna call you Clark. No, no, no. Hey, Clark. Nah, oh, that sounds stupid. Oh, how about Goku? Yes. <laughs> Goku, you like that, huh? Oh no! Yes, Anime Toriyama penis! Wee! Wee! Oops! Uh oh. <laughs> I love Lanny's Grandpa Gohan voice. Wee! Wee! I'll call you Clark. Hey, Clark! Oh, child, the goose of doos that fly away! And then we actually have the animation show Dragon Ball. That's what Kaiser's idea too. It's just really cute. And they fights Tien. All this shit that never actually happened. That we actually have to see. Because Tien used to be a prick. Hey guys, I will be right back while this plays. And go as I go to the bathroom. Because I got... I can pee in 30 seconds. Too fast to peeing. I was too late! My stream was too powerful. No pun intended. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. But for real though, guys, let's continue on. Where, where, where were we? One second here, guys. Can you tell? Can you tell, chat? Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? All right, one second here, guys. Hey, the Green Demon, thank you so much, everybody. Hold on one second here. So uh, we're going this in actual, like, proper order here, everybody. See, there we go. I've actually already done the commentary. We already did the commentary. It's like an, It's like a... Ah, it was just the movies were just five hours along. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's so much. We made so much stuff. All right, guys, one second here, guys. Did I wash my hands? Please, that's why I was late. No joke, that's actually why it took me a second here. All right, one second, we'll just go over here. All righty. Oh, hmm. All righty, guys, now it's time for the next episode. Are you ready to keep on going here, guys? You just realized I have ears? Huh. You just, you just realized I have ears, yeah? You just, you just realize I have ears. Okay. Do you now, huh? Okay. I'm grabbing something for you guys. Don't worry. <laughs> One second. <laughs> takes me a hot second, chat. It takes me a hot second. Murderer. I'm the miracle gangster. Murderer. The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Wait, hold on. are all owned by Funimation Toy Animation. Now, I know that the guys uploaded this three hours ago, but I was too busy gouging up with them, so now I gotta review the Christmas Tree of Might! Fuji TV and Akira Toriyama, please support the official release. Let's go! Twas the week before Christmas, and upon the earth, 
Krillin and Gohan were searching for a tree of great worth. They longed for a tree both tall and rare. And for some unknown reason, Oolong was there. Hi, Oolong. And with eyes full of wonder and faces all grins, this, my dear viewer, is where our story begins. All right, guys, sleep well. We have an early morning tomorrow to search for our perfect Christmas tree. Hey, did anyone take care of that fire? Oolong, you got that? I'm watching it. I thought you said you were watching yeah. the fire! I was. It was beautiful. Poor mm. animals. Their Christmas is ruined now. Yeah. Yeah, and now we don't have our tree. Mm. I wish there was something we could do for them. Wish? I got it. We could use the Dragon Balls. Oh, we got them all. The Dragon Balls. Woo, that was quick. Amazing how much easier this became with time. That's true. Ha, I was over in like five seconds. Ah, yes, from the Rock of the Dragon intro. Guys, so much of the Rock of the Dragon intro was footage from this movie. I'm not kidding, guys, because just the animation in this is legit good. No, no way. No, not you again. Has it even been a year? It's been one year, two months, and 15 Shut the hell up. Oh, mighty Shenron, we called you forth to help us in this dire time. As you can see... This beautiful land full of trees and life has been burned to the ground. So you want me to restore life to this desolated forest? Hmm. Hell no! I want a Christmas tree! You want... a tree? Mm. Not just any tree! The perfect Christmas tree! <sighs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll yeah. give you your tree. Yeah. I'll give you. This is like I, I'll say this. This delivery from Lenny. Yeah. Okay. Sure. It sounds like it sounds like Pete from Goofy. Oh yeah. Okay, Goofer. Okay, Goof. Okay, Goofy. I'll get you a tree. The best damn tree you've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Oh, don't thank me. Tis the season of giving. Oh hell yeah, it is. Now, I don't even remember how we wrote this. I have no memory of this. Perlis, sir. Our navigation system just... We are joined by Joshua Tomar once again, Tomar, in his second role of the show. Change course. We're en route to a new planet, Earth. Does it contain a sufficient amount of joy? According to our senses, yes. And the villain is played by Ben. Well then, Merry Christmas. I'm evil Goku. Ba -dum -bum -bum. Jingle, jingle bell, bell jingle, jingle bell, bell, jingle bell, bell. Rock the dragon, dragon, dragon ball Z, dragon. I love that. I love that so much. <laughs> you are not allowed to go camping. Why are we right, right now with them? Mom, Oolong's the one who burned down the forest, not me. I don't care whose fault it is. You need to be responsible. Remember, if you don't act like a good little boy, Santa won't bring you any presents this year. Goku, stop that, or I will deck you in the halls. Okay. He's just and we are joined now by the wonderful, the talented Hinil Nil playing the wonderful Chi Chi. That's right. Uh, one, the very, very, very talented actress has uh, stepped up uh, to play Chi Chi for us going forward. And from now to when we wrapped up working on the show, amazing. Like literally professional grade talent playing the perfect crazy mother in the best way possible. Shout out to Hinil Nil. He's going to bring you books again. He brings you what you like. And what do you like? I like books. See? He brings you what you like. We like. Well, what am I getting for Christmas? The same thing as last year, Goku. Oh, so that thing you do with your mouth? Not in front of Gohan! Not in front of Gohan! Yamcha, why did you spend all your baseball money on this car instead of buying Christmas gifts for your friends? Poor, the only gift they need is the gift of, of Yamcha. That's a non-refundable gift, isn't it? Stop, like Poor! Car. Ah! The gift of Yamcha. <laughs> Fucking love that line. It is time. Plant the tree. The tree. I. This is. It's crazy to hear this because I think this actually. When this actually happens, I think about episode 16 or 17 of our show, everyone's audio quality is so obviously better now. I think I skipped ahead a little bit. When you announce the commentary stream, in half expects you to do a commentary on Lenny Kaiser's commentary videos. Oh, don't worry, Rune. That's next time. Because I'm realizing, guys, based on my schedule right now, I'm probably not going to be able to get to Season 2 tonight because I've been going for almost five hours, and we're not even into Season 2 yet. And I scheduled six hours for this. And it is Christmas Eve, so I am going to have to go eventually. So I'm going to tell you right now, everybody, we're going to have to do multiple streams to get through the whole show. 
to talk about everything about this show. And then a completely different setup to go through all the commentary streams, everybody. So I do appreciate you all being here. But, I mean, in the end, I feel like a lot of you understand where I'm coming from on that one. But we're going to keep going for a while. We still have well over an hour. we got to keep on cranking on through here, right? And that way, I don't want to rush uh, through Season 2 because I have so much to say. I have more to say about Season 2 than Season 1, really. Uh, probably in between episodes a lot more. But this episode is, I think, a, it's canonically it's because we still have our uh we have the original yamcha actor on yamcha as well and it's just i feel like this is before we made some shifts and everything so this is a perfectly fine place to jump in here and i play one of these characters as well i wonder if uh, you can tell who it is of might the christmas tree of might. hold on here we go it is time plant, plant. the tree of might. He said it. The Christmas tree of might. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Paddle drop. Now, <laughs> let. I, 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 I love Kaiser playing that character. It's so cute. The Yuletide celebrations begin. Oh. Scott was... So, yeah. You probably already said it. Scott is stupid proud of killing that child. Kaiser Neko sent me that... Hey, talk! You want to see me kill a kid? And I'm like, what, dude? He sent me that video. He's like, ah, I got him! <laughs> um, I'm going to have to crash with you guys for a while. <laughs> crash. Like your car. Your car. Yes, Goku. Like, like my, my car. car. I can't believe the wreckage landed on your house. Neither can I. And since I put my money into the car, I'm pretty much destitute. You know, studies say that depression hits worse during the holiday season. Well, that's why the suicide rates are so high. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm glad Gohan had a cup in front of his mouth for that line. Hey, are we laughing at Yamcha? Because huh? I'm always up for that. King Kai? Is that you? I just wanted to call you up and wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh shucks, King Kai. You too. Yeah, also thought I'd tell you about the evil space pirates who are killing your planet. They say oh. what now? You see, a group of space pirates have sought out your planet, and with it are growing an evil, evil tree. See, Hell yeah. ad admittedly, this is not my favorite DBZ movie. I actually don't really care for this movie that much. I find the, the, the doppelganger Goku plot so contrived, and the fact I'm like, just design a different Saiyan. Why did he have to look like Goku? And another was like, oh, they're implying that all low-class slayings look alike. I'm like, that's stupid. <laughs> that's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. That is very stupid. It is stupid that Turles looks like Goku. It's beyond dumb. <laughs> it's literally sucking the Christmas joy out of the entire planet. <gasps> that's Disney evil. Well, the now thing is, I, I, I'm a fan of evil versions of protagonists as well, but the problem is he's not even an evil Goku. He just looks like Goku, and there's nothing to do, it has nothing to do with anything. There's no big reveal that he's actually Goku's brother or, or, or some clone. It just, no, he just looks like Goku. No explanation given. It's what's so crazy about this. It's just, it's, it's so silly. Uh, that's Disney evil. Well, that's all from here. <laughs> Let me go spike the eggnog and watch Gregor. That was my line, by the way. <gasps> that's Disney evil. I get smashed. Merry Christmas. All right, guys, group meeting. So, it turns out someone just planted a gigantic tree. Hooray, my tree! That is sucking the Christmas joy out of the entire world. I mean, oh no, who would be so dastardly? So, <laughs> my plan is we get the Dragon Balls and wish it away. Um. I'm kidding, we're gonna go blow it up. Ah! Didn't work. Uh-huh. Damn, if we don't act soon, Christmas is going to be ruined forever. Wait a minute, Tien, Chaozu, what are you two doing here? Are you Jewish? Hey, I'm just trying to be culturally sensitive, you Buddhist ass. Mm. Well, happy holidays to you, too. Ooh. I think the only course hey. of action left is to reason with it. Uh, Goku? Big tree, if you don't leave right now, I'm going to have to beat you up. Goku, trees can't talk. Why don't you come up here and try it? No one like it. I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I will say Vegeta396 is crushing it as Yamcha in this movie. Uh, pa ah, the Palantir, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See, I feel bad because a lot of these villains, like, this is where I hate DBZ movies in a lot of ways. They introduce all these cool fucking bad guys, and very rarely do they actually have a proper one-on-one -on -one fight where the heroes defeat them. You know, of all times, not to give the heroes some Ws, you know what I mean? 
I, you know, of all the times. So in this scene, we are joined by, uh, this is, okay, so the guy on the far right there is played by Purple Eyes. <laughs> It's played by Purple Eyes there on the far right-hand side there. Uh, that gentleman right there with the scouter. Uh, the big guy in the middle, of course, played by Joshua Tomar. I believe these uh, the twins are played both by Kaiser. I play whatever the fuck that thing is on the far left. The cyborg guy's me. That's my... Because I, I don't get to play a lot of... I'm not part of the main gang of heroes. So I'm usually playing the villains. So I end up playing a lot of these guys. Uh, so I play that guy over there. Uh, here we go. Let's just start up here. Who the hell are these guys? We are from the planet of misfit minions. Where all banished servants of Santa Claus are sent. We were all lost, hope forsaken. But now Turles has given us a new chance at life and, and at, at revenge. revenge. But why were you banished in the first place? Some of us did things. Terrible things. Things that some of us regret, and some of us don't. Take me, for example. I was but a humble mall Santa trying to bring children joy. So what? He's the Santa that gets on top of the guy and beat him out with, Ho, 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 motherfucker! Happened. Well, a young child asked me for a fire truck. Aww. So I dropped one in his house. Aww. Aww. And then it was my brother and I. We were once elves working at Santa's workshop. Until a robot we made to aid production went on a murderous rampage. All right, here's the 411, folks. Oh. See some gangster is oh. dissing your fly girl. You just give him one of these. Thank you, Kizunaki. Not exactly the best thing to play right there, but that's okay. Rampage. <laughs> die. See that die? That was me. I did that. That was me. I did die. That was me. Die. Literally, all I did was, oh, oh, oh. Ah, your ship leaves in the morning. Mmm, send Link, die. <laughs> Dinner. Like, the, the, you know the king? Uh, from those old, uh, oh god, what the fuck were they? Those old bad, all the YouTube poops. I wonder what's for dinner. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, that guy. Literally, I'm just doing that voice, essentially, is that guy. Die! Same thing. Yikes. Wait a minute. Sorry, I didn't mean to poo-poo your, your noise thing. It's just right during, it was for my one night in the movie. You talked to for my one night in the movie. That doesn't cover you. What'd you do? Okay, this joke is, oh man, I don't know if we make this joke again. Something so evil, I am forever on Santa's naughty list. Jeez, compared to these guys, what could you have possibly- I raped Rudolph. <laughs> Dibs on not fighting that guy. We have to save Christmas, guys. Let's go! What a thing to make purple, I say! Jenga! Battle! The great Jenga Battle Brothers! Okay, so- there's a lot of, we put a lot of references in there, but I tell you right now, guys, these villains. You mean Jing? Also, this music to this fight scene is great. Jingle Bell, right? No, Jingle and Battle. No, Jingle Bell. Jingle Battle. Jingle That's essentially because uh, what I because I made Attack on Titan abridged as well. Originally, I was gonna have I was God bless a purple eyes was gonna be playing Levi with essentially that voice. Hello, everybody. Huh? And just when he's in an outfit, he's like, I am my. He's anytime Levi's in like a maid outfit, he's playing a different character, and he thinks no one can see him because he's the best actor ever. You see, I'm a master of disguise. No one can see through my disguise. <laughs> All right, give me jingle. Bells. You know, you look like one of the kids I let sit on my lap once. Of course, he was the cancer patient. Asked me if I could get rid of his cancer. Oh, God, this is going exactly where I think it is, isn't it? So I blew him up. No more cancer. God, you are one of the worst mall Santas ever. Right behind those ones that molest kids. So I'm the worst mall Santa. Oh, come on! Ugh, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> That's me, baby. Let's go to hell. Oh, come on. Come on, damn you. Shut up, you snarling gun. Yes, take that. Yeah. Up from the intro. Agreed. Agreed. I'll make you pay like the rest of them. I love this! I just loved it! I loved it! I love that this was happening the whole time. It's just like, ah, you're one of the elves! I will get revenge! Santa Claus lover! Santa Claus, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Did I just 
this smash with Krampus? <laughs> Where are the others? Was that the Krampus? <laughs> too late to go caroling. Oh, hey, Dad. What's with the ghetto? Dad. It's not Halloween. It's Christmas. Christmas? I hate Christmas. You're not my dad. Immediate. I hate gingerbread houses. I hate presents and toys. I hate reindeer and all of the good girls and boys. I hate the Who's down in Whoville and all of their songs. I hate their wumpets and flumpets and gooback for bras. I hate carols and sleigh rides and fa la 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 las. But above all things else, I hate Santa Claus. No, talk shit about Santa! You're shit about Santa! Aren't you? How lucky you were to never suffer my injustice! <laughs> However, after my tree is done with this planet, you'll be left with no L to speak of. <laughs> what? Who's there? Bitch, you look like Goku. And you look like a Yoshi. I get that. Now hand over the kid. Oh. Fucking love it. I, I'm sorry, I bitch, you look like Goku. <laughs> bitch, you look like Goku. And you look like a Yoshi. I get that. Now <laughs> <laughs> Fucking great. I'm the, here we go. Are you guys ready for this? Now hand over the kid. Oh, you want this kid? I want him. You want this kid? I want him. You want this kid? I want him. You want, you want? I want that kid! Hi, Mr. Piccolo. Merry Christmas. Mr. Piccolo. Ugh. Yeah, you're gonna stay right there. Now, how about I show you? That was a reference to a very old shit post of Harry Partridge, everybody, because that's the kind of human we were doing. A little trick I learned. If I put pressure down on this part of... Is that... Was that reference to the, the Flash? It was totally a reference to the Flash animation, because that shit was funny. You're back. <laughs> Your tail oh. grows back. I didn't know that. And look. <laughs> look into your eyes! Bethlehem. You know what that means? Jesus is born? Yeah. Only instead of Jesus, it's a giant monkey. I don't see the power. Oh, he's Oh, man. Remember when this happened all the time? About this, I might not get mouth present. Now, what will you do? Son against father. Father against son. In a battle to the death. Well played. See, what? In the future, we'll travel to incredible places with the help of magical technology. <laughs> like, the animation's so crisp, but such a weird plot that doesn't, like, the idea of a giant tree sucking the energy, it's all fine. It's just the guy looking like Goku adds nothing to the plot and just, it's just further oh, confusion. Oh, he's not just further confusion. Anyway, whatever. Who gives Space a shit? Charity. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Funimation, Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Okay, so my head cannon. you want to know what mouth present is, everybody? It's literally Chi Chi giving Goku a raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. All right, one of you personally fly up here, drive to my, where I live, and personally f explain to me how I'm supposed to click through everything and log into something when I'm logged into a browser source. Oh, you don't know how to do that. Oh, so you're just yelling. Okay, cool. cool continuing on. It's okay, Gohan. You're safe. Now go to sleep. And in the morning, Santa will have brought all of your presents. No worries, Aaron Jesus. Presents, I mean books. Dang it. Savor this moment, Kakarot. It will be the last one you ever have with your son. <sighs> he knows my Saiyan name. So you must be Vegeta. Wait, you think I'm... Billy Vegeta. It's not Halloween. <coughs> it's Christmas. Take that costume off. I'm not Vegeta. I'm just another Saiyan who escaped the destruction of our planet. Oh. Man, that means he's like an evil me. Only, he doesn't have a goatee. I'm gonna imagine one. Mm. So evil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now it's just down to you and me. Yes, me and you. Oh, and my five misfit minions. But what about my friends? We all had eggnog and Christmas fudge. Like, legit, not a single one of Goku's friends defeated these guys. I hate this part of the movie. Like, it bugs me that not a single one of the Z Fighters actually won a one-on-one -on -one fight against these guys. It's so stupid. Really? Nope. Wasted them like figgy pudding. You never waste thing. figgy pudding! Never waste it! <laughs> and they're dead. The, the, the end. Smash the Krampus? They're this all gone. Has gone on long enough. 
You don't even understand why I'm here, do you? All I heard was, look at me. I hate Christmas because I'm a big jerk. And who wouldn't be a big jerk after the injustices I suffered? On planet Vegeta, we heard all about all the other planets that Santa would visit. We heard mm. of the joy he brought children, of mm. the presence, of the merriment that I was denied. Planet Vegeta never got Christmas. No, all we got was Frieza Day. Mm. Well, what'd you get for Frieza Day? He blew our planet up. That's sad. Sure. But I still can't let you steal the joy from Earth. Hold that thought. Tree's done. What? See, these fruit hold all the joy from Earth. When I eat it, I will gain Earth's joy. Why are you so evil? Deal with it. Turles ate of the fruit, and so they say, his power level grew three sizes that day. That's not good. Great remix. Now, denounce your faith. No! Denounce your faith in Santa Claus! Never! Well then. I believe you, Ronan. Ah, humbug. <laughs> well, now that that's over, time to plan a bitchin' New Year's party. Uh, uh, oh, I gotta do that too, actually. New Year's no. Eve, everybody. Christmas. 12, year stri 12 hour stream. Again. Two year anniversary on New Year's Eve, everybody. Summon up energy. Goku. It is I, the anointed saint, the spreader of love and peace. <laughs> oh, wow. It's... Yes, it is I, Santa. <gasps> you must defeat him, Goku. Kyla Bear is Santa. You are the only one who can. But he's got all of Earth's joy. He's too powerful. No, Goku. The joy is within your heart. <gasps> <laughs> You're right. Now kick his ass to the North Pole and back. Yes, Santa. What the hell? What is this sudden burst of joy? This is Christmas, Melon Farmer! Yeah! No! So much joy! Really good death tree from Ben there. Melon farmers, how is that? It's snowing. That's a censored way of saying motherfucker. But it's yellow. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the and the sky is so, is so delightful. delightful. And since we've no place to go, oh yeah. Snow, let it snow, let it snow. Let it snow. Too bad that Trillis was such a Scrooge. You would have happily shared our Christmas with him. You know, the sad part is, I always tried to visit Planet Vegeta. Problem was, they kept trying to shoot down my sleigh. Bummer. Now, I'm off to deliver my presents. But thank you for saving Christmas. Anytime, Santa. Bye! Ho, 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 ho! Merry Christmas! Ho, 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 ho! Wait a second. If that guy wasn't Vegeta, where is Vegeta? This is so non canon, it hurts. <laughs> Vegeta! Tonight you will be haunted by three goblins! <laughs> and they're all me. I. God damn it, I hate Christmas. And they will all be me! <laughs> It's the best time of the year. I've They're all me doing random characters. Would you like to see some of my wacky character like Nappa and the father of Nappa, which is me with a deeper voice? Hi there, I'm Nappa's dad. And I'm Nappa's mother. No. We got books. Lion Dragon. He, he was dead. He was killed, though. We killed him off. We killed him off, though. Oh, ooh, that did not work out. That's true. Uh, that as well. Mm. Ah, that's true. Piccolo also was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
Ya. Jolly Christmas, yes. Thank you all my guest stars on that, guys. This year. What's the last joke? That's true, guys. We're not ending it there, though, guys. We still got more stuff we gotta watch here, cause we, uh, cause I still got like another hour with you guys. You know, I really do. This, I feel bad. This special wasn't my favorite, but a lot of people really love it. Uh, so, um. You know, it's just really cool that it worked out that way. Um, one second here. I gotta go grab something else here, folks. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Where is it? Actually, hold on. Hold on. All right. All right. I got something, guy. I, okay, guys. I got something here. Here you go, guys. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Excellent. We'll just... We're, this guy, finally. Episode 11. Episode 11. Episode 11. This is what we were waiting for, guys. Folks, are you ready? Are you ready for episode 11? Chat, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? I said, chat, are you ready? Are you? Holy shit, chat. I don't think you fucking handle it. I don't think you're prepared, chat. I just don't. Oh, shit. Oh, I was playing it the whole time. Motherfuck. All right, well. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Oh. Great. Well, let's. All right. Come on. Come on. There we go. This is a parody official release of Porta Curatoriama. You're an alien. I'm an alien. Am I an alien? Probably. Where's my brother? I don't know. Then you're useless to me. <laughs> Ten seconds, we're halfway through episode one. That's abridging. That's how you do it, folks. That's how you do it, baby. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Ten seconds, halfway through episode one. That's how fast it should have been the first time. Let's go. Hell yeah. I have a kid. I'm socially awkward. He's adorable. <laughs> Bang. I'm here for my brother. Am I your brother? Yes. I'm taking your son. No, you're not. Ah, he took my son. I'm here to help you. Aren't we enemies? Nobody watched Dragon Ball. Let's go. Are you? Okay, so in 30 seconds, we're done episode one. Are we Yoshi? Hells yeah. Give Hells yeah. Son. Gross. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Piccolo, get him. Mechagon, Sapalapaka. Double kill. Dominating. I am the dead. Bleh. Oh, Goku's dead. And Apple, let's go to Earth. Ballin. Ballin. Oh, more Saiyans. I'm taking Gohan. Hi, maggots. I'm training you. I'm terrifying and a potential rapist, but I'll never say it flat out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, we're one minute in now, guys. We still let's keep going. Who are you? I'm King Kai. You now know the Kaioken and the Spirit Bomb. Fuck off to the Bojack. Twelve months have passed. Let's go fight Saiyans. Oh God, it's the Saiyans. Hi. Yamcha's here. <laughs> Yamcha's dead. Nappa, get him. I am hilarious, and you will quote everything I say. <laughs> okay, now that I did. Okay, guy. I. I, I, I <laughs> Fuck! I love that line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only serious character in this show. That's the joke. Oh True. God, everyone's dead. Hilariously derailing. Derailing one-liner. Goku's here. Goku's here. It's over nine thousand. Because I'm a monkey. Kyle Ken. Kyle what? Oh no, I'm not a monkey. Oh no, the kid's a monkey. Destructo kids. The fuck? Hey, no! Leaving now. And we'll never see him again. They'll see me next episode. And I'm a ghost. Or, or am I? This has how many subscribers? <laughs> 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 I love that joke. I love that joke so much. Thank you, Martin, for being willing to record that way. Okay, how, how many people like this? What? <laughs> it's the idea of the... No, there's no way. There's no way. That's just good shit. That's, 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 that's good stuff right there. All right, folks, let's jump into another one here, because that's over... I was really done quick. So now we got a... All right, let's jump over here to... Ooh. Team Four Stars account. Yes, right. Yeah, that's right. Go over to ooh playlist. We gotta go down. 
Got to play it like we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. That's right, everybody. If you didn't know about Yu-Gi-Oh, well, now you do, baby. -do. That's right. indeed do. All right, everybody. I think I might do one more video with all of you. I think I might actually wait on starting season two, uh, which means I'm kind of doing the movies first, which I can talk a little bit more about that as we go on here. Just because I'm wondering, because I feel like if I start season two, uh, if I start season two, it's like, it's going to go on for like eight hours. I don't have time for that. Do season two another session. So what I am going to do... Ah, shit. I don't know what to do here. Uh, I don't know what uh, I don't know what to do here in this scenario here because I feel like, ooh, Hipple. Ah, uh, we could watch Hipple, but that's also way ahead of time. Better to hold on season two to start fresh. Yeah, we're already five hours in. That's true. Yeah, but I actually have a schedule. Sunglass case. So, so uh, yeah. Outtakes. I think I honestly, I'm considering Lord Slug. I'm really, I really am considering Lord Slug. But the, the truth of the matter, why I'm hesitant on Lord Slug. Uh, outtakes? I don't... What the fuck video are you talking about? <laughs> the Halloween video? Oh, God. I actually should just... Hold on. Let me just... Mysteries are bound, made of a deep energy. Energy foes all around. Oh, I can go careless and free. Uh, see, Lord, I can't do those movies because we did those movies later on after season two. So this is where, what's an interesting thing for me is Dead Zone technically was done after season two because we went back and redid the original movies that Neighborhood Cluck did. Uh, we went back and reworked them again, which is, uh, in my opinion, good. Uh, the original ones are okay. Uh, man, do I like the, the um, definitely like the different version of Garlic Jr. Uh, did we do Joel's song this later on? Is Lord Slug because of Lenny remark about you singing Armstrong? Uh, you singing the Armstrong song? That is funny that I matched it, though. If you really think about it, it's just hilarious that I nailed it. It's like, no, that's what we're looking for. I see for myself what a wonderful world. Alrighty, guys. You know what? All right, cool. Again, guys, I'm not doing out of sequence here. All right? I, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. So I got to like, how the fuck do I look for this properly? Oh, Jesus Christ. How do you how do you search for shit on here? Do, like, do I want to like, like, okay, recently uploaded? No, I want to like go by. Ha! Okay. Anyways, guys, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. One second here. One second here. Let me, let me try and figure this out here. Let me try and figure this out. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, one second here, guys. Let me try and find this here. Ugh, this is hard to find. I'm digging through our old YouTube channel right now, guys. I really, it's what I'm doing right now. And now they have them in proper order, but that's not how we released them. We, re we did not release them in proper order. That's just, that's just the truth of it. Technically, I think we even released Lord Slug before Bardock. Am I remembering correctly? No, we didn't release Lord Slug before Bardock. Let's, I pulled a shit on that one. Everybody, we're going to watch Lord Slug. All right, I've decided it's Lord Slug. All right, baby, we're going into Slug. Okay, let me talk about Lord Slug real quick, everybody. Okay, okay. So now, before we jump into this, folks, before we jump into this, okay? All right, before we jump into this. My first day? Who you after? We're making a ton of new shows and movies here. No, it's Uma, it's Uma Thurman. All right, everybody, okay. Now, 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 so it's season two. This is a season two movie, okay? But we're going to jump ahead here, because once I sit down with season two, we're just going to watch that end to end and then watch the cooler movies, okay? But right now, I'm just going to jump in here because this is also kind of Christmas-themed. So, all right, so this movie's interesting. A lot of the movies uh, I noticed, because One Piece also falls into this pattern, not all the time, but I've noticed that it tended to be like they would have almost like a... Uh, 45 minutes to 50. These DBZ movies are not an hour and a half or two hours long. These movies are 50 minutes long. They're like a really long episode of DBZ. Okay? So one thing that's really weird to this, Slug does have nail in it. I'm, I'm, I'm aware, guys. I'm aware, guys. So this is one of my favorite movies uh, because uh, when I first watched it, I watched uh, the original dub, which <laughs> essentially um, featured the music of... Of course, one of my favorite alt-rock bands of all time. Yeah, that's right, everybody. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It features Disturbed, mm. which I am, too. I was always a fan of the song Stupefied, so when that kicked up in the fight scene, I was like, holy fuck! 
Waiting my life for us, just one. Rock. Just one. Rock. It was actually synced up oddly well to the fight. And one of the reasons why people fucking love. So a lot of people hate these dubbed movies because all the Japanese audio is ripped out and it's all replaced with like copyrighted music, which is legit. And they did that all the way up to Broly where they got Pantera and then they. Stop doing it because they probably blew their money on that one. But through, so so essentially through these fall, I think Breaking Benjamin's in the Cooler movie at one point too. Like it's pretty trippy to see some of these licensed music. So I was always a massive fan of this movie because of how they dubbed it, and also this was before everything became, I'd say power. I, I feel like power blast because like the Cooler movie kind of becomes that. There's some good fighting in that movie. But uh, this one still has some physical hit. And this also featured one of my fucking favorite jokes we have ever written. And that is the, please don't break my arm. No. And then the subsequent fight with that guy. So we're going to jump into this movie. Probably the last video of today. We're going to do a season. We're going to do season two. Uh, and I will announce that with plenty of notice. Probably before the new year. But maybe not. I have to look at my schedule here, guys. It's, it's Christmas Eve. My mom is messaging me wondering where I am, why I'm not up there with the family for Christmas. It's because I'm going over work. I did 13 years ago so I can have a good Merry Christmas with you. Anyways, guys, let's. what, what you're saying is the movie Bleed, Dubs Bleed 90s. Oh, yes. This one is the most bled of them all. So let's jump right into it, everybody. I'm Profit Fan Base Parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Funimation, Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Now, when originally... Now, here's the thing, guys. Now, I'm going to tell you some more information here. Originally, I was set to play... Um, true story. I was actually set to play um, uh, Captain Ginyu. Originally. My original casting was Captain Ginyu. Uh, in the end, we did an audition for that. And we, we, shuffled, we shuffled our whole cast list, essentially. Uh, I was originally going to play Raccoon and uh, Captain Ginyu. Uh, in the end, Antfish played Captain Ginyu, which was just a better idea. And Raccoon was played by Gon Shing Ba, which was also pretty fucking awesome. Now, the reason why that happened was originally I was going to be playing the first form of Cell, but not the other form. So we decided to, like, uniform me to play all forms of Cell to keep that consistent throughout. And uh, in the end, but to do that, because we were realizing in Season 2, we had to kind of plan ahead. The problem is, uh, my second form self, my second form, like, I was going to play Raccoon. I was going to play Raccoon like this. Uh, we're all having a fight. We're all here. Yeah. Uh, who wants to go out with me? Yeah. yeah. Who wants to go with me? Yeah. Well, it was really, when I was doing my, like, second form self, it was very similar. It was, I was doing a similar thing to the voice. It was like, yeah, let's go. And I realized we were kind of going... A King Kong Bundy Raccoon, essentially. Very Stallone. And yeah, that's what I was going to go very Stallone with it. And unfortunately, that kind of ran aground. Uh, it kind of really did run aground of what we were all originally kind of going for. Uh, ran aground with like second form of cell. Just because of the, the, the uh, this part here. It was, we were worried about it running aground. Now, also with Captain Ginyu. I was going to make Captain Ginyu this way. Yes, Lord Frieza. We are more than happy to bring you the special balls. I will now do for you, Lord Frieza, the dance of joy. Like, I was going to play Captain Ginyu, very similar, but the thing is, it sounded too much like Cell. So we're like, all right, we can't have you play both characters like that. That's too close. A similar voice for a similar character. Uh, yeah, so one of the things we decided to do, so we, uh, so in the end, we switched up all the entire cast in that regard. Now, at the same time, we realized that Captain Ginyu in the dub and Lord Slug in the dub have the same voice actor, Bryce Armstrong, who had passed away, and I asked if I could do a Bryce Armstrong voice, which is very gritty, very gritty. And he's like, Bleh! So what you're about to hear is a voice that I will never do again. This physically cut me up. I could attest to this, and Scott probably talked about this too. I had to do this in separate recording sessions to play Captain, uh, to play Lord Slug, because of how guttural and how much my cords were ripping up doing it. Uh, so this kind of little bit of nods of Bryce Armstrong, rest in peace. Uh, fantastic villain in this movie. And yeah, let's jump right away here, guys. All right, now hear me out. So I fire the special beam cannon with one hand, right? Yeah. What if I used two hands? Ooh. You mean like the Kamehameha? No, not like the Kamehameha. So technically this movie came out right after he fused with Nail. I believe this was right after, you know, Freeze is running amok a little bit here. I'm doing to end on this one, because that way we won't derail, or we might even do it again next time. Who fucking knows, guys? But thank you all for being here for this six-hour stream.
It means a lot. My ha, the Kamehameha doesn't drill things. Mm. Last time I checked, neither do cannons. That's what, what makes, makes it, it special. special. Hey, Mr. Piccolo, look what I found. It's Our first appearance of Icarus, and then continuing our joke of killing off Icarus each movie. If you hadn't noticed, Icarus dies every movie Icarus is featured in. The dragon. Who's that? It's just Gohan. If you ignore it, it'll go away. He's a Western-style dragon. I taught him how to dance. Show him, Icarus. So do you just ignore all of your problems? No. Some of them I invite to live in my head. Well, I'm sorry. It's just that there's so much space in here I didn't think you'd... Oh my god, what the hell is that? Oh, I don't know. It's like someone's torturing a freaking cat. <laughs> what? Mr. Popo, are you torturing a cat? Oh, come on, Kami. I don't torture cats. <laughs> Jinx! Jinx! Bitch, shut up! Ready, <laughs> get stop! Go on, I'll carve you like a pumpkin! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> we had this joke that Mr. Popo bangs jinxes all the time. <laughs> He's just on the lookout banging jinxes. <laughs> jinx! Jinx! Because they look like they look like Mr. Popo. And that's our joke. Yep. <laughs> Back before they made Jinx purple. Yep. I'll kill it. <laughs> oh shit! I can't believe they stopped us now! We were stopped! Okay, we were copyrighted. Honey, good news. I love Ben as Dr. Briefs. I've isolated the Gagey. Now we'll finally be able to make it through Manhattan at a decent time. I knew this combination telescope microscope would come in handy. Also, there's a giant media coming towards the planet. Quick! Get me Bruce Willis, Steve Buscemi, and Aerosmith. <laughs> what about Ben Affleck? What about bacon? So if I blow this meteor up, I get bacon? Why am I Mr. Pink? Okay, so everything about these if you're not following along with these jokes, you're very lost. <laughs> Why am I Mr. Pink? Because he's Steve Buscemi, and that's his line in Reservoir Dogs. There you go. There's the only two available is Krillin and Goku, I guess. It'll work. <laughs> no. No, my baby! And this is the begins the start of many uh, actually this is the second intro we did. Oh yeah. Scott made it sure after the Christmas tree of mine that every movie had a really cool uh, title drop. Good news is we're not dead. And hey, the city's okay too. Hell, there's even a new building. <laughs> That's no building. That's, That's a space, space station. station. What the heck do you think's inside? I bet it's Jesus. Oh, I'm calling Jesus. You heard it here, folks. I said Jesus. Hey, fish are so funny. It's Jesus. Hi, Jesus. Okay, guys, move out. This is easy pickings. It's not you, Aaron Jesus. Look, everyone, it's Jesus' death army! Something about what I just said doesn't sound right. Inhabitants of Earth, prepare to be conquered in the name of, name Lord, of Lord Slug. Slug. Jesus. That's humanity. What the hell is going on? <laughs> open fire. Oh, there's open fire. There's open fire. There's open fire. Ew, shoot! Why is the process of terror? And this is a series of other abridgers playing a lot of these characters. There's so many people to catch, keep up with here. I can't even get, grab them all for you guys. Freezing the planet taking so long. You could just say terra freezing process. Terra freezing the planet sounds redundant. Well, why is it taking so long? Because apparently someone needed a uh -huh. English lesson. You listen here. King Piccolo is on borrowed yeah. time. We. Uh, oh. I, I, oh, I am so sorry. That was a total slip up on my part. Please forgive me, King Piccolo. I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> now, this this joke's missed if you don't know. So essentially, the entire plot of this movie is the plot of King Piccolo. Uh, the, the arc in Dragon Ball, where King Piccolo had his army, uh, tried to get, he didn't get immortality, he wanted, he wanted eternal youth, which is exactly what like Slug orders. It's, like, it's the same fucking shit. It's the same notes of the story. How long will it take? Well, King Piccolo, I believe it will take. No, wait, I said it because he did. I said it because he did. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lord Slug, it is my humble opinion, Lord Slug, that it will take three days, Lord Slug. Go, Team Slug. 
Thank you, Lord Slug. <laughs> Your Vicodin? In the bowl next to you. <laughs> This is this is voiceover, everybody. Oh, Acting. Look at him go. I bet you thought I was really here. Acting. Oh God! All I see is blood and blood. It's such a great one-liner. I love this. And I wait. Okay, this next scene. Chi Chi should have done this every fucking movie at some point, where she just beats people up because it's bullshit. Chi Chi never got a fight. You see, just because I'm a woman, that actually lasted longer than I expected. Mom! 90s Dragon Ball boys. Oh, my hat. Oh, well. It's a good thing none of these guys know what a Dragon Ball is. Okay, so what I did was, I, it could be completely, like, the voice I was doing for Slug was completely inaudible sometimes. Like, it was like, I would just try and hit, like, at least a third of the word. Like, you can kind of know what I'm roughly saying. I'm actually mumbling his legit lines every time. Like, you can't even get it out because he's so old and ancient. So, a lot of people found the mumbling funny, which I was really happy with, because I think we were a little bit worried when we first did this. Ah, so long ago. Crap baskets. Let me go, you crazy man! Stop right there! I I, I, I'm actually saying shit, and also, Bulma legit does this in the movie. She legit says, well, good luck finding the Dragon Balls unless you got that! And just pulls out the radar, I'm just like, you stoop, you st oh my god. King Bacon! Leave now, or I will use my voodoo powers on you! You look like a twat. You're talking to the pig, right? I'm talking to you, yes. So, so that's Falero, the new voice of uh, Yamcha going forward. But Falero is playing uh, this wonderful guy here. Oh, I am at least an eight. <laughs> what? You know what the Dragon Balls are? <laughs> And you want to mm. collect all seven? Mm -hmm. Well, tough luck, Jolly Green Jackass, because I'm the only one here with a radar to find them. Oh, my God. That's, of course, drawn in, but my God, she actually does that. She actually does it in this show movie, guys. It's just like, what? We're really just skipping ahead here, aren't we? Just, good God in heaven. And just slug just like, holy shit. Thank you. Meta Matcha. Meta Matcha, played by uh, Kaiga, uh, uh, the voice actor who did a bunch of bit work for us. He's so great as this villain. Probably his best voiceover performance, at least in our stuff that we've ever seen. <laughs> Oh, you know exactly what I'm saying with that one. Damn it! Oh, it's a Simpsons reference. Oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. When Grandpa Simpson's making fun of Homer bitching. Oh, bitch, bitch, bitch. Thank you. Thank you. Shaz, my bot, guys. I got a Dragon Ball. I got a Dragon Ball. I got a rock. Get it? Okay, thank God this was done, by the way. Thank God this was done, because this was hurting me. Something bit there. Like, I don't even know if I got to the end of this. I think we actually had to do multiple recording sessions, and not more, not two, but, like, multiple beyond that, because after about f five to seven lines of dialogue, uh, my voice would be shredded with this voice. <laughs> Something seems really familiar about this. Ah, yeah. uh, it doesn't matter. Your wish is granted. Force <laughs> 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 the Almighty has returned! 
Uh, I will admit, when this came out, everyone's like, oh, the villain's Nappa. I'm like, ah, damn, I was trying my best to not make him sound like Nappa, but I get why he sounds like Nappa. So there you go. I use my strength. I am impeccable, impeccable singing, singing voice. voice. Here we go, folks. Come on, sing it, me. Ten years ago. I see trees of brown and skies of black. And, and I, I say to myself, myself, what a wonderful world. <laughs> I see land so brown and skies of black, and I sing to myself, what a wonderful world. Yeah, that's right, guys. What a wonderful world. I wonder, chat. What? Where am I? That meteor kicked your ass. Turns out it was full of bad guys, too. Who knew? I love that line read from Scott. It's so great. Turns out it was full of bad guys. Who knew? Wow, I must have been out for a while. It's all snowy. I know, right? It's almost like... It's Christmas! It's not Christmas, though. That's what's funny about this. It's really a shame how hard it is to... First, Ic second Icarus death... There he is, everybody! If you always miss this, that's Icarus's dead fucking corpse! Pick fucking clean! <sniffs> Moving on. Find food with all the animals dying. Yes, we just have to make do with what we have. Gohan, dragon soup's ready! It's finger licorice good! Ah! Bulma! Gohan's missing! <laughs> and so is the outfit Piccolo gave him! <gasps> and Red Dot's on Netflix! Wolverine! <laughs> you Hundred. Ooh. Wolverine? Wolverines. Alrighty, stop on the little kids. And here comes a wrestling reference from me and Nick. Yeah. Oh. Uh, 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 what? 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 Oh hell yeah! Follow the sea water. Right, what's your gimmick? Gimmick? Yeah, like. This is one of my favorite scenes we have ever written in this show. Okay. Okay, everybody, this is one of my favorite scenes because, like, we obviously you watch the show enough, you watch DBZ enough, you're like, ah, it seems like the bad guy shows up and he has, like, three, like, bill enemies. Three guys, like, the big guy, like, the, like, the weird one, and then a really pretty one. Always. There's always these three. It's always these three. And it, oh, and especially in this context for the Lord Slug movie. Now, I'm going to tell you right now before we get into this, uh, the big, tough, stupid one is voiced by Shaz, my bot, who's one of the main writers of the old... Uh, Gundam Abridged. He does such a good job in this scene. And I feel bad this is the only character he plays for us. Because he literally nailed the best fucking joke we've ever done. It is. Because of that one scene. Here we go. Baka! 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 The Texas Rattlesnake is here! Let's jump! Alright, what's your gimmick? Gimmick? Yeah, like the last guys. They were all misfit minions and crap. What are you? We're just here for your planet. Your planet. Though if I had to choose, I'd say I'm the pretty one. Eh, six out of ten. You sassy, sassy bitch. bitch. That makes you the weird one with the freaky power. I can spawn mini bees. Mm. Spectacular. And that would make you, no doubt, the big, tough, stupid one. You take that back or I'll kill you. All right, all right. You're not tough. That's better. Wait, didn't you? Give him a minute. <laughs> one. I just love that. Take some. It's see, I actually, when we were talking about like we could have like an ad for your channel, I actually said that this entire scene should have been the ad for the show, our show, because this scene is probably the best use of footage we've ever had. It's so fucking funny. This is my favorite joke. This is simply put one of my favorite jokes in DBZA we ever do. I know that's just a Zori design. Don't worry about it, guys. Stop, stop fucking pointing, pointing fingers in this. Now, I'll enjoy this next joke. Oh, now, that truck is not your eating disorder. You're a penis! So long since you've seen yours that you don't even recognize one, do you? Please don't break my arm. No. I love it. God, I love that. God, I love that joke. 
I just love. Oh, it's just so great. It's just perfect. So it's perfect. I've seen yours that you don't even recognize. The animation is crisp. The fighting is still not about. It's still not about energy. It's still about physical martial art power. And here we go. One, do you? Please don't break my arm. No. <laughs> You bastards! Damn you, Tom Cruise! Okay, we're doing this again. Okay, so when we were watching this, I mean, I think Lanny talked about this, but we realized that they used the same exterior shot of this one space in the city for uh, two parts of a fight, and we realized we could actually loop them together. And we realized, wait, we could just have this be the same scene. It's the same fucking shot. Just taken from two different contexts. They're flipping this acid essentially. We could reflip it differently. So this is why this joke is amazing. Uh um, no. Hey, here we go. The weird animation of those things coming. He thinks he's so great. I'm gonna show him. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> All right, go for the left. He won't see me coming from the oh, side. Fine. Oh wait, down here, catch him off guard! Hey, how's it going? Oh hey, I'm just waiting for that green jerk so I can surprise him. Neat. Yeah, he'll never see a cup. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so for, for those who don't know, know, who've never seen this fucking movie before, essentially, when you cut to, uh, like, legitimately, it's it, it literally is two separate versions. Uh, it's two, it's that, okay, that was the best. It's just so funny. It's so funny because this is the footage is perfect. Like we could never have asked for a fucking scene better. We wish we had more shit like this. We wish we had so much more footage like this where it just has different things happening at the same shot so we could like fucking chop them up here. So essentially what we did is we, instead of having the in-between scene for that, because there was an in-between scene, we just smacked them right up next to each other. We're like, no, 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 no. Don't have him do the whole thing because there's a, there's a scene actually where he goes inside the building in the actual anime, and he's like waiting there in guard, waiting for like Peccolo to jump down. Hey, he won't even see me coming when I grab his leg. <laughs> Peccolo appears behind him. Oh no! And it cuts to the outside, and then the explosion hits instead. It, 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 the whole inside part of the fight, you just skip. We were able to skip it and just boom, like that. Voila, this is one of my favorite jokes we've ever done because the footage just worked with us. So we're going to do this again one more time because that was so funny. And yeah, here we go. One more time, one more time. He thinks he's so great. I'm gonna show him. <laughs> All right, go for the left. He won't see me coming from the side. Oh, God, God damn it, it's not coming. I'll wait down here and catch him off guard. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, I'm just waiting for that green truck so I can surprise him. Neat. Yeah, he'll never see it come. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> All right, look. This is I know so cold. We said some things, but I'll bet if we just talk to each other a little. We could become friends. What do you say? High five? Down low. Uh. Too slow. Boom! Head fucking shot! Alright, baby, it's come back to Papa! I this is so this I fucking love this movie. I love this movie, guys, because like Piccolo is just such a badass. One more time. Down low. Uh. Too slow. Ooh. Alright, baby, it's come back to Papa! It's Daddy's turn to get a shot at him now. Thanks, Piccolo. The boss is gonna love this. Oh God, I love this. <laughs> My skin is so f smooth. <laughs> I. What I love about that is he's like, my skin is so fucking smooth. It's clear that I'm saying fucking He's like dragging out the, uh, not fucking smooth, it's fucking smooth. <laughs> to finish them off. Ow. Papa Metamacha gonna make you his bitch. I love that line. <laughs> Papa Metamacha make, make you his bitch. Who the hell? <laughs> Look, another couple of putzes to knock around. This should be fun. What, bitch? I'm talking to you! I will smack you with my dick! Don't worry, <gasps> Gohan. I'll save Christmas. But it's not Christmas. Then why is it why snowing, is it snowing Gohan? Gohan? Checkmate! Not to be rude, but we've got better things to do. Yeah! We're gonna take your planet and steal Christmas! 
Does he mean Frieza Day? What the hell's a Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Oh, I don't give a sh what Christmas is now. I just know I'm going to kill it, and then my little matches are going to rape it. Nobody rakes Christmas. <laughs> Nobody rakes Christmas. Suck and die, boy. <laughs> what? Hmm. What, what, what to, to do? do? And that's how I save Christmas. Again. <laughs> Movie hit credits. Again. <laughs> I just love the well the thing is lots of just smack. Hmm, what to do? I can almost see him like tapping his chin going, hmm, what to do for this? Ha, huh? what will I get out, out of this pickle? <laughs> well, that was unnecessarily brutal. How about them? They can live. Or not. God, we got this soldier to here like cop copy paper. paper. If you want the government or the church, get the f off my property. Which, considering I now own this rock, is effectively everything. I am never doing a voice like this ever again. Ever again, because this shit hurted. I remember recording this. It hurted. Don't worry, Goku. Just sit on back and let Krillin handle this one. Oh my god, this is going to be amazing. And record. <laughs> no, we actually had a debate, I remember, about the Krillin own count, because, like, dude, he gets slapped backhanded away by the main villain. It's like, well, if we start doing that, then it's like, if we start having that one count, then people have to watch the movies to understand, otherwise they're going to be missing a count, so we decided to just, <coughs> no, no, uh, no, oh, Krillin owned count in the movies. It, it, made, it made it too convoluted. It made it way too fucking convoluted. Um, so we decided to, you know, just n nix it and keep it only to the show. Yeah. It, 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 the worry was that it was just, it was going to cause way too much fucking confusion. Like, oh, what does it make sense? What is that? It's like, well, no, no. Think of the movies as like a, almost a separate canon because literally some of the movies don't make sense. They, they fundamentally do not make sense how any of these characters could be here at this situation. The only movie that ever made sense was Bojack, and that's why we didn't make it because we're far too silly. All right, continuing on. Hi, Krillin. And the Emmy goes to Krillin! <laughs> In the actual anime, this is when Stupefied kicked in, guys. I've been waiting my whole for, for this one. Ugh! And then it was just this one. Ah! All I was waiting for was just one. Ick! You know, there's a certain sport I ex I, I do love this delivery. I very, very... I don't like listening to my Lord Slug voice because I just think I can do it way better. And honestly, in a lot of ways, I think it should have gone to somebody else back in the day. It's kind of being a large ham in this. But I love the line, competitive bitch toss. Hell at. What's it called? Competitive bitch toss. <laughs> I fucking love that animation. Because he throws him into the same fucking truck that Totempa punched into. Like that, that big dumb asshole? Like he throws him into the same truck. I like this fight because it's very grounded. It, does that make sense? Like this isn't just energy beams yet. There's still like a grounded martial arts fight and this feels very much like Earth is being kind of low-key invaded. If anything, this is kind of what I kind of want a Frieza to show up to feel like. So yeah, anyways. And also, very few fights happen in cities. Hey, Gohan. <laughs> Gohan, you want to do that thing where you get really mad and start beating the guy up? Gohan. Go on. Don't you f***ing ignore me. <laughs> All right. I just gotta pull myself together. At least he's not shooting laser eyes at me or something. He's an X-Man! He's an X-Man! Oh, great. Iguana Street. Now I'm gonna get mugged. But joke's on them. I have no mug. <laughs> oh, hey. I should take GT here. He'll love this place. It's just there's a street called Iguana Street. We're like, all right, well... We're not used to having set pieces like this. You know, in truth, almost every fucking fight's in a fucking wasteland, so it's all interchangeable at whatever the fuck writers want, but this is all particular. Not a Guana Street! We just made it so Guana Street's the bad part of town. 
punched him out of his shirt. Amazing. I feel like a young strapping lad beating his meat furious. I want you to hear that. I want you to hear my vocal cords in this scene, guys, because I actually think this is one of the most painful lines I recorded because there's something about it. I think I was just shredded at this point. Do you hear me? This is just listen to my vocal cords vibrate on this line alone. Like, just have a listen here. This, this is legit fucking... Amazing. I feel like a young strapping lad beating his meat furiously for the first time. Goku, do you hear me? Hey, King Kai. My nipples are rigid right now. What? <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, All right. I noticed you're having a hard time down there. Yeah, he's pretty, really strong. I'm not pretty sure really... what to do. But if I fail... Christmas is doomed! But it's not! Diamond Dex, Goku, it's Christmas, and you're about to let Christmas wow. die! But he's so strong! I don't think I can- Goku, you are the only one who can do this! You are the champion of Christmas! <laughs> yeah! oh! I've been waiting by her for this one! My whittling hand! My whittling hand! Where'd this come from? He's become super powered. Like some kind of super, super. stay a man. Sir, if I might interject, that sounds positive. Talking movie bubble voice by Re <laughs> Talking movie bubble! <laughs> Alright, this is no joke, everybody. This is Professor Layton's voice actor. I'm not kidding. We met him at a con. We went to a convention. We just the guy was the nicest motherfucker ever. One of the one, like a lot of actors will kind of act cagey around him. Not him. He was like, "Oh, sweet, nice to meet you guys. Just the chillest dude. Just wanted to party with us. Just wanted to hang out with us all weekend. Went to food with us the whole fucking time. We're like, we gotta get him in one of these things. We're working on a movie. We're like, Christopher Robin Miller, everybody, the voice of Professor Layton, and to the fucking eighth Broly movie from Movie Lord Slug to Broly, he came back every movie to play talking movie bubbles for one line." And I'm going to shout out right now, guys. Not everyone's a legit fucking OG like that. And he was. So respect. Chris Robin Miller. God bless. God bless. You. That's why he's wearing a top hat. Now you know everybody. And now you can hear it when he's Professor Layton, actually. Ridiculous. Here we go. Hear it again. It's Professor Layton. Holy crap. Where'd this come from? He's become super powered. Like some kind of super mm -hmm. man. Sir, if I might interject, that sounds positively ridiculous. Shut <laughs> up, talking movie bubbles. That's what... what? That also makes the movie separate canon. Shut up, talking movie bubbles. Different different bubbles. That's how you know it's a different canon. I the hell gotten to you? I will stop you from destroying Christmas! What are you talking about? It's July! Don't you lie to me! That, that's too good of a joke. It's fucking July! Don't you lie to me! <laughs> Not everyone gets that. You. I will stop you from destroying Christmas! What are you talking about? It's July! Don't you lie to me! It's snowing! I froze your planet, you mook! What? Aww. You mook! Ah, crap. Well, that's inconvenient. Movie bubbles, I swear to God, in a drunk... Off a clamp. Well, I still have to defeat you. you the joke is, just, he hates talking movie bubble because it's such a smart ass. Can't win with a broken arm. No, 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 you're supposed to leave it on. It gets better. <laughs> or, you know... What a reveal! Wait a minute. That means your jaw is enormous. <gasps> I actually am proud... Hold on a minute. I'm stupid proud of this charge up. I know what he is. He's a... Do not... Yoshi. I'ma still think it. Namekian Goku. Namekian. A super Namekian, mind you, who's here to rule over your planet. Apparently, he is the banished other half of a grand elder Namekian, who became too old and decrepit to fight. So I didn't do a whole yell the whole time, because I could only yell in that, like, Hurr! I can only do that for six, about five, maybe four or five seconds before my voice literally is like, we need water! Right. But now he has used the Dragon Balls to return himself to his prime. Hold on a second. Prime. That may not be the brightest knife in the crayon box, mm. but that sure sounds a lot like... Hey, you wouldn't be related to King Piccolo, would you? I hope that doesn't sound racist, <laughs> but I gotta be careful about that. We're still in Iguana Street. 
Okay. Do Namekians know about sensing energy? Animation's good now. Seem to remember they don't. What can they do? Go! Hey. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> uh, you know, kind of bummed it isn't actually Christmas. Yeah, kind of sucks. Mm. God damn it, ads! God damn it, ads! I'll make sure we don't have ads next stream, guys. Don't worry, I'll make sure. For love of God. For the love of God, chat. I, I... I'm not even getting money. I'm not even getting money for this. I wish I was, because I don't mind doing. If I get money for it, I'm like, oh, okay. But now I'm not. Well, I, I guess TFS is, but I'm also very selfish. Hmm. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Uh, you know, kind of bummed it isn't actually Christmas. Yeah, kind of sucks. <laughs> I, that's, I, I remember writing that joke. So they're just standing there, right? And it's just awkward silence. Cause it's just so weird looking. Just a big face. Just. Real quick, come ah, no, ah. <laughs> It's like, it was like literally like, like who's going to fire first? Like to shoot. <laughs> it's fun. Nope. Oh, there's no kill quite like overkill. Huh? How did I miss him? I shot him point blank. I love you lucky wristbands. <laughs> It's, it, the wristband handle it. It just that whole blast. Wristband falls off. Like thank you, wristband. Come here. And here we go. Running, 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 running. Ah, oh, scan animation too. Oh yeah, so he's full on no, scorpion, but giant. Should I crush him? And the answer may surprise you. Uh, what the? I, even this movie is ripping off the Vegeta Uzuru fight. No shit, they're doing the same thing for the Vegeta Uzuru fight in this movie. A lot of these movies reuse ideas and stuff in the old, the, old, the, old, the actual show. But for us, that gives us a comedic chance to do something wacky like this. I know what you're thinking. Should I Should crush, I him? crush him? And the answer may surprise you. Uh, what the? This is amazing! Why does everyone laugh when they do that? That's my ribs crushing my lungs! <laughs> hey, huh? name's Piccolo. Nice to meet ya. I've got your antennae. What you gonna do now? Uh-huh! I, I feel like this movie did nothing with the fact that they're both Namekians, and that's also a missed fire. Ah, I knew you'd do that! Now for part two of my master plan! Ah! What the hell is wrong with everyone on this planet? I just feel like Slug's like, what the fuck is going on? This is, what is wrong with everybody here? <laughs> Slug, Slug kind of has a very realistic take on everything. Like, what the fuck is going on, guys? Like, for real. <laughs> Johan, I need you to do that thing that really annoys me. You mean, talk? What? <laughs> you know, that thing you were doing earlier today. It really got on my nerves. I don't recall, Mr. Pickle. What? He hasn't loosened his grip what? Yet, so you're probably not doing it. Remember, back at the waterfall, you were doing it with your mouth. <laughs> what? Uh, I, I love the, because we're clearly all yelling for the distances. You were doing it with your mouth. <laughs> Actually, look good. Oh, whistle. <laughs> what the? Oh my, oh my god. 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 There's like one drill in one ear and another drill in the other ear. And they're meeting in the middle. <laughs> closer to Goku. Give him my energy. Probably should have stretched my arms. Got it. Got him! What happened? What? That's it. Time for the universal, the universal new button. Oh fuck! That's a ship. Balls. That was my ship. And why are you still alive? Kyle, Ken. Kyle, what? Now I must go. Okay, that was literally how King Piccolo was defeated. The same fucking fight moment. He goes right through King Piccolo. Goku goes right through Lightler. God damn it. And then we poochied him. Cause, and then we... Now I 
must go. My planet needs me. <coughs> sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, kill my enemies. If I'm gonna die, I'm taking you with me! See you in Hepful! <laughs> and let's fuck so why? Now that I've defeated King Piccolo, I can wish back Chiaotzu, Master Roshi, and Krillin. What? Yo, dog, it's the year 2000. It's time for That's right. To cover, Cause this sh don't get old. That's right. Come on, guys. What? Come on, sing it! Uh, uh, I've been waiting my whole life for just one! What? I needed it was just one! And I don't give up! Found myself stupefied, I've never been! I get stupefied! I get stupefied! Here we go! Dear Slug, <laughs> it is I, your other half, writing to you from our home planet. It has been many years since I banished you from it after we split from the same being. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I've got my own servant. Do you have a servant? Mine's name is Nail. He's kind of a tool. For my amusement. amusement. By the way, if you're looking for a good time, head up Earth. I hear they've got Dragon Balls there. You could probably take them over, too. Their defenses probably suck. Well, time for my sponge bath. Keep in touch. Sincerely, Sincerely. your evil half. Nail. Come and mail this for me. <laughs> Sir, we don't have a mail system. Now, no. gather the dragon balls. <laughs> that's right, everybody. Uh, that, 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 that's right, everybody. That's, that's how we did it. <laughs> now, now, come and mail this for me. <laughs> it's the only time we can say mail. Mail. <laughs> Mail VTubers! That's right, everybody. Now, for those who have been watching along this whole time, Whoa, Benjamin Oscar, thank you so much for the five gifted shots! Everybody, this has been a damn near six hour, little over six hour stream. Uh, that was the last video we're gonna watch here tonight, guys. Uh, I, if, for those who are just coming in here, don't fully know, I'm actually one of the, uh, I'm one of the guys who made that. Uh, I play a bunch of the characters, and I'm absolutely proud to do that. Uh, I'm kind of watching through everything again. I'm gonna be doing a series of streams about this. Because I gotta get up to date with the guys over at TFS because, you know, I, I'm also there too. But I'm not physically there, so I'm, I'm a VTuber. I'm a fairy. Those aren't mutually exclusive. But hey, I want to thank you all for coming here, guys. A perfect way to end the stream. We got through all a bunch of the movies here. Next time we do this, guys, we are gonna sit down and we are gonna go through... Oh, fuck, man. We are gonna go through... Next time, we're gonna go through season two. And four movies. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be going through... Uh, actually, probably five movies. We'll be going through uh, next time. We'll be going through the main show, and then we're going to go through uh, the two cooler movies back-to-back, -back, and then we're going to go back through and do uh, Garlic Jr. and World's Strongest. Because uh, in Season 3, that's where we have two movies come out in Season 3. Episode of Bardock as well comes out. And, ah, fuck it. We'll figure that out every guy. Guys, I needed way more time to do this. I scheduled six hours for two seasons, and I got to... Fuck, I got season one, and that's about it, guys, because I have that much to talk about of this shit. You know, I really have a lot to talk about. Uh, so there's like... Yeah, everybody, this has been uh, my Christmas Eve stream, Christmas Eve gift to all of you. Thank you all so much for swinging by here. You have been so kind, and I would just like to take a moment here to thank uh, Ragnarok the Demon Sword Lord... I want to thank you guys. A lot of you guys were dropping bits and subs during this entire stream. Let me try and grab all of the uh, actual... Uh, let me try and filter through here and just thank you guys all so much. Uh, we're just going to go through everybody here really quick here. Uh, there's been a lot of gifted subs dropped in, this, in the community here, so I want to thank everybody really kindly here. I want to thank Benjamin Oscar. I want to thank uh, Alpha Rabbit. And I... Why are they all gone? God damn it. Okay, so uh, my activity feed just went... All right, so we're going to keep everything the last 30 minutes and then nothing. So, uh, if you dropped out a bunch of subs, everybody, I do want to, like, massively thank you all. Uh, holy shit. 
That was not what I was expecting to happen there. Okay, that just deleted that. All wild. All right, everybody. God damn, guys. Seriously, thank you all from the bottom of my heart for dropping all those subs, all those bits. It's a very kind Christmas gift you were given uh, over here as well. Let me just try and go through these filters here. Again, I want to thank Moonred4000. I want to thank uh, Travis A. Carey, Alpha Rabbit. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. Q Heasel. Uh, I want to thank, oh my gosh, Hugh Hazel. there we go, there we go, so now it's updated, uh, now, you, now you got it all figured out, huh, there we go, there we go, there we go, Ragnarok, thank you, Anonymous Gifter, thank you all so much, guys, uh, there'll be no streams for a couple days, uh, you will, you will know when the next stream is out, don't you, uh, fret, you better not shout, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why, the Napoleon, oh man, <laughs> Wow, wow. All right, I'm going to find someone for us to raid, raid into who, raid, raid into who. Let's see who's available to raid into right now, folks, who is streaming right now on Twitch.com. Thank you so much for watching. It was really kind of you guys. Hope you had a good day so far today here, guys. Let me just pull open my full screen here, and let's see who's on right now. Let's see who would benefit from a wonderful raid like this, folks. Let's see who's on. Let's see who's on, and I can pour you all into them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, you know who we're going to raid into? Let's raid in two. Zorin the Bear, everybody. Let's raid into Zorin the Bear. Everybody, we're raiding in to Zorin the Bear. Iron Mouse doesn't need it, folks. They have thousands of viewers. We're raiding into Zorin the Bear. Thank you all so much for swinging on by the weary 101 raid message. Merry Christmas. Happy Freeza Day. Never mind. Happy Freeza Day. Everybody, thank you so much for being here. Have a good evening.